Good morning, good morning, good morning. We have a disaster yesterday, which I'll tell you all about now. But lots of people coming in and say hello. Rachel says, uh, Lisa Long Duffy's watching. Hello, Lisa Long Duffy. How are you? Sending me a big heart. Rachel says, good morning. June. How are you, June, my love? Now, I'll set this off and then I'll tell you about my disaster. So it's the early bird. Here's the early bird. Here's the early bird sting. That's what that's called. Uh, now, what the early bird is, when well, we bring you something, it sells perfectly well on its own. Right, now, I've, this is a bun that they've made specially, I think, for the early bird, because look, you get your solvent glue, you get your big 505 spray, and you get your high-tack glue. If you bought all those individually, £22.97. Saving £4. £4 saving, £18.97. Crazy Lorraine's watching as well. Good morning. Anne says good morning. Oh, you're all up and ready to go today, aren't you? And it's beautiful and sunny outside. And it was light. When I arrived at work this morning, it was light for the first... It'll go... When the clocks go back, it'll go back to being dark again. But it was light for the first time today. Uh, £18.97. Now, while you're buying that and checking out on that, I'll just explain that once you bought that, that's your p, &P paid for for the day. You don't have to pay any more p, &P no matter what you come in and buy. Uh, whether it's dropship, whether it comes from us or whatever, you pay one... One p and of £3.95, that is it. Disaster yesterday, right? So I went home from work, and I was a bit uh, like this, uh, after work yesterday. Uh, anyway, I got home, and I normally unpack my bag straight away. But I didn't yesterday, so I potted around, did what I had to do, did some emails, did that. And then it was, I'd made my tea, had my food and everything. And then I thought, oh, I better unpack my bag, because I put all of the stuff, the dirty, like my, my cup from here and everything like that, my shirt that I've worn during the day goes in there, my iPad goes in there and everything. Pull my shirt out like this, I thought, oh, why is my shirt wet? That's a bit weird, that shirt's wet. It was only a little bit wet, and I thought, put that on the stairs to take upstairs to go into the washing room and everything. Then put my hand inside to take my iPad out, and I was like, why is the iPad cover wet, right? Pulled the iPad out, opened the cover like this, the, I, I brought a little flask of coffee in yesterday, but with all that was going on during prep yesterday morning, I didn't have time to drink it, right? So I literally, I just put it back in my bag. And during the day, during the day, the uh, top had come loose, right? So the whole flask of coffee had emptied into the carrier bag. My iPad was drenched. And of course... Yeah, no, that was because I wiped it last week. That was because I wiped it. Anyway, the, the iPad started flashing at me going, liquid detected, liquid detected. Uh, so Margaret looked it up and everything. She'd have to leave it for two weeks or something to dry off or anything. Anyway, I just wrapped it in toilet roll uh, and went off and I did whatever and then kept coming back to look at it. Anyway, it's fine now. But because it, I have sugar in my coffee, it's all sticky, it's all sticky now. Anyway, it's working now, but I, I had a few moments of like, that iPad cost me a lot of money. Is it covered on the insurance? How, how do you fill in the insurance? Spilt my coffee on it, you know. Anyway, uh, 1897, could have been a disaster. Oh, no, everything Hannah tried to do yesterday, she took one step forward, ten steps back. Oh, put the washing out. Oh, I tell you, the rain, when I came out of Waitrose yesterday afternoon, it was really, really, really heavy rain. And also, why, when, when the people who design roads, why don't they, do, do, why don't they design waterproof tarmac, right? Because the water's sort of, but it's all great big potholes and cracked and broken, still flooded in Barton, you know. Uh, Hilary says, good morning. Lou says, good morning. Viv says, just popped in, say hello, as I'm off to quilting class. Jan says, good morning, gorgeous. Claire says, good morning. Donna says, good morning. Sue says, good morning. Oh, so many of you there. Check out, check out, check out. £18.97. Right, what do you use these glues for? So this one here is your temperate. This is a brilliant way of buying it. Well, I'll tell you what's even better because it's a big one, right? So normally, this, I say this is the most affordable way to buy it. Even more affordable today. This is your 505 spray. So it's repositional spray. So if you're putting your quilt sandwich together or you're doing a plique. Oh, thank you. Uh, you're a bit slow there today, Charlie. When I say a plique, I always go, don't you mean applique, John? No, a plique. You saying what? What? Sandwich? You say sandwich? Why? Who says sandwich? That's funny. Ha <laughs> uh, ha Anyway, uh, so this is repositional. Repositional spray, that one. This one here 
is your solvent glue that Lisa Lamb uses all the time when you're doing saddle stitching or bag making. Uh, that last range. And this one here, this is one you have in primary school, isn't it? They're very sticky, all purpose, um, dries clear. It's white inside, isn't it? Look, I'll show you. Did you have that? Yeah, what's it called? PVA or something? Yeah, oh yeah, because you were in Wolverhampton, weren't you? 18 pounds and 97 pence. Beautiful. Uh, keep going through. Uh, Lisa's there, morning, John and crew. Uh, check out, check out, check out. I know. Oh, rolling away, rolling away. 18 pounds and 90 minutes. Morning, John. Feeling fragile. Oh, no. Yesterday started so well, then mega migraine came visiting. Still got dregs of it today. Oh, Kate, you take care. You take care. Nightmare. Message on my bottom. Morning, John. Josephine. Now, Josephine, um, uh, uh, and how am I going to say this? Someone sent me, Josephine, some really beautiful little mice filled with, um, uh, what's it called, catnip, right? The cats are still loving them, right? And I'm, I don't know why I'm telling you this, because um, uh, I think maybe they came from somebody called Josephine. I don't know. Probably. Uh, anyway, this morning, I got to the bottom of the stairs. And I was like, oh, there's a dead mouse at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, they've mauled these mice so much. Do you know what's really funny? Is they've collected all the mice, because they've got six of them, and all their toys and put them in one pile in the dining room. They've put them all together. But this one was at the bottom of the stairs, because they've mauled it so much it looked like a brown mouse. And it wasn't. It was Liberty Fabric. Uh, good morning, John and team, from Cousin Susan. Oh, so she hasn't got, she's coming in here today instead of there. 1897. Keep going through for this. Uh, Oh, Mrs. Suffolk sent a message now. Oh, where's it gone? My birthday today, Linda. Oh, is that your surname? Bohier! Mrs. Bohier! Oh, Mrs. Suffolk. Um, happy birthday anyway. Rachel says, uh, I hope you go to the NEC tomorrow. It's been. No, it wasn't very busy yesterday. Oh, day before. I was at day before. Um, uh, it looks busy ish, but the, they've still kept the wide aisles. So that's really good. She's good, yeah. Uh, when are you going tomorrow, did you say? A uh, Vix is there tomorrow. Vix is on the stand tomorrow. Uh, don't talk to me about mice, says June. All right, June, all right. I woke up to two dead bodies this morning. What, mice bodies or real bodies? Yes, they're real bodies, then I'd ring the police. Um, anyway, uh, Wendy says, lovely sunny morning here in Bedford. Leslie's on my bottom already. Good morning, John. I hope you have a lovely sunny morning, like I do today. Beautiful here, Leslie, but... It was lovely when Hannah put her shopping out, her washing out, not shopping, <laughs> her washing out yesterday morning. Mind you, she does live in an inner city slum. I was thinking about that this morning. How weird is this, right? Because Hannah likes to do vintage, right? And I was thinking, maybe I'll start doing vintage. And then I was thinking, no, because my post office isn't open in the afternoon. So I'd have to then schlep into town. And I was like, there's a thing for living in an inner city slum like Hannah, because she can walk to her post office every day. Oh, all the different posting options are in... I didn't know there was more than one. In post, what I've heard of that. Every... Oh, I don't know. What, do, you give them a, do they give you a choice of how you deliver it then? Uh, morning, John and team, says Laurie. Uh, have a good weekend. June says chewed mice bodies. Ugh. I ate it when they dropped them on you, when you're in your bed and they dropped them on you. Good morning, John. Love from Crystal. Ha Crystal, how are you? I haven't heard from you in ages. She's got new hips. I can never remember. Yes, of the new hips. Crystal of the new hips. Uh, Jean says, morning, John. Muggy here. However, that won't stop me celebrating my birthday. So many birthdays today. So it's Jean's birthday today as well. Uh, morning, John. I had a fab day at the NEC yesterday. Met the lovely Ian. Oh, you made a typing error there. That's not meant to be so lovely, is it? Claire from Naked Lighting, Tracy Dennis and Fiona Hesford. Everyone's there, Sue. Did you not see Mark and Clive and Kerry and everybody? Clive's got his own lounge there. I don't know why it's there. There's no sewing going on. Just a lounge to sit in. Uh, anyway, £18.97. pence. Oh, did you see Lucy Pickersley? She was there yesterday. Did you not go and see Lucy Pickersley on the stand? Oh, excuse me. Bra strap. <laughs> 18.97. Half the stock has gone. Half the stock has gone. It's a brilliant deal. It's a bit, that's the big 505. I can't show you the little one because it goes there. 
Yeah, always. 1897. June says she's got blue skies and sunshine. Well, so what else went wrong yesterday then, Hannah, after your washing was out on the line? So she ordered something, went to the shop to collect it, and they went, we don't sell those. So where did you, where did you order it? What is it? What shop was it? That's, what are you doing shopping there? <laughs> anyway. Okay, but you could have got on the bus. That would have been cheaper, wouldn't it? Oh, you did get the bus because you went into the shop. Oh, I see. Oh, oh dear. All the hassle of being a young, trendy girl in an inner city slum. Are we moving on? Because I've got no graphics yet. Yeah. Okay, right. While she tells me what's life, have a look at the menu. Coming up today, bold and beautiful. I've got, oh, I've got some gorgeous fabrics coming up in this hour. Then at nine o'clock, we've got Alice Caroline, Floral Fantasy. We've got the next two blocks. I moved two bags, so they, well, they want to move. Floral Fantasy. Sorry, Floral Fantasy, sorry, with Anna Sanders. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got the Knee Way bag. Now, the Knee Way is not an auntie. It's not anything like that. It's Night Away. It's an overnight bag. An overnight bag, that one. It's lovely, isn't it? We haven't got it in that colour. Oh, I'll be making have left all their stuff out to last night. There you go. Right, then at 11 o'clock, Alice Caroline, night. Right, right, right. Wait till you see this. They're already selling. Liberty, we're building wall hanging. Hang on, where's the one we've got? It's got Liberty on it. Oh, uh, what? How funny. So in the black section, I can't see it on my telly here. It says Liberty. It says Liberty. Anyway, isn't that gorgeous? They're going already. They are selling already. Uh, in that, I've also got a Liberty cushion, Liberty needle case, and a Liberty all sorts in the, in the hours today. Then at 12 o'clock, we've got the Maggie switch bag with Emma Brassfield. There it is. It's called a switch bag because you can switch it from a rucksack to a bag bag. Switch. Switch. Three ways you can get in touch. First way is by email. Here you go. Studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Second way is by Facebook Live, which ones I've been shouting out. And then at, uh, at 12 o'clock, we'll be using the green machine. Uh, then the third way is go to the, no, sorry, Hannah just wants to get that out. Uh, go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Uh, click on watch the show live, top right hand corner. You'll see me on the telly there. Then there's a white box on the right-hand side. If you write your message there, they're the ones that come on my bottom later. Hello, I'm Hannah. No, ap no apostrophe. Full stop. Oh, happy to be here with you all. Anyway, scroll down the page. Oh, hang on. She's carrying on. Kiss. Oh, kiss. Uh, scroll down the page. And there will be two columns. But in the left-hand column, we have everything you've seen so far. The right-hand column is everything's coming up in the next five hours. Beautiful fabrics, look bold and beautiful. They're new. They're new. I've got a bundle and I've got them on their own. Back in stock. <laughs> um, beautiful. Look at that. That one's back in stock as well. There. I'm going to sneeze. Am I back on? Did you miss that? Good. Uh, yeah, I, did, I turned away from the table. Oh, look, all these got... Go oh, I love that gardenia as well. Beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Hayley won't put anything in because she's away. Alice Caroline, bundles, there's a new, there's a new... Oh, look. Are they the ones we're doing today, then? Where's the other one? There it is, there it is. We're doing uh, three and four today. Three and four we're doing today. Uh, then, carry on, carry on, carry on. Then we're at Emma Brassfield. Here you go, bags from Emma Brassfield. Pattern on its own for the knee weight. There's some bundles. Uh, we've got mesh today. We've got that lovely mesh coming up today. Zips, webbing. We've got black webbing as well. Oh, oh, there, there it is. Oh, it's a different one. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's that one there. It's that one there. 
You want the the want the meat. You want the inch wide. The inch wide you want. Oh no, that's forty millimeters. One. Well. Sorry, sorry, no sorry. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right now, oh, keep going, keep going. There it is. There's the Liberty Building wall hanging. Oh, you can't even see it on their picture either. I'll have to have a word with Alice. Alice Caroline will have to have a word with her. That's the Paula Pryke flower shop outside. There's a flower shop outside on Argyle Street. and that's Because that's not the front of the building. That's the side of the building where, in Argyle Street. Beautiful. Yeah, it's the prettiest bit, yeah. The bit just, so that, that's taken from... You, if you stand outside the London Palladium that, and to look to your left, that's what you see. OK, moving on. That's you, huh? Carry on, carry on, carry on. Now, for... They sold out last time. They sold out last time. Uh, packs will vary, not may. They will. They may. It says there they may vary, but they will vary. Now, I don't know why that lamp's there. No idea why that lamp's there. We love it, but we don't have no idea why it's there. Uh, and, oh, look. Now, I've not seen this before. Beautiful. What's that? That a web or webbing? More webbing. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There's the Maggie switchback. I wonder. I forgot to ask him. Prep who Maggie was actually. Backpack bundles and oh, uh, um, hard uh, green machine. Oh, oh, oh! We've got the green machine on its own. No, they, they, they the one to buy is that one. Except uh, we haven't got gold. I don't know why they've got a picture. Oh, we have got the gold as well. Oh, we only had silver, didn't we, in prep, yeah. And that's the new inch wide webbing there. And we've got the iron. You won't pay 99.99 for it. It's 85 something. 99. 85.99. Uh, right, should we start? Oh, we're not doing brand new fabric. Oh, okay. Okay. This, uh, this one, like the painterly one, this one. Back in stock, x right backing, 108 inches wide. I've only been on twice, sold out. Sold out, it's back in stock, back in stock, back in stock. It's lovely, isn't it? Do you know what, biggest stock we've ever had now. Um, do you know what, might be lovely for dressmaking. Be lovely for all sorts of quilting, not just for your backing of your quilt. 11 99 for Dan Morris. 11 99 for extra wide backing. Uh, Margaret said, John, John, you sound gravelly. Oh, blimey, Margaret. You should have heard me at the beginning of the week. This is, this is much better. It's the tree pollen. Mine's the tree pollen. She's got, you see, she, oh, she's got tonsillitis. Everyone's multi-buying. Everybody's multi-buying. Uh, I need back, Dan then, yeah. Uh, Good morning, John, everyone. Cheese scones already made for tomorrow's coffee morning. Oh, lovely. Morning all from Val in sunny Newcastle. Can I have Dan, please? Oh, no, I can't have Dan because someone else needs to do the camera. Yeah, Hannah will have to do it. She's cut. So she said to me, right, I've got to show the width of the fabric, so I need somebody to hold the other end, right? So she's sitting there going, Dan, 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 Dan. But you need Hannah because Dan needs to pan across it with his camera, doesn't he? Unless you do the camera, Hannah. <laughs> the luck she's having at the moment. You have to go round. <laughs> that, that's made her really laugh. Listen, come on, come on, we haven't got all day. Yeah, come on, keep moving away. Right, so this is what you get for your 11 99 for your half metre. Oh, sorry, everybody, she's in a weird mood today. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? No, Why are you so happy? I just have a lovely smile. Oh. I hear it at home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear her? Anyway, is that got, have you panned it, Dan? Oh, you panned it, right. Thank you. Thank you, Hannah. No, she's, got, she's, she's squeezing past behind. Oh, no. <laughs> she got stuck behind the monitor. <laughs> Anyway, that's gorgeous. Is it 11.99? She's very happy today, isn't she? It's <laughs> my impression of Hannah today. Pollen is such a pest, isn't it? Angie is. Tell me about it. But at least it's better now than it was. 
I'm, I've had so many, I've had my nasal spray, I've had my pills, I've had everything. Anyway, uh, that's back in stock, brand new, gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. She's gone very quiet now. Yeah. All right, then moving on. Over half the has gone once you've all checked out. And well, well, I'll do that again later, right? I'll do that again later. Yeah, how did I know? How did I know you were going to do that? Oh, yeah. Hannah, because you need to open this one because it's ombre, this one. You ready? We'll do a reveal. We'll do a reveal of this one. There she, oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, she's going around the... Don't run. There's cables and everything around there. Right, are you ready, Dan, for this, for this reveal? Here, you take that bit there. Ready? You ready, Dan? <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll run into the shelf. Ombre, but rainbow ombre. I think, do you need the toilet? No, we dancing. Oh, you're dancing. You're dancing with excitement. How gorgeous is that? How beautiful. 12 99 back in stock. Ombre, so you go from the purple, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange. Hold your end up. That's it, red. There's Hannah. No, look at the right camera. I don't know where I'm looking. You look at the one where Dan look is. The no, look at the one where Dan is. There you oh, go. Dan. Yeah, there you go. Oh, but then I can't see myself. Oh, you want to see yourself on the monitor? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 12 99 gorgeous, isn't it? Brilliant if you can do EPP. Think of all the colours you can get. Thank you. Think of all the different colours you can get there. Lovely, blends through from one colour to the next. It's because she's had a Rubicon, I think. That's what it is. What do you mean? You can't take them yet, because I've got to do them again. Are you going to fold it? <laughs> Could you fold that one as well, then? Thank you. Right, next. Oh, Derek's watching. Morning, Derek. Uh, Claire says, hello, Hannah. I, recognize, I would recognise that lovely mop of hair anywhere, says Crazy Lorraine. A little fluffy bunny running past the camera, says Viv. Oh, bless her. Hannah does make me laugh. You need her on Threads of Life. Yeah, what would she do? Morning, John. So nice meeting you on Thursday. Then he say, oh, Tina. Hello, Tina, my love. How are you? Um, Slow cook, yeah, that would take forever though, wouldn't it? Slow cooker recipes with Hannah. You throw everything in the pot. Except, you know what Cat did the other day? Not producer Cat, floor Cat. She put some food in the slow cooker, but she didn't put it into late o'clock at night. So she was still sitting there at 11 o'clock waiting for the food. So she had nibbles beforehand. She had to be back here at upper six or six o'clock the next morning, waiting for it. When it was ready, she was like, I'm not hungry now. Uh, good morning, says Carol. Derek says, love the ombre fabric. Could make a very interesting shirt. It did indeed, it could. What's next? Stripey one. I'm not going to hold this one out. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got another message. Morning, John. Just having five minutes with you before heading out to sewing for pleasure. Will you be there later today? No, not, I've done mine. I did Thursday. Uh, it's uh, Dave Bradford today. Dave Bradford's there today. There's nobody from... So I don't think there's anyone from Sewing Street there. I mean, there's a marketing team. Lucy and the marketing team were upstairs. Not Lucy Pickersley. She was there yesterday. Marketing team, Lucy, will be there. At 12.99. So, no, I'm not there today. Or tomorrow. Hannah could be on loose threads. Oh, she'd be a loose cannon on loose threads. Oh, you could be. So, would you like to be like... It's like on loose women. We do loose women. Would you like to come on that? You have to do it all day. Okay. And we put you up in a hotel the night before. Twelve ninety nine. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you this, but Vix is filming. Vix is coming up to film on Tuesday with me. Well, no, you get we we get given the topics to talk about. We don't make it up. We get. We, Maybe you could do three, but then I can't give you a hotel room if you only come to do three. 12.99. Meh. 
June, Hannah would be hilarious. No, she wouldn't though. She'd go all shy. She'd go all shy and end up just sitting at the end of her sofa, like picking her nose and things like that. And I don't think she's got nine outfits. Because she'd have to change outfits each time, wouldn't she? Anyway, oh, that's gone. That's not gone. Finish that one. As in purple. Yeah, yeah. The black one, meaning the purple one. Oh, it's always called. Winter medallions. And what, how are you up, how far are you up to, Game of Thrones? And when was, how, what series is that in then? That, that's quite a long way on though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that, that is that I ain't got water in it. What, what, what are you pointing like that? What does that mean? I don't, can't do Dan sign language. Has that iron got water in it? No, no, uh, if it has, just stand it on its end, that's all. They don't want water. Oh, season six she's on, season six. Beautiful. Oh, have you? I haven't watched any Married at First Sight Australia. I'm just, my go-to at the moment is that Great British, uh, no, not Bake Off, um, menu, Great British menu, I love it. Oh, hang on. Uh, morning, John and Hannah. What a beautiful assistant. What, Dan? Uh, Jules in South Wales. Oh, hang on. South Wales Valleys in Monmouthshire. That's near Abergavenny, isn't it? Abergavenny. What's next? This, this one. This is gorgeous. I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, oh limited, limited, limited already. Flower bed, this would be, be oh, imagine that as a tablecloth for your garden in summer. Put a bit of eau de coat on it. Beautiful, 12 99 for half a metre. Lightweight summer curtains. You who from Islington. Beautiful, 12 99 $12.99. What? No, it's next weekend, Stitch, Stitch Festival, isn't it? Rachel, I'll put you on the list. Beautiful. Twelve ninety nine. Gorgeous. Uh, morning, John. We are visiting Stratford today. Oh, I'm not there. Uh, seeing relatives, but thought I'd better check in, see what your goodies... Oh, I thought you meant what goodies I had in Stratford. Uh, yeah, see what goodies you've got, Janet. Where are you going? Whereabouts in Stratford? Where, where are you going? Where do they, do they live, Janet? You only put their address up, Janet. Uh, yeah, go and see Shakespeare's house. Um, the, oh, there's loads of coffee shops. Where, where's that? What's that? What, in Stratford-upon-Avon? Ooh. Keeps coming up on Hannah's Instagram. Morning, John and team. Happy International Quilting Day. Oh, I didn't know that. Happy International Quilting Day. It's not on our master schedule. They're supposed to tell us things like that. Uh, thanks for all your lovely comments yesterday. Why? What happened yesterday? What did I do yesterday? Cheered me up while lo like, laid low with the virus. Oh, and did I say something nice? Makes a change, doesn't it? Good morning, lovely people. <laughs> There's so much gorgeous stuff on this morning, I'm struggling to choose. Chantel, Chantel. Weren't you on Big Brother, Chantel? Didn't you win Big Brother? Oh, well, on Big Brother? No. I... Oh, no. Hannah's got very sad memories of a Chantel at school. I can't see you fighting, Hannah. Anyway, no. Uh, anyway, new collection. These are gorgeous. Now, I've got in a bundle where you get half metre each, but I've also got the by the half metre as well. Look at these. Is that what it's called? I don't remember seeing that this morning. Look, aren't they gorgeous? So I've got that, that one in three colourways, look. I've got that one in three colourways, and then those two uh, signature. Oh, love, love, love these. Absolutely love them. 
Oh, Wendy Price, thank you for your email. I love you too. 63.92. That's good, isn't it? So four metres, eight, you get there. Eight. Eight, seven, seven, eight, six, eight, eight, six, eight. Mm. 7.99 a metre. Half metre. 7.99, half metre. Sorry, 7.99, half metre. Good morning. New puppy in the house. I've been busy. Oh, dear. You need some of those, um, like, pu puppy nappy things you put down in the house, don't you? You don't put them on them. Yeah, you put them on the floor to stop them. Anyway. 63.92. Aren't they gorgeous? You get half a metre of each one. Around the block collection. They're very vibrant, aren't they? Let's see what it says on the self edge. Camelot Design Studios. Oh, they're obviously from America, not intended for children's sleepwear, the block. You wouldn't put you don't have nightmares if you had pajamas made out of that, wouldn't they? Beautiful. I think, I think Dan's talking to himself down there. I oh, know. At least he's not making like a den out of the cardboard boxes today. Anyway, I've got them all by the half metre now. Oh, Alan, I'm doing all right. Thanks, Alan. How are you? Because you've not been well, have you? <laughs> Cubes in multi. Cubes in multi. 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. 100% cotton, there's the size of the print. They've kind of got, got a lot of movement going on there, isn't it? At 7 dollars around the block collection. What are you going to make out of this then? I'll just take, oh, I'll just take my earpiece out a second. I think I've got an air block, I'm hearing things. There you go. Hello. Pardon. Oh, Hannah's going to do borders using this one. Or a block keeper. I think Derek should make a shirt out of this. Three dimensional, you know, hide his big tummy. I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's got a big tummy, I'm just guessing. Seven ninety nine. Uh, oh, here you go, Tracy. You are in my at ent. Oh, hang on, I don't understand this one. You are in my at entertainment today. I'm on the way to Newcastle as my seventy seven year old. Oh, send her our love in hospital. I don't understand what that app. Do you mean app? You are my app entertainment today. I don't know what the at means. Anyway. Um, send her our love. Who is it? Who's it again? Sorry, let's just share mum's name. Oh no, Tracy, send our love to your mum. Oh, right, let's move on. Hope you haven't got me on full volume in the train. Nothing annoys people more than him with me wittering away in the corner. You see, these are blocks. These are a different. Oh, I like the. Oh, I love this one. I see, I wouldn't call that block. Oh, no, squares. It's squares, that one. Shirt, shirt for Derek. La a lining. We love a lining in a handbag. It'd be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Seven ninety nine. Oh, I think that's stunning, that one. 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight, 100% cotton. Oh, in the car. Uh, you are my car entertainment today. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, no, you can't watch and drive at the same time. It switches off, doesn't it? You can hear it, but you can't watch it. Oh, be that's beautiful. Oh, Alan's getting better slowly. That's good. Seven ninety nine. Of course, he's flying out this one. Absolutely flying out. Beautiful. Now, do you want me to go to the uh, hashtags or the little squares? 
Hashtags in green. No, no, this has got a dark green background. The next one's got a lilac background. And then I've got the blue one's got a white background. It's a very soft one. It looks white, look white. Oh, it looks white on the telly. Yeah, there you go. No, sorry. Uh, brush strokes, this is called. Wasn't that a TV? That was a TV show, wasn't it, back in the day? Uh, brush strokes in green. No, it's very content. I'm seeing Fiona Hesford. No, I'm not seeing her. I mean, I'm seeing her in this fabric. Well, she's selling a husband. You know, her husband's an artist. <laughs> she's not selling a husband. Her husband is an artist. So he's put some of his art on fabric and she's selling that fabric at LEC at the moment. And then she'll try and sell him off. No, she loves him too much to sell him off. I do. I've been to their house. It's a house of love. That's brush strokes in green. Then I've got brush strokes in purple. It's the, the background isn't a pure white. It's got like, do you remember back in the 70s, we used to have hint of apple and hint of, this would be hint of blueberry or something. Oh, purple, of course. Yeah, it'd be gorgeous with your solids, that, wouldn't it? Very popular, this one. Seven ninety nine. The cats are fine. Thank who, who was it asked? Okay. Uh, morning, John. How the lovely two cats have no idea. Oh, I talk about them all the time, Emily. Well, apart from Luther living up the chimney, um, they're fine. He lives up, he, that's where he sits all day up the chimney now. He does, sad little thing. <coughs> oh. This is white with, oh, that's a lovely color. They called it aqua, no, blue, blue, blue. Morning, John. Was the TV show? Oh, different strokes. Yeah, not brush strokes, different strokes. Thank you. Who was that from? Paul Paramore. Oh, that means, um, doesn't Paramore mean like lover? Isn't that Paramore? Isn't that the Shakespeare word for lover? Paramore. Oh, and it was a band, apparently. It was a band, apparently. What did they sing? Oh, Derek's going to make a shirt out of this to go pull in. Oh, they're recent, Paramore. Oh, I've never heard of them. They don't play them on Radio 2, obviously. Right, now I've got little squares in. Do you want to go green first? This is little squares in green. I'll put my hand in so you can see the difference. There you go. No, because the, the square, squares here, I put my hand in, didn't I, for that one, which are much bigger, you see. That was all. Nice. Oh, Derek, you're going to love this one for a shirt. Coming up in next. Has Derek bought it all? Beautiful. Around the block in green. Okay, purple now. Might be a bit busy, this one, for Derek. Look, Derek, what about this one? I'm just thinking, um, it's very 1960s, isn't it? Carnaby Street, 1960s. Oh, of course, of course um, uh, Liberties goes all the way to Carnaby Street, doesn't it? Good morning, John, <coughs> and your lovely team. I miss giving you a hug at the NEC on Thursday as I had a physio appointment to send you a virtual hug. Oh, thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Yeah, physio far more important than me. No. Nope. What? <coughs> Hannah's dad has to have video and over the phone. 
What, what they say, lift your foot up, put your foot down. You could get... I'd be like, going, ooh, ow, ow, ooh, ow, ooh, yes, I've done that. Ooh, ow, ow. And I'd just be sitting there drinking my coffee, eating my cake. I had anaglypto wallpaper with that brush strokes pattern embossed on it in the 80s in our first home. Oh, Sue, did you? Uh, anaglypto was like the posh version of wood chip, wasn't it? And then we've got it in the blue. Oh, these are lovely. Gorgeous. Oh, there was a sitcom called Brushstrokes with Jacko, a painter and a decorator. That was it. And it was Carl Watts, it, wasn't it? It was Carl. Oh, why have I got Dave Bradford on my, on my um... Oh, I'm selling a pearl paper pad, apparently, at the moment. Yes. Yeah, pearl paper pad, this. Oh, yeah, we had a Jacko in the old, in the old warehouse. Uh, and he worked upstairs and he had to use our sink and our toilet downstairs. This is when we were saying quarter, no, saying street. And um, then one day he came down to paint a bit of the green screen and they'd given him a boiler suit to wear. So he'd taken his clothes off and he put the boiler suit on. Started painting and realised his boiler suit was see-through. It was a paper one. It was completely see-through. We could just see his pants through. Seven ninety nine. That was like a sitcom over there, wasn't it? And that's a beauty parlour. Do you not know? Do you not get the email? Um, yeah, it's really funny because I came in yesterday thinking it was you yesterday, and Ben was sitting in. That's like, and, and, and I always hate it when people go. Oh, I thought it was Hannah today. And I didn't mean it like I wasn't a disappointed. It was that we'd had all these emails about yesterday's show. And they're all to you and me, you see. So when I'd read them, I'd gone, oh, it's me and Hannah then tomorrow. So Ben had no idea about all these changes in the show. And I was like, you've had the email, Ben. You've had the email. Then I thought, actually, no. Actually, I thought it was Hannah today. So I went back to look, and it was just me and Hannah that had been sent it. Oh, and Dan. Dan had been sent it as well, I think. No, no, you're not on any of them, Charlie. You're not on the one about today either. Yes. Oh, yeah, there's a huge one about today. <laughs> no, no, we've sorted it. It's all through the rivets and the green machine and things. Yeah, mega bundle. No, because it wasn't sent to you. It was Oh, yes, it was sent to you. If that one was sent to you. Oh, mine's gone funny. I can't get mine either on my phone. Or on my home, uh, I can't get them on my phone. I have to get them on my home computer. Yeah, she's got 5,784, and um, yeah. 63 pounds and 92 pence around the block, fabric collection bundle. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice, now, where am I going next then? Last of. border print so now this is by the half meter it's a border print look I'll hold it up so you can see it's a border print but what you do is with the Jason enter designs you slice them in, into them oh picture on the web has got just got one but you get get it like this that's half a meter there Alan you don't have to apologize for being poorly it's not no you don't apologize for that £7.49. Right. Hannah's poorly most of the time. Which one of these is this one from then? Oh, that. That one there. Oh, is that the same one there? Yeah, that's the same. And that's the same, but in purple. Oh, I see, yeah, but that's this colourway, yeah. Right. Anyway. £7.49 for half a meter, this one. This is the only one I've got left of the... Oh, no, 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 I'm telling fibs. No, no, because for this one here, you need that and that. You need that and that. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. When I do the... Oh, no, I'll tell you now. If you're going to do this quilt, that can't just be made up of two fabrics, but it says it is. It says um, 
five, six, seven, eight and a half meters of the, this you need, and one and a half meters of that. It's 17 units. <coughs> anyway, £7.49. Good morning, John Scott. I'm here at the Falcon Inn, Inn having breakfast, heading off to the NEC with Julie. It's just with Julie. Okay, lovely. I'll do the black grungy fabric now. They don't call it grunge. Yes, you need that, you need that fabric to create the design because you cut it out in sections to make the design. You need 17 units of that and five, would I say five units of this one? Let me have a look. Oh no, no, I'm talking rubbish. One and a half, six of this one. No, no, I'm talking rubbish, sorry. Three units of this one at one and a half metres. Yeah, three years. <laughs> three years. Um, use whatever you want. Give them um, the old razzle dazzle. Quilt pattern now. Dazzle them. Oh, hang on. No, dazzle's not the one that you can do with that, though. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's a pattern here. This one here, you only need that and that. Those two fabrics are all you need to make that quilt. It's weird, it doesn't look like it would be, but it is, look. You need 17 units of border print and three units of the black. Because you what it depends where you cut your triangles out from to create the different patterns. Okay, so look, so that one there, you cut the triangle out from that bit there. From the border print, and then that one there, you cut it out from the green. You sort of, you cut all the instructions are in there anyway. Uh, right, that's about to sell out. Seventeen units of the of that, and five of uh, three of that, three of that. I keep saying five. Then I've got I've all just got a random dazzle quilt here, where it's also got the black fabric in and the border fabric in. But then it's also you've also got to get all. Oh, I've got that one. No, no. So you need, um, oh, I don't know which is which now. Hang on. What IJP. So that one there, you need three units, two JP. That one there, you need uh, nine units. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The only one you actually really need to create that pattern is that one. You can do all the others with different fabric. Well, actually, the border's only round the border, look. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, and, and in the centre bits there. Nine units of the border. Was that right? Yeah, nine units of the border. And all the others you could buy other fabrics for. But this one, th or this one, because that's there as well. Number six, J by Y, G B. Uh, seven of that. You need seven of that one. Anyway, 9.99. You can make it out of, in fact, this one, you can make out of all your own fabrics because you don't have to do any of that funny cutting. Had, have a fab day, John. Have to go and get ready for my goddaughter's baby's christening this morning. Makes me feel old. Oh, Kate. So hang on, it's your goddaughter's baby. Oh, yes. Yeah, because you think of your godchildren as being young, don't you? Because all my godchildren, no, my godchildren are 24, 22. You're not my godchild, child, you know. And six. Anyway, moving on. Well, if you're Italian, they take it very seriously. Francesca, I'm, I, got you, I went to, when the nannies were being interviewed, the schools, I went to the schools to meet the school headmasters and everything, yeah? Will you take your cats to London when you move, as they used to the countryside? Yes, Linda, but I'm going to buy a flat with a huge garden. If I buy one of the ones in Acton that I like, they've got a field behind them. No. You won't be. You won't be. What are we moving on to? Like, I've got an empty table. As in... Red and blue. Red and 
purple flower. Do you mean like the squares with the trees in like that? This one? Right. <laughs> red and purple flowers, yeah, of course. Floral red. And she just read out what was in the graphics. £7.49 for half a metre. Jason Yenta Dazzle Collection. So that's in that one there, if you wanted to use that. Oh, it's a very unusual picture, the one they put in that one there. I wouldn't have recognised it from the picture on the website. Sorry, my head's in shots. Lovely. Next. Oh, I've got the blue. Oh, I've got that one in blue. Got that one in blue and green. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is nice. So you don't have to use it for a Jason Yenta quilt. You could use it for shirts, dresses, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Oh, is that the next slide? Beautiful. Then you wanted blue and triangles, did you? Yeah, little triangles, which I've got in two colourways. There's the blue version. Retro triangles on purple. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's purple, but it's, it's kind of, uh, om, not ombre, there's like splodges. It's making me go dizzy, actually, looking at it, to be honest. £7.49, beautiful. It's a lovely deep purple background with like little pink splodges on it. Then I've got that one. Oh, yeah, actually, you can see this one better how the splodges work, but that one's more subtle because it's purple and pink. Oh, she's got a song in her brain now. Beautiful, £7.49. £7.49. Why, what's happened? What's the matter? Oh, Karen, no, no, it's not, a, it's not a thing that's happening straight away. It's my, when I retire, I don't want to have to get... At the moment, if I want to go to a shop, I have to get in a car and drive seven miles, apart from the little pop-in shop, but if I need to go to a supermarket, I, and I just don't want to be, you know, 85 and having to drive to Waitrose. I don't want to be like the lady that nearly took me out yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? I'm at the bottom of Barton Road waiting to turn right and she was coming along Long Marsden Road to turn right into my road. She just could have taken, if I hadn't reversed, she'd have taken the front of my car off. She didn't even notice, she was just like this, driving along. It wasn't you driving, Hannah. No, no. Brushstrokes was a TV programme in the 80s about a painter and decorator. Yeah, June, was he called Carl, the, man, the actor? Was he called Carl something? Like a cheeky chappy. Right, next. Gonna have to be careful, look at the time. Yep, thank you. It was only the radiating out, it wasn't the colours. Carl Howman, there you go, I knew it was called Carl. Isn't that weird? How you me remember things like that. Yes. Yeah, Carl Howman, thank you, Nikki. Yeah, oh, June says yes, Carl Howman, yeah. How done, how done. Oh, I've got how done and how man. Which one is it? I think it's how done. How do you do? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Oh, how man, how man it is. How man, not how done. Oh, Dan. Uh-oh. Uh, cream background. Oh, you mean the floral? Yeah. Okay, moving on. Oh, what was that funny noise? I thought Dan trod on a kitten. Yeah, next, it's in his rider. 
You won't turn up without, right, you know, you won't turn up to work without certain things being here. What's next? Oh, you already, you've already got it in. Medallions, they are. Not mandalas. That says medallion. I kept thinking, what, what medallions? What, what mandalas? I don't remember a mandala one. Message. Uh, morning, John. Can I just say happy birthday to Lucy Pickersley? Love you, mum and dad. What, my mum and dad? Oh, no, no, it's Lucy's mum and dad. Lucy's mum and dad. Yeah, it's her birthday day. She, she wanted to wear her balloons were when she arrived yesterday morning. She's like, oh, what, no balloons? Uh, she's not doing anything today. She won't have the telly on or anything. She's just going to do nothing today, she said. She wants all her food making. She's not lifting a finger. And something else is happening. What, what does her husband do? Her husband's doing something today. Um, no, I'm not making the drinks, but he, he had a job to do. And I said, well, you'll get involved. She went, no, I'm not doing anything. I'm just having a day to myself. Lovely. Well, you have to do that. When is your 60th? You have to do that, don't you? Yeah. Oh, right. See this one here? Me wittering away, right? There's 15, me 15 metres or 15 units. 15 metres of this left but over 40 people have got it in their baskets. Be aware, be very aware. Nice. Lawn, mate, that's this one. Right, now this is cotton lawn. This is cotton lawn, which actually you'll see a lot of in the next act, because this is what... Um, Actually, right, this lady used to be a designer at Liberty, didn't she? Yes, it's uh, Sally Kelly. Sally Kelly. Because you see this fabric here, this is very like one that Alice Caroline recolored in. Tresco. Tresco. And actually, last time I saw Alice Caroline, she was wearing a dress made of that, wasn't she? Yeah. Wasn't she? At the, at the sale, wasn't she wearing a dress made of that? Oh, very similar to this one, very similar to this one. Uh, do you know what? When I did, when I launched this fabric, right, it was, what date was your sale? What date was second your... Of March. Second, so I launched this on the 2nd of March, and I kept going through and going, oh, these are so Liberty. She's ripped off all the Liberty. That... And then I get, and then I go and see Alice Caroline and Anna at their sale, and they think, I went, oh, we had this designer on today. She, I just know I've, and she went, yes, she used to be a designer at Liberty's, John. This is the only one in cotton lawn weight. 11.99 half a metre. 11.99 half a metre. It's beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. Right. It's upside down, I think. Oh, I'm doing the bundle as well. Yeah, very quickly. Do the bundle. Now, these are quilting weight cottons. These are beautiful. Look at these. I love these. When I launched, I absolutely loved it. Oh, Hannah's had to restock it. That's why we're playing it. Four metres of fabric. Four metres of fabric, £67.92. Right, don't forget, this is already selling on it. It's not the next hour. It's in at uh, 11 o'clock. The Liberty wall hanging is selling, selling, selling. Oh, mind your head. Mind your head. Right, you just mind your head. No, you go bob down, bob down, bob down. Right, there we go. There it is now. I need to have a word about the whoever designed it. Yes. Is that a, a, a pliquet or is it stitched? I'll ask Anna in a minute. That's at 11 o'clock, right? That, stay down, stay down, stay down. That's at 11 o'clock. But the quilt is coming up. The uh, Part three and four of the quilt are coming up. Now, if you missed part one and two, don't worry, I've got those as well. I'll see you straight after this four-minute break. <laughs> My name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also applique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. 
Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Sewing Street is now available on Virgin Media, channel number 754. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Anna Sanders is here. Hello, Hi. Anna Sanders. How are Hello. you? Good, thank right, you. now before we start on this, I've got a couple of questions. Yes. So, not, not for you, not for you. Oh. What's your favourite food? 
What are you doing here? Who are you looking for? <laughs> anyway, no, no, no. Derek says, please correct me if I'm wrong, cotton poplin is shirt weight. How does it compare to cotton lawn? What it is, is cotton lawn is the finest. Yeah. Then it goes cotton poplin. <laughs> then it goes quilting weight. Isn't that the right? Correct, it? yes. A fine, finest as in, as in drapeability, soft. So this shirt is made out of poplin. My Liberty shirts are made out of lawn, but my Claudio Lugly shirts are made out of quilting weight yeah. fabric. So that's, it's no, it's just the difference between a bit of floatiness and a bit more formal, that's all. So my, I'd say that my Liberty ones that are made out of the lawn are the more floaty kind of, not flat, don't be flamboyant, but they've just got that. They've got a nice drape. Drape to them, right? Poplin is what you'd automatically go to to make a men's shirt. And then, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, heavier weight, the, the um, quilting weight is what you'd make a formal shirt out of. Um, June's terrified that the Liberty Building will sell out before we get to it, is well, it? And applique. It could well sell out. Um, <coughs> I'm going to show it for real. It's raw edge applique. This isn't till next, uh, Anna's next hour, but it's causing so much... Um, I had a feeling it would. Fast. Let me put so it the, down so we can do it from the overhead. So The only hand bit in it are these clouds and the, and the words... The Liberty. Liberty uh, you can do them on a machine, though. You could do that on yeah, a machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, in fact, that's been done on a machine, but you can do it by So handle. how's all this done, then? It's all done on a machine, all raw edge applique. A regular applique? It's all, it's, you know, the, the applique that we, that we do quite but a lot. But these are fine. Yeah, yeah, are they, they are. Are they tiny fine. pieces? They are quite fine, yeah, but it's... Uh, it, it's you know a, it's a would, lovely process. Yeah. Beautiful. Like, yeah, it's gorgeous, so June, isn't it? So, June, it's not it? hand, it's normal applique. There's hand stitching to do clouds. If you want to. If you want you to. And hand to. stitching to do liberty if you want to. I you, mean, you could do all over, like, mm. cloudy type shape all in the background yeah. if you wanted to. So, you? that's not till 11. That's not till 11, but it is selling, is it it is sell selling it incredibly sell out. fast. I had a feeling it would be popular. Um, Heather says, hello, John. You must be shattered after your busy week. <coughs> not finished. I'm in tomorrow as well. Um... You've just made me laugh, shouting Sally Kelly. That was my late mum's maiden name. She used to watch you on this morning. Ah, uh, Lucy Pickersley's watching. Happy birthday, Lucy Pickersley. Happy birthday. No, you're not supposed to do an entry today. Turn the telly off, put your feet up. Um, and that's it, that's it, that's it. That's question right, right. So we're going to start, I'm going to put that back. We're going to start with the charm pack before we start with the quilt. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, I've just eaten a biscuit really quickly. It's a, a... Yeah, it was gluten free. It was got very, but it was um, the packet was still sticky from all the coffee than the bag is. So, uh, seventeen ninety nine. So what have I got in here? Tell me what I've got in here. You've got twenty charms of five inches. Oh, Stan, you're so brilliant. They're all you. different, so you've got twenty completely different yep. charms in a rainbow colourway. Uh, oh, sorry. Can these ones up? you can get. These are the one I can open. So I'm allowed to. Yeah, open. and these are all Tarnalorn, all Liberty Tarnalorn. Liberty Tarnalorn, which means they're six hundred thread count, does it not? Something like that. Yes. Yeah. Well done for knowing. <laughs> Something like that. There we go. Look, look, so that you will, these are the ones you get. Yeah. And they are all different. Every single one is different. Yeah, no, look, they're saying your nails go with the top print. Yeah, don't look too closely at my nails. Don't look too close. <laughs> <laughs> they're a DIY job. Oh. And, uh, yes. Uh, so these are the fabrics you will get. They are tied lawn. They are five inch squares. They are beautiful. They are 17 99 now, are any of these Alice Caroline coloured in ones? Um, 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 uh... No, oh. I don't think so. Although when I, uh, oh yeah, that green one there. Yeah, the she'll be Meadow watching at home. Our, she will. And then on <laughs> Monday you'll get notes. Again. Oh, can, can we say? Can we say about April? Yeah. Can we say about it? Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Can we, we say it? No, if probably we say no it, pictures, but let's say it. No, 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 no. Let's let's just say it this because then the... she's got to do it. She can't back out. Oh, she won't back out. Alice Caroline's coming on air in April. <laughs> She is. She is. Well, I, we can't remember the date. It's about the 20 something, isn't 27. it? 27th. 27th of April. Yeah. Alice Caroline's coming. She's got on a very air. exciting thing. But it's not launch. me. I'm off that weekend. I have to watch from home. You're like, no, you'll have to come in. I'm not coming in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Be, aren't these gorgeous? Yeah, I love aren't that one. Gorgeous? It's kind of quite, it's really cool. So are you cool, coming with it? her? Or are you leaving her on her own? No, she can do it on her own. Can't She's she? doing sewing. I, I have no idea what Alice oh. is doing on her. She can decide for herself, can't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a big girl. <laughs> I mean, oh, grown up. Yeah. Grown up. They, oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? There's so many different things that you can do with these. But yeah, have you, have you not brought any samples? You normally bring samples. No, I haven't brought any samples today. I, oh, I wasn't to asked do. to bring samples for that. <laughs> I do what I'm uh, told. <laughs> Seventeen ninety nine. you get five inch squares, you get 20 of them. They're all those and they're all different, but you will get the ones between them. Here's some examples of what you can do with them. <laughs> 
So that's a, a nine patch. Or pick, cut up big letters or hearts or a house. Yeah, you can applique onto, onto clothes, can't you? Yeah, applique to put on card. Mm. Beautiful, $17.99. You've done what? Oh, yeah, the middle of cathedral windows. If you like to show off the fabric, that'd oh, be nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, cathedral windows, lovely. Fabulous. Cut and prepared in England. The fabric is from Italy. Oh, hang on, Terry Brangwin was on the other day. <laughs> she brought in a pattern to make a crazy fun sampler that used five inch squares. Great. This would look amazing. And she's lovely, Sarah Brangwin, isn't she? She's doing lovely. Right, so that's that, that's that, those, those, that's those, 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 right? Shall we, shall we get on to the quilt? Now, can you explain, before we show these, explain the thing behind it? Yes, so you, in each kit, you get four blocks. So each of the little baskets of springy baskets of flowers is a block. Right, so last time you were on, we sold, so we did block one, one and, and block two. two. Yeah, which were the pink ones, so yeah. these... So this with the baskets in this colourway. Yes. So in, in your blocks one and two, you'll get baskets in exactly the same colours. Yeah. And then uh, in block three and block four, three which we've got today. Is the, this is the purple one and, I pres and the blue one. Yep. So I presume block one is the pink one and block two we'll is show, the We'll show you, we'll yeah. show you, because we've got them all here today. But, but, so, but what happens is, right, so block one and block two, so for example, last month we did four flowers, yep. this month we're doing four, flower, uh, four flowers. Four blocks. No, we did that block and that block, and it's, so to, after today, all the flower <laughs> blocks will be done. Yeah. Next time you come in, you'll be bringing in the squares that go in here, yeah. and the if you want to do hand embroidery in yes, there, the, the patterns, patterns of how to, to do, do that. that. Yeah. And then you see this fabric in the middle here, next time <clears> you can choose whether you go green, like that, or you can go pink like that. It so totally you... changes the look of the quilt. I don't know yes. if they've got the pictures of them. Both. I, I doubt it because we don't keep pictures. But um, okay. uh, Charlie, can you find if it's got? We, last time we did it, we had the pictures. Oh no, we haven't got it. We haven't got it. We'll do it for next time, though. We'll do it for next time. And then your binding will obviously be one of those two. So the next yep. next month, we'll have a bundle that has the fabric in to do those square those squares there. Yeah. The triangles at the sides. The yep. patterns with the embroidery, and then you choose which of those two you want to do your sashing. Yep. So today, we've got kit three. Now, this is mine. This isn't the one I can open. Your open ones are over there, aren't they? So this is kit three. Now, before... Oh, if you already bought some last time, then this is the best way to do it. I've got all four here today. Yeah, um, so if you haven't started, if you think, oh, I've missed out, you haven't missed out at all. So, right, so this is number three. So let me show you. I'm not going to open mine. This is number three here. So what you get in three is you get a mixture of tarna lawn and quilting weight, if I'm not right, not mistaken. Yeah. So what you've got in here is you've got your cream <laughs> quilting weight background uh, fabric for your background. Sorry, I'm just going to go there, right? Then what you do is we're going to be making these four. So the four with the blue uh, plant pots. Mm -hmm. This is this bit here is straightforward patchwork. This bit here is raw edge applique. Now, don't panic because it tells you exactly what each fabric is. So as you can see here, your vase will be made out of G and H, right? Which will be that one and that one. And that one. That one? Yep. Oops, my, my right mess already. So That's there fine. your vases, right? There are your vases. Your, your um, stalks are the same on all of them. They're made of the chartreuse, yeah? Yeah. Then all these different flowers here will be made of all of these different fabrics here. But every single thing, this is how you cut it out, it tells you how to cut it out so you don't waste any fabric. In here are all your templates. So you know that that's fabric J, you have to cut those out of fabric J. You know these are fabric I, these are fabric... E, e and, and, and you have to, spit the you have to stick, stick some together, together and everything yeah. there. But everything is there, so you know what you've got to cut out of everything. And then you've got full instructions of how to make the, the plant pots, right? And then how to do all the raw edge applique for all the flowers, which we're going to show you today. So that's how it works. So that's so some people are making the whole quilt. 
But some people chose to make four cushions. Four Because how big are these squares? Oh, my word. I, oh, don't, know. I don't know. If they're that big. They're that big. Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll measure, come back to you. Measure the second. <laughs> Um, so they're fifty four ninety nine. That will do you all the. So the blue plant plots are. You're going to make this. Sorry, Charlie. Have you got um, Dan? Dan. We're doing the blue. We're doing the four blue. So we're doing this one, that blue one there. We're doing that blue one over there. We're doing this blue one down here. And then there must be a blue one there. So we're, that, this pack here is making all four of those blue. So they've got different flowers in, but they've all got blue plant pots. So there's a blue in every row. Yes. And then there's a, you know... But again... But you can, you you can, can choose which, where you want to put them. Make all of them and then you choose. You choose where you want to go. So block... Uh, number three, block three, is all the blue plant pots, right? Then... We've got kit number four which is this one here. I'm not going to open that one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right, OK, equal amounts have gone. Absolutely equal amounts have gone. So obviously people are doing it. Oh, look at those gorgeous colours. So again, you've got your... Uh, what colour plant pots have I got in this one? The purple, these two. Those two are your plant pots there. Yep. Right, and then the, and there's your chartreuse for your uh, stalks. And then these are all your flowers here. Beautiful, aren't they? It's a mix of lawn and quilting weight in there. And again, it's exactly the same. You get all the instructions for all the plant pots, because the block, it's the, all the blocks are made the same way. So you have your piecing where you make your plant pot, and then you have your, oh, they're lovely. So you make, these are piecing, and then these are raw edge applique here. And then when it's finished, it's really easy to sew the blocks together, and then you, Make yes, that as yeah. a strip, Which a we'll diagonal be doing strip. Next month, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, people are worried about like how it's. it's oh yeah, it's not difficult. Really quickly it's not at the difficult end. because you do these. You make these on point, yep. don't you? So when, look, if you look on here, you make them. In, so you make them like this. So this is your, this is your basic square of fabric. Oh no, that, that's a border, isn't it? That's your square of fabric. You place your piecing on here. You do your edge piece, and then when you put them together. You sew, you're only sewing straight edges, but to create that on-point look, you're sewing straight edges together. I want to say they're around 12 inches, maybe 12 and a half yeah. inches, because this, this block starts out as 10. Yeah. Perfect. So that's that one, that's that one. Now, let me just remind you of one and two that we did last time. So if you haven't watched before, <coughs> if you haven't watched before and you want all four, I have got a, I've got a bundle of all four. Actually, so do that one next, Hannah, what? Do the bundle of all four. So this is if you wanted to buy all four of them, they're £219, right? So if you missed last month, £219, that's all four bundles, right? Uh, and, and that's the end of the bundles, apart from this bundle next month when we do the plain in between and the, and the bindings. That's the next bundles, one more bundle, OK? Then you're, so if you buy this, the four, you're completely up to date. So here's number one. Want to open this one? Mm, yeah, oh, go on. The yeah. Number one. Number one is this one. Lots of people ask about mixing quilting and tana. Oh, did they? People do generally yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, and you can pre-wash the um, quilting cotton if you want to. Um, I, I, I don't think there's any need to, but the, ta no. the, the tana we would never recommend. Um, pre-washing. We don't need you to, might, do you? No, you don't need to, but you might want to pre-wash the, the quilting cotton, but they sew nicely together. Okay. Fine. Right, there's number one. Number one is the orange one. This was from last month, but it's, obviously today, if you missed it last month, you think, oh, I really want it. That's number one. Or maybe you just want to do four cushions with orange mm -hmm. pots. So number one was the orange one. And then number two was, oh, we can leave it shut. Okay. Number two was this version here. There's your chartreuse for your stalks. It's the pink. And it's the pink on that one. Yeah, yeah, maybe you just bought one last time and you're thinking, oh, I just wish I... They're all, they're all available, either in the bundle or individually. It's up to you, 54 99 Gorgeous. Right, so, um, shall I show whatever else we've got in this hour before we, before we start the sewing? Or would you like to start sewing, Hannah? I, okay. Right, this is... Um, very limited already. This one's very limited already. 
There's two left, that limited, that limited, oh. right? <laughs> that limited. <clears throat> I did this, um, 27th of January, last, uh, yeah, last time you ran. Yeah, well, we didn't get to a demo on it, did we? Because we ran we? out of time. No, we totally ran out We talked it through at the end, we totally ran out of time. Yeah. So no, there's no demo on that. But it's a little EPP on the top and then it's just simple yeah. sewing. Well, no, no, because there's only two left. We, we sold really well. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's only 19 99 Lovely Easter present. That's about to go. That's about to sell up. I'll, I'll give that to... They both... That's, oh, that's yours. Mine, that's yours. And then this gorgeous heart cushion. Which we did demo. We, we did. We did demo this yeah. one. So what we've got here, we've got the big heart, then we've got some hand embroidery, down, oh, hand quilting down here. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your lovely uh, Liberty flange there, 54 99 That's the whole kit there. So you've got your two and a half inch squares, which create all of these. Yeah, they're pre-cut. They're all, all pre-cut ready yeah. for you. Then you've got uh, this fabric here, which isn't pre-cut because you've got more of that. Mm -hmm. Then you've got your flange fabric. You also get the backing fabric as well, so you don't have to then go and find other fabric to make the back of the cushion. And then that's, that's that one there. That's that one there. Fifty-four ninety-nine, and that one there was a demo the last time you were in. Yes. Twenty-seventh of January. Oh, lots of people asking about the house. <laughs> uh, that's coming up at eleven o'clock. The demo will be at eleven mm -hmm. o'clock. But if you if you are thinking about buying it. I'd go and buy it now because it's flying out. It's at, we knew it was going to be popular. Yeah. We knew it was going to be popular. Right. Also, 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 I'm not sure if I'm meant to say this, but Anna was a bit shocked at the price that we've put it up for because she thought it was... It, when they'd done their maths back at <laughs> Alice, it should be more. It should be more. You're getting a brilliant deal for what it is. Yeah, you've done it. You've yeah. done a great, great deal. So um, uh, uh, Ian, uh, Ian will be watching now, sweating, thinking he's put the wrong figures into the computer. <laughs> but that, which could have happened. We don't know. We don't know that could have happened. Get it today before Ian gets Well, no, car. no, exactly. Get it today before so. <laughs> Right. So, shall we now then do yeah. some sewing, please? Yes, let's do some sewing. Right. So essentially, to make up your baskets, it, you're sewing strips. Which one, are, which one are we doing? We are doing uh, that one at the top there. That one? Yeah. So is that so number purple. four? Y yes. Number four, that one, that's the one you've got, isn't it there? Yes. Yep, so we're doing number four, we're doing number four, right. So you're essentially, you're making half square triangles and strip piecing, so it's great f fundamental, foundational um, piecing. Uh, uh, um, what? Has it been serviced? It has. Uh, we've been going on for years, it before has. Covid we went on about having it, anyway she said. The lovely man at West End Sewing. Yeah, I'm having it serviced. Service it for me. Service. Although the buttonhole still needs mending. I was like trying to work out why the buttonhole didn't work when I was trying to work out the demo for the needle case kit. I was like, I can't get it to work. Is it me You're just being rubbish? Yeah. No, it's broken. Oh, but you'll get that fixed. <laughs> we get, well, it's a computerised thing, so it's, oh, a, it's it? a big old job. But um, So that's next time. So it's made up of strip piecing. Right. And uh, half square, making half square triangles. Lovely. And then essentially once you've got your components, you um, you can make build up your basket. Definitely. So we've got we're saying just two pieces of eight and a half inch together. Does that even sounds better. You've got to make sure with particularly with this Phoebe, which is the purple on the top, that you've got the right side because it's. It, have a look at it. It's oh, really, well, Liberty Lawn. You can. You can. Well, I always try and say this because yeah. I mean, if people aren't used to it, you know, look at that side. Yeah. Can, can you see that on the overhead yep. compared to that side? You see, it's super. It wouldn't close. be the end of the world. It wouldn't be if the end of the world. If you have made a mistake, don't think I've got to unpick it, but it I've is designed. I've done it loads of times. To, it's, yeah. A, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's designed to be that side, basically. Yes. Yeah. So then you would press that, but we don't. We Was don't, that a hint? No, we don't need. I don't think we need okay, to press okay. it because I've that got all the bits. That was to show you how to do it. Yeah. Um, so you've got the two together, and then you've got you sew three together. So I've shown, sewn these two together at that length, yes. and then I sew three longer ones yes. together. Yes, and so I'm not going to do it because it's just, you know, sewing <laughs> the three. I'm not going to do it. I'm here to do a demo, but I'm not going to do that. Well, no, but it's, it's the same process. So then you've got that, but it's a bit longer, and then you're cutting at two inches. Where's my cutting mat gone? Mm, we should press that, really. You want me to press we? it? Yes, shall I get please. my lovely iron out then? Yes, I'll please. switch it on, shall I? 
I'll just... This one would have been longer. This one what? Would have been longer. Yeah. So we're just cutting it at two inch intervals. Just meeting off the edge there. And you do that all the way along to create your strip piecing. Oh my arm. I've hurt my arm. What have you done? I don't know. I've not quite cut through that. So let's just do that again. Let's finish that bit off. So we do that all the way along yep. to create our strips. Right. Did you need to press something? Yes. What a gorgeous um, iron. The new Aliso iron here. Uh, remember, you've got to switch it on at the beginning. So the red, there's a red button there when it's off, and then you put, press it onto the green button. While this is pulsating, it means it's, it's building to the temperature. Don't try and use it. You put your water in before you start in the handle there. Press the left hand for front steam and the other button for back steam, or press them both together. You didn't see any of that. Okay. There you go, you press the, the, the left button for top steam, the bottom bu right button for bottom steam, or press both of them for full on steam. You can move this to left handed or right handed. Not, you can't just go, oh, I'll have it left handed today, right? It's, you have to unscrew it, but the instructions, I'll show you where to get the instructions later. Uh, and look at this. <laughs> Lights well, down, honey. Charlie. Look. You don't, have to dark, you don't have to iron in the dark, but you can really see if you are pressing in your pleats and everything like that. Uh, so there you go. Oh, when it comes with the soulmate, this is a soulmate. We when it arrives, the soulmate is attached to it. Then you turn it over and it becomes your, pre your resting mat. As you know, I only iron for sewing. I was going to say, I said you need the iron. It's nice, though, to be fair. It's a oh, nice iron. Yeah, I'm done. That was all that for that. Yeah, okay. all that for that. Oh, you need that. There'll mat. be more, won't there? There'll be more. I'll There'll be more. There. So then we're going to... Uh, do the same. Cut yep. uh, well, cut all the way along. I've, I've shown that, so we don't need to do it. So you've got essentially you've got twos and threes that build up mm. your piece. Yeah. So that's that, and then we've got four at a time, half square triangles. Right. So we're sewing around. All the all these instructions that you're doing now. Everything is in there. It's all in there. You don't have to worry about remembering. No, no, no. It's all in the instructions. Everything is all in there. Yeah. So we're going to sew around the outside of this. Oh, it's so nice to have a, a sewing machine that's... Uh, sewing machine that's almost the same height as you. I was going to say that's working really nicely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit high, actually. I'm so I did off your block to stand I know, on. I'm a bit worried I'm going to fall off it. I'm so clumsy, as you know. Yeah, oh, also, when the guest's on the block, I always trip over it. Do you? Yeah, because it sticks out here. This, <laughs> so I go to move and it uh, trips over it. Right, so we've sewn all around the outside. So this is four at a time half square triangles. Right. Let's trim that. There's my, oh yeah, there, thank you. And then we're going to diagonally cut. Uh, so be it sewing, says morning. Loving the shirt, John, beautiful quilt. Whoops, it's fallen into my basket. <laughs> Accidental. You'll need to get the other bundle next, the other kit next month. So the first two I've already done, the second two today, or or you can buy all four there, uh, and then next month we'll have the backing and the binding bundle. Take a step left. Right. So we've lots of people got the all four in baskets. So we've made. If you, watch it, if you happen to not be watching, it's like Hannah just said. If you don't watch during the week, you won't have seen the iron, which yeah, a lot of people can't watch during the week, can they? So we've made our half square half triangles. triangles yep. Those would be trimmed to two and a half, two and a quarter inches. Right. And then, so that's, that's quite, you know, just making four. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to make our eight at a time half square triangles. Oh, what? Eight at a time half square triangles. Okay. So I'm just These are a different size, are they? They're the same size, but you're just making eight oh, okay. instead. Do I have to do that and this? Or yes. Oh, okay. Yes. They're very long pins you've got today. I always use these. Oh, yeah. Very hmm. long. So we've, sorry, we've drawn yeah, yeah, um, with a friction right. pen uh, from corner to corner on yeah. both sides, and then we're saying quarter of an inch either side either of that so You're not saying on the line, you're saying quarter of an inch, quarter either, of an inch side the line. either side of that yeah, line. Lovely.
Margaret says good morning, everyone. Good morning, Margaret. Morning. Oh, June wanted to do Liberty by hand. You could do it by hand. I'm going to do it by hand in the next hour. You could do it by hand, well, June. <laughs> a bit you of could it. could do Liberty by hand. Can you please show how you back and hand? Yeah, we'll do that in the next... We'll do that in the hour that we do the, um, the Liberty wall hanging, Jan. Yeah, in, in 11 o'clock. Yeah. What, sh what, what are we showing? How we back the Liberty building? Yeah, and how we hang it, yeah. Yeah. Let's just trim that off. So that's down one side. So down the other side. Uh, Miss John Mabotta. Morning, John and Anna. My Alyssa oh, Anna's just been delivered. Fabulous service. Thank you. There you go. So if you bought it during the week, you also be should be arriving today. Imagine what day is it? It's Saturday, isn't it? Oh, yeah. If you buy all four, you get split pay. Ooh, oh, yeah. I hadn't even thought about that. No, they won't have thought about them upstairs, but, but yeah, if you buy all four, it goes on to split pay. That's good. So how much is it? 70, would well, be 73 pound 33. Um, I'm saying that. Oh! Don't ask me to do maths. 73, that's 210. Oh, no, no, that's right, that's right. It's exactly right, 73 pounds, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so remember, we don't charge any interest on your split pay. Um, yeah, on, and no interest, because we do it in-house, but also we don't charge for... Well, yeah, because it was 219. Yeah, it didn't occur to them. Um, which means you can pay uh, 73 today, 73 next month, and 73 the month after. That's really good, actually. It spreads the cost, doesn't it? Oh, sorry. Out your way. So we're cutting... I'm always in the way. We're cutting vertically and horizontally. You see, that's why you need really to be hard on at this. Block. I'm finding this really hard at this height. Would you like the block? I'll find well, it for you. You stay there. Don't you worry, girl. I'll find you the block. And then we're cutting on the lines. Oh, dan has got it stored away. <laughs> well, no, Lucy had it yesterday, so... In your own time, Dan. Well, I've done that now. I don't need the ladder. So we've got our eight half-square triangles. Right, just step aside. Health and safety. <laughs> <laughs> the glamour of showbiz. Yeah, I've opened the channel, she's going to go there. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> right, yeah, Hannah, what were you saying, now. my love? I didn't hear what you were saying. Where's the website on the wall hanging? It's on today's show. So you go to, go here quickly, you go there, you click on watch the show live. Everything we played on the left-hand side, right? Coming up in the right-hand side there. Oh, mm. something sold out. There's some sold outs there already. What have sold out? Hang on. It's no, there's still thing for the whole hour. That's oh. the whole five hours. Keep scrolling down to the 11 o'clock hour. Yeah, shut your eyes if it's making you dizzy. We're just trying to get to the 11 o'clock hour quickly for you. Something else sold out. There, there it is. There it is. The code is NHA607. NHA607. Yeah, and if you, if you type it in... Oh, sure, if you type in NHA, it won't come up. Right, OK. Because what happens is it's not in the web shop, it's only on today's show, you see. Right, sorry, go on. Right, so that's made eight at a time, half square triangles, and then you trim to... Uh, the two size and a quarter. Says, Yes, the two and a quarter inches. Yeah, yeah. So that's all of the things that you need to do to make your basket. Lovely. Right, let me just bung those to one side. So we just put that to one side. We don't touch it at all then. <laughs> oh no, what's this bit now? Well, these are all the bits that... Oh, that you've done already. ...that you've right. made. Yeah. So you've done your two, your, your two and you've cut. Then yeah. Your three and you've cut. And then you've got a single. Yeah. And then you've got your half square triangle there. Right. So these are your rows for your basket. Lovely. I'm just going to sew that half square triangle to the end of a three. Lovely. Oh, I'm feeling very tall now. That's good. It's very quite unusual for me. Yeah, just don't fall off the edge. Well, well you'll have to catch me, John. Well, you go that way, I think, <laughs> not this way. <laughs> so that's that one. Well, that's it. Yep. And you can press the seams open or you can press 
yeah. to one side, whichever you prefer. Lovely. April's watching from Australia. Hello, April. Hi. Move that over there. So now we're going to sew these together. Uh huh. Do we have to match anything up when we're stitching this bit? Yes, you have to. It would be good to match the, the seams up, you know, the, the, the joints. Pam said, thank you very much. She's going to be out at 11. Oh, bite now, Pam. Bite now. So because when you can always here. watch the demo later. You can, so you, if you buy it now and then you've got to go out, then watch the demo later. Let me just trim that off. Not cut my finger off. Told you I'm clumsy. So it's good to match that seam up there. Oh, yes. This yes, here. Yes, yes, yeah. Yep. Also, if you've seen Janet Clare's um, uh, Facebook or social media post, it says, stop saying, oh, it's not. You know, like people go, oh, I've made a quilt, it's not very good. Don't look at them. It doesn't matter. I cannot. We get so many people going, when we do our SOS, you know, we do our SOS charity yeah, quilt yeah, project. Yeah, yeah. Um, people go, it's not very good, but I hope it's acceptable. Yeah. They're amazed. The quilts yeah, that come yeah. in are literally but amazing. But also, you're doing it for fun. You're not doing it for the pointy police to point at it and things, are you? You know what I mean? Exactly. So we're just... Having said that, have you matched your seams? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just matching that there. Um, so, yeah, it's it's the, the, the seam joints that is important to get right. Yeah. I mean, there's so many, you know... Who really cares whether there's imperfections in yeah. your sewing? You know, everyone's different, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. If your joy is matching seams and that's what you love doing, then by all means do it. But if your joy is making things and patchworking and just sewing for your mindfulness and things yeah. like that, then go for it. Have a lovely time. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can see our baskets forming. As long yeah. as you get the odd, <coughs> you know, the the, um, the different ones oh, next yeah, to yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. Right, and then this this bit here forms the, the base. The base. Again, let's match that seam up. There. You can open it up and peek inside if you want to. Just do that peek inside that you've yeah. matched your seam. You, are you the only one that Alice Carroll that can sew then? No. Can get the short straw to come on here. Uh, no, pretty much everyone can sew, actually. I thought so. Uh, in fact, a variety of people make a variety of things. Oh, yeah, yeah, things yeah. So who made you this see. one, then? Do we know? Laura made this. The whole thing? Yeah. It's for her parents, actually. Oh, no, because they'll have to come and get it off Hannah's bed, she says, afterwards. Ah, uh, well, they live in Australia, so they'll be coming a long way. Yeah. Oh, well, they might get lost in the post. <laughs> is she going to see them, or is she going to post it to them? I don't know. Actually, she's in Japan at the minute. Oh, oh yes, I knew that. Yeah. Did you know there's this thing? What's it called? The, the Nomad <coughs> work permit, I the, think. The, Hannah, did you know about this? The Nomad work permit. I don't know if it's actually that's the right, those are the right words. Oh, okay. But, but, but basically, so tell us what she, she works for Alice Caroline, <coughs> but she lives in Japan. Well, she could do her work. She's, for tempor a certain amount of time. she's temporarily. In yeah, Japan. no, 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 no. You I can't go and live perm. I don't think you can do it permanently. No. The nomad means that you're going from. No, place that's to what place. I mean. So Hannah could go and live <coughs> in a country that she really, really wants to live in for like four months. But you can work for a UK. You know, your your job. If you can do your job remotely. Yeah, it's essential. You've you got to be able to do the job remotely. Yeah, yeah, but I think you could, Ooh. and I think you could do this one remotely. As long as you had to talk. Well, if you think about, you know, other channels have guests from abroad, don't they? You could produce from abroad. You just have to remember the time difference. Oh, the time difference is a bit of a thing. Yeah. Because obviously, I had to do a meeting with Laura at six o'clock in the morning to like. No, no. If she's the nomad, <laughs> she has to fit in with your time. You don't <laughs> well, fit in with hers. Well, cheek. I'm up um, at six o'clock in the morning. Uh, and she says, I don't think I've managed to do a whole quilt yet with fully matched points, and they disappear more when you quilt it. They do, and the more you wash it. The more scrunchy comes. I was thinking this the other day. There's a really great technique. We showed it on one of our bags on here. It was a really great technique for doing, and it would be perfect for this, or for like doing a cushion cover. You sew your, <coughs> you get your squares. Oh, just wondering if I can show. You get your squares. <coughs> you get a bit of lysoline. 
Yeah. You, do you remember this? Oh yeah, yeah, we sell it. And then we you, sell it. And then you put them on. Yeah. And then you and then you sew down the seams. We've got it. We've got it. We've, you, we sell that, it. You stuff. get perfect yeah. points yeah. then. You know the Vaseline with the with the squares on it, Hannah. <coughs> I'm not saying you have to get it now, but if you want to get perfect, perfect <coughs> points, you stick your your fabric onto the Vaseline and then you stitch along the lines, and it creates the amazing. It would have to point. be quite lightweight, I think. Yeah. Uh, Alan sews the seams first to make sure the seams match up. Oh, the little bits of seam. That's a Debbie Shaw tip, isn't it, that one, Alan? Right? And oh, now you're cutting some off? No. Nope. You draw... Oh, OK. You draw a line all the way down. Yeah. And then you fold it over and press. I've already done that. So. You've got one already done. Already done, yeah. Already done. Yep. So that's oh, okay. all tucked under. So that's literally just tucked under there. Yeah. And pressed. And then I've pinned it to the bottom right. So you don't corner. chop it off. You just fold it. It's all. It's folded under. You haven't chopped that excess fold off. You haven't. I folded it under. No, no. I mean, raw edges are fine, as we know. On yeah, on yeah, no, no. But, but also, a tunnel on so fine that it's not. If you're doing that with quilting, where you'd end up with three layers of quilting wet yes. cotton, wouldn't you? Whereas tunnel on so fine, it doesn't matter. Yes, I, exactly. So that's your basket essentially. Well, is it? Because it's going to fall over. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I've got, I've got my borders to go on. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, so that's the, the start of your basket. Right. And then at this stage, we move to the raw edge applique, or some of the raw edge applique. <coughs> so in order to... Uh, well, I've demoed this lots of times before, but... Um, yeah, but we've got new customers every day. I know, for people who've never... Done it. <laughs> you're, sorry, you're always... No, 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 it's, it's just so you're in perfect line and Charlie gets stressed if you don't. I think Ian's put... Uh, a load of bond web, on, and maybe into hour, the next, next hour. hour. Your next hour, yeah. So you get your <clears throat> you get your fabric, um, and then you put your bond web onto the, mm -hmm. the wrong side of that, and then you're putting your pattern piece onto the wrong side of the fabric, yeah. And then cutting it out. You can glue it. You can glue this to here if you want to to keep it there, and then I mean not not permanently, but yeah, you would yeah, like yeah. take it off. Oh, so you mean onto onto the, yeah? Yeah, like little dabs of glue. Yeah. So we're just cutting that out. And then we can move to doing some of the raw edge applique and fixing that basket Lovely. on. Lots of you got it, the whole bundle in your basket, the bundle of four oh, in your basket. Make sure you check out. It, you, you're fine, you're fine at the moment, but just um, I don't want anyone to miss out. It's a bit busy day. Stuff. I know, it's a lovely quilt. I love the fact that it's got, like, the, the change of the look of the quilt is, is totally different with the, with the pink and the... Yeah. <coughs> I, um... Oh, I have got the photo on my phone. Right? I might, I might, I might send it to the studio in the next hour, and then we can show it on the the picture. The picture, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Definitely got it. So that's that. And then you can keep this fixed to it yeah. with your glue or your pins or whatever oh, you prefer, yeah, I see, yeah, yeah, so yeah. that you know which numbers. It's yeah. quite useful to do it until you're ready to yeah, put it exactly. on. Um, but at this stage, we're going to use... Oh, message. Uh, also... Oh, why, was there a message before? Also? Also, oh. Hannah, was there a message before? Because it says, also, quilt patchwork don't need to be rushed. It's about the journey, not the destination. Exactly, ah. so in Norfolk. Oh, also, that's in addition to what we were saying about... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Oh. Some take years, don't yeah, they? Absolutely. I mean, people well, no, are doing no, like so, mini. Uh, who was I talking to yesterday? No, and they said this is a year long project. Oh, my brain. Oh, I know. Um, uh, lovely Helen McCook. She says she has some projects that they know is going to take a year. She does embroidery and gold work and everything. She, mm. You know, the hard danger. Yeah, hard hard Something danger. you can just pick up and put down. It's oh. really mindful, yeah. isn't it? So she said, have projects. The one project you know is going to take a year, one project you know may take a few months, or one project you can just make that afternoon. Yeah, so yeah. you pick up the one that you fancy yeah. doing that day yeah. or something. Yeah. Great. Right. So once we've got... So this is... An we've arrow. prepared all of our pieces. Yeah. It's a stem, not an arrow. Oh, sorry. So you can use a pin to yeah. take it off. I mean, this one's you know, easily coming off. And then we're going to tuck this... Before I stitch this, we're going to tuck it, this under the stem. Yeah. And you can see... I've folded it diagonally so that you can see where you've got to line your stem. OK. I'm just going to iron that on. Oh, are you? Well, we've got the iron out then, isn't <laughs> it? It is. So just iron that on, just making sure that lines up. Well, 
we had this iron on on Tuesday, uh, not Tuesday, we launched on Tuesday, so it was Wednesday, Rachel from Dudley was uh, producing, <coughs> and she kept saying, oh, we should iron in a power cut, we had to explain to her, you can't iron in a power cut, because there'd be no power, she'd get the light, <laughs> you better do the light, and I went, yeah, but there'd be no electricity to put the light on, Rachel, she went, oh, yeah. <laughs> So now we're going to sew our bas uh, the bit of our basket yes, yes. onto the corner and then we can do our raw ridge applique and, okay. and put what our borders on. What stitch do you use then? What's just a straight, straight stitch, stitch yeah. yeah, just a normal straight Even stitch. Even when you're doing your raw ridge applique? Yes. Yeah. And it's not free motion, you don't do free motion, do you? Well, you, you can do it if you want to do it free motion. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you've got uh, particularly curvy bits, then you can do it free yeah, motion. Yeah, yeah. But it, or, what I'm saying is some people don't like free motion. No. So you don't have to, People look at it and go, oh, it's free motion, I don't want to do it. But no. You can just do it with a normal straight stitch. You can do it with a normal straight stitch. If you bought the stitch. new uh, Elna uh, 782, uh, that's got the stitch regulator on it, so it can make it easier for you. So I'm going as close to the edge as I possibly can yeah. without going off the edge. Yeah, some people do get really scared of free motion. Yeah, but it and doesn't need to be free It doesn't motion. need to be, no. Uh, no, not at all. And don't do a satin stitch, because the satin <laughs> stitch is too heavy for it, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Although that's, it really entirely depends on what people like, doesn't it? Yeah, you know yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're doing it, like Sue just said, you're doing it for fun. You're not doing it, it's not a race. Exactly. So I've gone round the outside of all those. There we go, so that's that. And then we move to the doing the raw edge applique on that stem. On that right. Again, you can see it's totally... Are there, I was going to say, are there any rules? Do I need to start anywhere in particular? Well, actually, yeah, we probably should start at the... At the base. At the base. I mean, wherever you start, you end up, don't you, yeah, on exactly. the... Again, because this is a straight piece, you can just do, you know, just swivel. Use, I'm using the needle down. Yeah. Now, what colour would you do this in? Because I'm they're doing all it. different colours, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, you can see... Well, what is the colour? Just a neutral. It's a neutral yeah. colour, like a grey off, off... Yeah, but if you wanted white. to, you could match your colours. If, if you've got time, it means you you're going to have to keep swapping your, bo your thread all the time. It but does, yeah. But you can do all of the bits in one colour. So oh, yeah, all, of the, yeah. all of the orange flowers on this block. Yeah. So it builds up quite quickly as a block, you can see. And you can get all four kits, you can make all your baskets in one go, you can chain piece your baskets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it depends. The thing is, it depends what you like doing best. If you like yeah. doing the basket, don't do it all at once, because you're not going to, you know, kind of... It's exactly. like eating all your chips before you have to eat your peas, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, 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 you know I just said, the bundle of all four is very popular. More people got it in baskets than we've got stock of now. So you need to check out, if you do want that bundle of four, take advantage of the split pair if you want to, but there's more people in baskets than we've got stock of. Well, that's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, so, let's trim that. Trim the pieces on the back. And then we can start adding our flowers. Right. Lovely. So it doesn't really matter at this stage whether you add the flowers first, do the raw ridge applique, or do or put the borders on. Right. You can do it. You can do it either way. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think the instructions say to put the borders on now. Do the do the flowers go over into the border or the? No. Oh, look. No, no. No. So it doesn't matter. Do, I do. I do my raw ridge applique now, and then I put the borders on last. I think. Yeah, because the borders only go on that side and that side. Yeah. The right and yeah. the bottom. So yes, right. Okay. Well, let me. Oh, You've got all your flowers there. Yeah. What time is it? Oh, cracky! Look at the time. What time is it? Where is this hour gone? Is it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's because we're chatting. Okay, in that bundle there of all four of them, there's only eight left, and 
11 people got it in their basket. So check out, check out, check out. You can buy them separately. I'm not saying you have to buy it that way, but you can buy them separately. But um, you might as well, if you're going to take advantage of the split pay, then you might <coughs> as well you do that one, mightn't you? Right, so I'll quickly, I'll iron those on so oh, you will can you? see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That so I'll do the middle one first. Let's get this. I'll take that off if you look at that. We should scroll the next one. Fab, thanks. That's a good example. Oh, oh no, it's not. No, 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 it's no. not. For a oh. moment, then I thought, oh, it's on the wrong side. So I do this middle one first. Yeah. And that's. Depending on how you want to align it, I would align it with the with this little V there. It's in the oh, the blip with the cleft. Yeah. On the stalk. So do that that middle one first. She's not done all of them like that. Look. No, I, I've just noticed. That one's that one's done randomly. Again, however you prefer to do it. So try and get the same sort of gap. Yeah. You get your tape measure out and measure it if you if you would like to. Right, now 15 people got the bundle in their basket. Check out, check out, check out. Yeah, remember, one, there's one more instalment. So they're the four to do the uh, to do all the patterned ones. Next month will be the one <coughs> to do the plain ones and the book border. And then you just sew around the outside like you were like you did before. Let me just show putting on the border. So this is a half square triangle yep. and, a, and a strip that's been made. And then this one onto the right hand side. I'll just pin those, but you can see that's that's yeah, yeah, actually yeah, yeah, block yeah, yeah. made. I'll do this this one first. Lovely. Again, try and match up that seam. There. Time flies when you're having fun, John. What? Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. Was it only nine fifty two? So cheeky to me. Jeez. Thanks for coming to our fabric sale. It was lovely to see you. Yeah, I went. To, I went to. They had. They had um, a, a, a kind of gathering of um, the Alice Caroline clan <laughs> and all their fans and everything in a village hall in the middle of nowhere. I ended up on car parking duty first thing in the morning. Oh, did was, you? Yeah, because it was so busy, and uh, yeah. I always end up on One car parking duty. One person got duty. stuck in the car park, and I was like, "How can they get stuck when it's hard? Uh, what's it called? Hard gra or whatever that? Uh, what's it called when they put that kind of um, it's like uh, the tennis courts at school were made of it? What was it called? Hard gra or something like that? Anyway, I said, "Why did they get stuck?" They went, "No, they went in the field. It was in the middle of all the floods, and there were lots of floods around there, weren't there?" Was, My sat nav took me a weird way. Did home. it? Yeah, I don't know where I was going. Oh home. no! Oh, well, thanks for coming. Huh? Appreciated it. We were oh, nice to see you. Time. Got a free tin of fizzy drink. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't sound all that generous no. you say that. <laughs> I did offer you some fabric no, no, for another I've shirt. You can have another. Oh, you did? I've got a pair of cufflinks for my brother. Oh, she was just a present for my brother. Oh. Oh. Now, it wasn't like the Willy Wonka experience. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was a great day. Everyone got loads of brilliant bargains. That one, and we just put the border on this side. Then I'll do a recap once you've done that. Is it called hardcore? Carmela says. Oh, don't mean hard. Yes, no, hardcore's it. like this. Hardcore. <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> oh, no, hang on, hang on. What is my personal? No, he's not coming today. I don't think. Personal trainer. Hardcore. That's me. Hardcore. I'm going out for coffee with my personal trainer's mum. I've got a personal yeah. trainer. <laughs> yeah, she looks like Kat, Kate Bush. Who, the mum or your... The mum. The personal, the personal trainer. trainer. He'd be a bit pushed to look like oh. uh, Kate Bush. <laughs> he normally tunes in. I've not seen it today. Yeah. I need a personal trainer. How, I need why somebody shouting Hannah, at did me. Did you have a good night's sleep? Like, Hannah's got so much energy today. And normally it's filtered down, but like if she's like this normally, by about half past eight, it's gone. But it's getting even more today. She's singing the Kate Bush whole uh, record, uh, the, the it's whole me. Ca back catalogue of Kate Bush at the moment. 
Well, she's had a revival, hasn't she, because of Stranger Things? She's had a what? A revival because of Stranger Things. Stra oh, oh, Stranger I was going to say, Hannah. I was going to say, I don't understand what oh, you Kate mean. Bush. Yeah. Kate Bush revival. She is a strange all... thing, though, Hannah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. April 1978, that was Hannah. Yeah. Before your book, book, before your breath. That's the word I was looking for. So there we go. That's our block. That's one block finished. So you yeah. repeat that. No, it's not finished because you haven't finished your flowers. No, I haven't finished my flowers, actually. You're very, you're very, yeah, I, I just true. think it's done. There you go. Yeah, I <laughs> well, you could leave it like that if you wanted to. Yeah, so you, then you've, you've got your middle section of your flowers to put. So you'd applique those and then you'd put your middle, I think it's those little Eden ones yeah, yeah, next, yeah. and then your blue in the, in the middle. So, yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Right, let me recap. Let me just put the iron over there. <laughs> recap, recap. So have I got the bundle? Oh, no. What have I got in? I've got irons in first. I'll do that first. Then there you go. Here's the iron, the Aliso iron. Steam iron, dry iron. You can make it left-handed, right-handed. It's got a two-year warranty. It weighs 0.9 of a kilo or two pounds. Um, and it's got front steam, back steam and all over steam. Oh, there's no water in it, so I can't show you. Uh, uh, and it's a really uh, 1.9 metre cable. And it's Aliso. <laughs> Thanks, you missed it. We only launched it on Tuesday. Only, oh, I, I knew there was something else. I, I woke up from my, from my sleep last night and thought, I've got to get Hannah to check something. And I've just remembered it now. Yes. So, uh, so remind me in this break now to ask you. Right, so, so that's the iron. Now, back to the quilt. Which one are you going to put in first? The bundle of four. So if you've not, if you missed it last month, we did block one and block two last month, block, block three and block four today. If you want all floor blocks, which are all of these floral blocks, so it makes 16 blocks, right? 16 floral blocks in there. That's bundles kit one, two, three, and four, 219 pounds. Now, if you buy them that way, you can take advantage of the split pay, 0% interest charged, uh, 219 pounds at 73 pounds a month for three months. That'll pay for all of those. That's all for the box. There is one more block, which will be next month, which will be <coughs> the plain squares in here with the embroidery patterns and the choice of the pink or the green for your board. And what Anna's going to do in the break, she's going to send Charlie the picture of the finished quilt in pink as well, so you can see the difference. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, not Charlie's personal. Don't worry. And they're going, not Charlie, studio, studio. Studio. Um... um not that it makes any difference today, because you haven't got to make that decision today. That's next month you have to make that decision, right? So that's to buy all four blocks. If you want to buy them individually, then you can do. So block, which one are you going to first? Oh, kit. Number four first. Number four first, which will be one of these. Which is this one. This one here. There's that's the one I demoed four. today. Mm? With the, that's the one I've demoed. Which is the one I've demoed, isn't it? No, uh, no, that's two. That's two, that's not four. Sorry, this... No, four will be one we've that opened. One, this one four. here, this is number four. Yeah, so it's, that's the basket. That's your bundle there. So that's number four, just on its own, 54 99 Then we had number three, which will be this one. Yeah, exactly the same amount of both of those have sold. Exactly the same number. So it looks like you're all buying it to do the whole quilt. Number three, uh, yeah, number four, number three, that's what we've done. Number two this is, is this one. Lovely, and then kit one is this one. It might be that you want to buy four of kit one and they all, so you have, <coughs> oh, oh no, you need eight, uh, hang on, one, two, three, four. You need to buy yeah, four yeah. of those, yeah, buy four of those. Yeah, four and all of your, all of your plant pots would be orange plant pots. If you've yep. got enough colour way to, to, you know, to fit into your house or something like that. I don't think you'd have all the designs of the flowers if you did it like that. No, 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 that, no, but no, no, but, you, but, but yeah. you'd only have those. You'd have four of those, four of those, yeah, four yeah. of those, and four of those, wouldn't you? Yeah. Right, bundle of all four. Right, I'm in single figures of it, but we've got way too many people got it in their baskets. Way too many people got it in their baskets. So please check out. Please, please, please. If, take advantage of the split pay if you want to. Right, it's a three-way split pay, look. Seven, and no interest charge whatsoever. <laughs> and, 
Anna needs a drink. Somebody get <laughs> Anna a drink. Um, I just need to talk about this because Anna's back in an hour. And now this is fly flying out already. This wall hanging. It's flying out already. Now, it has been done by machine, but you can do it by hand. June wants it by hand. You can do it by hand if you want to. Oh, there you go. I see. I would do the Liberty word letters in gold or something like that. Yeah, I've got it. I've, I've done a bit of it for the second hour. Oh, OK, yeah. perfect. Yeah. In, in, not in gold, in white. Oh, would you do knots in gold? Where? I think... Well, no, you could do it in gold. I think it was done in that colour because that's the Liberty colour, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it? no, the no, purple. no, no, but, but on the telly you can't see it, can you? No, I've done it in white, so oh, okay. you can see it. All right, Jo, so you'll see Anna in an hour. Yep. Don't know where, because you see me and <laughs> Emma Brassfield. <laughs> I told you that block gets away. See, uh, in four minutes from now. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Savianne Harrison and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol um, but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was I, I, I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school, but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a perlay thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios, studios whilst the show was on. It was really, really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with a sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street. Goodness knows how that happened. Uh, but I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas. So do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days.
Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Sewing Street is now available on Virgin Media, channel number 754. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Emma Bransfield's here today and she's got a new logo. Hello. Wave to your camera. Hello, hello. You look very little. Are you all right behind the desk? Oh, no, you're like slouching. Slouching. <laughs> I am little. Uh, we're, looking, we're loving your outfit today. Oh, thank you. Oh. It's handmade. Oh, and Hannah likes your hair clip. Well, what is this? What's going on? <laughs> Too many compliments. Too many compliments going on. She's in a good mood today. Not, not Emma. Emma's always <laughs> in a good mood. I'm talking about Hannah now. Right, look, let's start. Let's start. Let's start. What's what? The new, oh, do you want to see the new logo? There it is. Ooh. What was it like before? It was... <laughs> she can't, isn't it weird? You have the same thing for years, and then you get a yeah. new one, and you completely forget what the old one was like. It had like, um, I don't know how to describe it, like swirly bits around it in a circle. It's different now. It's better now. More on brand. More, oh, OK. <laughs> right. So who's Neeway? No one is Niwe. Niwe is actually Niwe, so it's like night away. Niwe. Is that what you say in your house? Oh, I'm going for a Niwe. <laughs> no. It's really hard when you're designing patterns like to come up with the names. So um, I have, as you know, been going through um, and starting to it's kind of ones that don't have an ob ob obvious name, I've been naming them after um, women in my family. Um, and so we'll get onto that in the second show. Yep. But this one, it just made sense. Night away, night away. I don't know. Okay. Just obvious to me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> right. So we've got it in three different colourways. Which one are you demoing again? Uh, the stripey one. I'll stripey. do that one first. So what you get in your bundle here is you get your instructions. Now, you know already how brilliant these instructions are. Everything, they're so thorough and so precise and everything you got everything you need in there you're not left on your own whatsoever so you get the pattern in there you get half a meter of the stripey and you get half a meter of the uh, a mint i'm going to call it and you get half spearmint and you get half a meter of your pvc what else will i be needing to go in there um you could either purchase spice binding or you can make it okay so we'll talk about, talk that, about that in a minute yeah uh, i don't need any um uh, do I need any um, you need interfacing? interfacing or yeah, always with bag making. Yeah. Need interfacing. Um, so a regular medium to lightweight uh, interfacing, and then you're going to want some stabilizers. So either fusible foam, so your Bosal, or your H640 fusible fleece. Which you got in the next hour? We got to do that. The oh, we can bring them forward. Bring them forward. Bring them forward. Them. Right now, the next one then is oh, this is nice. A black and. Um, like, uh, now what, how do I want to call it? It's a Liberty, but I can't decide how to um, describe the pattern. Anyway, so you get half a metre of your PVC, 
You get half a metre of your black, half a metre of your liberty and your instructions, 22 99 Beautiful, beautiful. Then we've got this lovely pink and... and then, oh, it's another Liberty. Collector's Home Liberty. We're Libertyed out today, aren't we? This one here, extremely popular on pre-order. Oh, actually, is it because they've seen it being made? It's already made. Oh, thank you. Look, 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 look. How cute is that? Now, you can do, uh, well, the, the PVC in here, you get that in your bundle anyway, but if you want to have mesh in there, because the mesh would look gorgeous, wouldn't it? You can have mesh in there as well if you want. Uh, and then we've got the lovely, um, uh, now we found some more uh, a different colours. We've got pink, white and black now in, the, in that. Uh, um. Anyway, isn't it lovely? Uh, how gorgeous. So, so um, what are you going to put in it then? What do you put in yours? Well, it's for your night away, isn't it? So you're going to have toiletries in one side and then makeup in the other is the idea. Oh, no knickers or clothes or shoes. Well, you could though. do if you want. It's quite, it's sort of on the larger size with toiletry bag, isn't it? So you could, yeah, do what you See, want. Now, Hannah has this thing <laughs> in her suitcase. Her knickers and her socks can't touch anything else in the suitcase. Oh, well, this would so, be perfect for her. Yeah? Hannah, you need one. Anyway, 22, 19, that's that one. That's that one there, right? Beautiful, isn't it? So that's that bundle. That's that bundle. Let's do the pattern on its own because you love the pattern. Right, of course, over half the stock of the pattern on its own has gone already. Over half the... She's in a weird mood today. <laughs> She's going on about all sorts of gussets and soles and everything now. £12 for your pattern. I do apologise, Emma. <laughs> She's not in very often. We have to make it a very nice experience for her. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> You're here all the time. I just said, she's not here very often. She went, I'm a... Anyway. <laughs> sorry. I am so sorry. Uh, really gorgeous. Uh, lovely. £12. Now, I'm not going to open this one, but everything's in there. Every bit of instruction, every bit of pattern, every bit of how many and how much. Everything is in there. Everything is in there. And there is a full step-by-step -step video tutorial, which you can find on YouTube right now. Um, taking you through all the steps. So do I need to have bought the pattern to find that or can I just find it on your... You can just find it. And how do I find that then? You just need to look for Studio 7 T7. Remember the T. Although I think you can find it if you just put yeah. 7 to 7. Um, search for Studio 7 T7 and then Nyway and you will find it. There you go. And also, have you got anywhere where if people are really stuck and they need to ask a question, is there somewhere people can go? I do. So there is a Facebook group as well where everybody is welcome. And I like to share all crafts on there too. So it's called So Create and Craft <gasps> by Studio 77. You could have it's changed close. the branding. It's close. <laughs> it's not the same. I did ask in the group if, if everybody would be happy with me changing it. And there was unanimous like, no, don't confuse us. We'll never find it. And oh, so okay. That's fine. That's so fine. That's fine. <laughs> yes. I share all kinds of crafts in there. That's why that we've got the craft as well. Because, oh, okay. you know, you get inspired by everything. Yeah, yeah, totally. 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 Right, message on the bottom. Uh, good morning, Emma and John. Perfect Saturday morning viewing with you both. The Nye Way is a fab pattern from Esther in Berkshire. Thank you, Esther. Um, oh, okay. Good morning, John and lovely Emma. I love the Nye Way bag. I ended up making five, but all Emma's patterns are fabulous. Oh. Not but, they are, they are. There's That's no Michelle. but in there. They are, Michelle. <laughs> but they are, they all are good, yeah. Michelle is one of my testers. Uh, well, they all, they look so professional, and and you, you keep them as simple. That, I don't mean that sounds rude, but you know what no. I mean. You keep it as achievable as possible, and yet they look like you've bought that from Dickens and Jones or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. They look like yeah. they're brilliant. I try and include as many tips and tricks in the video as well. So even if you're just following it with the instructions, you might want to sew along with me. You know, you can have you, me in your sewing room if you want, and um, I try and share all lots of tips and tricks as we go along as well. No How brilliant is that? Uh, this colourway is absolutely flying out, by the way. Absolutely flying out. So you've got everything you need in there, fabric-wise and pattern-wise. You will need some webbing. So let's do webbing next, then. So we've got webbing pink, which is what we've used on that bag there. We, the royal we. I've made lots of that bag. I did the webbing. Right. Right, okay, that's a metre and a half pre-cut. That, that's when, uh, more than enough to do the bag, isn't it? A metre and a half. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. So that's a metre and a half for you, one ninety nine there. Oh, yeah, if you buy two, they don't come joined up. You get two one and a half metre pieces, right? So then, of course, I've got the same one in white. Is that a metre and a half as well? Oh, okay, it's exactly the same, but this one's only 99p. Yeah, so that's a good buy if you want the white one. Yeah, yeah, just have it in your stash. One and a half metres for 99p. Right, now the black one I think is a cotton one, is it not? And it's cut to order. How, how much should I need, how, if I'm buying it to order, it's, how much should I buy? It says it on the back of there. Should do. Sorry. It's all right. Two lengths of 15 inches can be changed to, oh yeah, yeah. Two lengths of 15 inches. Or you can, there you go. So that, uh, there it is, that's a cotton, that's a cotton one, that one. Uh, 69p. 69p for half a metre, but you can have whatever length you want of that one, as long as it's in half metre increments. Right, then we need to talk about zips. So I've got black zips, five metres of black zippage. There are no pulls on here whatsoever. And it's five, size five this is, and Emmy, you always use size five. Yeah, I love a size five. <laughs> you might already have some, you might have some of your zips that you, we've had of yours in the past, don't we? You might have some of those as well. Mm -hmm. 9 99 Yeah, check on the website. There might be some of Emma's uh, um, rainbow and silver and gold ones on the website. Nine ninety nine. <laughs> They're not there, though, are they anymore? Uh, white. Five meters of white. Uh, what is wrong with Hannah today? <laughs> I. Mm. I think I might switch my microphone off. I might not my microphone. My talk back off in a minute. <laughs> right now, I've got. Uh, Zip pulled. Now, how many zip pulls do I need for the whole need thing? Definitely two for the outer. You yep. can't really do it. Well, you could do it with one, but it no, no, no. Two. Well, I've got bundles of five here. So, that's so, perfect. so five would be great. So you need two for the outer, and then you need two for the inside pockets as well. Okay, which colour are we doing first, Han? Silver first. So there's your five silver pulls, a pound each, basically. Aren't they four ninety nine for five. Just the silver there. Also got them in the gold. And the mesh, you've got the mesh to do. Mesh is flying out on pre-order. Optional extra. Right, so I've got H640, H640 first. This is a huge piece. This is a, Oh, okay, right. Now, um, yesterday I only had the, the, the half a metre, and it's five, this is 5 99 for half a metre, so by a metre at 9 99 you're saving money. I won't need a metre, will I? No. No! 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 <laughs> but it's good to have in the stash. Why, is, why have I got a shadow there, Charlie? Maybe I haven't. Oh, okay. There you go. I thought there was something above me about to fall over. Um, I, I haven't got the interface. I, have I got the interfacing? I just need the pink packet with interfacing, Dan, please. Uh, I'll do the mesh while we're waiting. This is optional, but you're going to do the mesh in your demo, aren't yes, you? Yes, yeah. Right. Which one are we doing first? Blue first. It's not just called blue. It's called Blast Off Blue, this one. <laughs> Hey, you know what you could do with the mesh? What? Because you get quite a lot with it. You can make a little drawstring bag that could, you know, and then you can have it matching. Or you can make a little vest top to go clubbing in. Oh, amazing. Mm. My I'm, days of I doing that are way that. Until you're gone now. <laughs> Please do that. Hmm? Please do that. I want to see that. <laughs> I'll find you the pictures. <laughs> Me and Dulcie clubbing back in the day. Amazing. Uh, and then we've got the pink one here. Lipstick. Uh, I'd have gone in the blue one when I put a yellow bias binding around the edge. You didn't go out with Esme as well, did you? Who? Esme, young. No, no, no. I don't know Esme. Oh, you don't? No. I'm very surprised. No, I'm ne we've never crossed, we've never oh. crossed paths. She made my friend's wedding dress. Eh? She made my friend's wedding dress. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh. Yeah? Who very made cool. your wedding dress? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Off the peg. What? Off the peg. Oh. I know. 
Here's the here's the lipstick Shame. pink one. Um, <laughs> Steph oh now Stephanie's message, Jeff's message has come through going asphalt. I think she's talking about when I was talking about hardcore earlier. Uh, Vian says, morning, John. We won't let you feel left out. No, I don't feel left out. Thank you, man. Uh, anyway, have we got the um, interfacing? Oh, medium weight. You were talking with Anna about your interfacing, your gridded interfacing. Yes. Yes, I literally did a tutorial on that on my YouTube last week. Oh, did you? Yeah. So Is that on, that's on YouTube as well? It's on YouTube. It's within the live section. Yeah, we sell it. We sell it on our, on our channel, but um, it's where it's got grids on. The, I met the lady from because we've always said Visaline in the past, and then we were told it was Visaline. She says oh. Visaline. -er. Oh. And uh, she introduced herself. She said, I'm Anna from Visaline. -er. Three ninety nine. That interfacing. Oh, Di's made a me what? Di, Diane, even. Uh, oh yes, she said Di. Made six of these as presents. Great toilet travel bag. Di, six of them. Yeah. Like, now you see the thing is, if they were difficult, people wouldn't revisit them, would they? But to make that's the second person who's made multiples of them, isn't it? This morning. Yeah. Right. Have I got anything else you want me to show, Hannah, before we start some sewing? Oh, pattern on its own, three left. And the bundle that this one's made out of, that you get the pattern in. Okay, there's nine too many people got it in their basket. So if you do want this colourway, check out now because you're going to miss out because there's nine too many people. Got. Loads have gone, over half the stock's gone already. But now, if you all try and check out, nine of you are going to get no out of stock. Right. Oh, no, we need to talk bias binding. But no, well, I'll do that when we come to it. I'll do that when we get to it. Okay. So could you get on with some sewing, please? <laughs> I will do. I'll just grab those instructions back. In case oh, you need, you need the instructions? Well, I might do. Okay. Oh, my measurements. Can't remember all the measurements. Yeah, I thought you'd know it by now. <laughs> These people have made five and six. They wouldn't need it. So. <laughs> no, I'll call them up if I need any help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to be using... Oh, she's going to talk about the bias binding. <laughs> the bias binding first. And then we're going to get onto the mesh. So <laughs> we're going to be using the bias tape maker, yep. uh, which is an absolutely brilliant tool. I absolutely, I use it all the time. So I have cut up a strip and I cut mine slightly skinnier than the, um, I think this is, yeah, 25 millimeters. So it's yep. one inch. So you'd think that you would do it two inches because then it folds in half, right? Yeah. That makes sense. But I always do it a little bit skinnier. So an inch and a three quarters, I cut mine at. And then you're going to feed, oh, and I've, obviously cut it in a strip. The other thing I was going to point out as well, because we're using stripey fabric, you could obviously cut it either way. Um, you don't have to cut this on the diagonal. And in fact, even though it's called a bias tape maker, but for bag making, unless you're doing the binding, then you might want to cut it on the bias. But otherwise, you can just cut it on the straight of grain because we actually don't want this to stretch or give. Right. Okay. And because it's stripey, I have chosen to do the, op like, kind of, how would you say that? Going the other way to the stripes, because then that's a bit more forgiving, because otherwise, if I st did it this way, and I stitched it or pressed it a bit, and it was a bit wonky, wonky yeah. it's a bit more forgiving. Then I've cut it at an angle at one end. Hopefully, I've cut it at an angle enough. And I'm going to feed it through the uh, bias tape maker. I've not actually used this particular one before but I think they are all this very very similar and you're just going to feed it through with any luck and it's going to go through you sometimes you need a little what's it oh, there, I there is a hole push it through the back yeah yes so. it, on my one at home it's got the hole through the top so oh okay me. I was like there's no hole uh, um, there is yeah, there is it's just underneath so I'm going to feed it through so we've got a little bit sticking out on both sides okay and then we're going to get a lovely, I told you I was going to prep something so I yep. can use the iron. A lovely iron. Oh, hang on, you're not switched on. <laughs> I am. I did it all. Am that I should not? be green. Oh, it should be green. Oh, my bad. Oh, but just pop it down. Oh, sorry. sorry. Oh. Right, now it's pulsating. That <laughs> means it's got this wet, it's warming up. Oh, sorry. that's all right. We can talk about something yeah, else yeah, and yeah. come back to that. That's, it, yeah, it gets I hot did. really quickly, so you'll be fine. All right, cool. I thought it was hot. No, never mind. Might still just be hot from when um, Anna used it. Yes, okay. So I will talk about this bit first because while that's heating up, it's almost heated up, I think. 
so with these inside pieces, we're going to be, I'm going to be using the mesh, but like John said, you can use, and like you've seen, you can use the clear vinyl. And it's important that you get you know, the right grade of clear vinyl because sometimes it can be too thick. So the one that's included in the bundle mm -hmm. is great. So um, I'm using this instead of the vinyl. So. This is instead yep. of the vinyl. Perfect. It's either or. Yep. Yeah. You wouldn't use both. You don't need to. No. Um, they both are slight, have slightly different challenges um, to them. But I always, always say, give it a go, because what's the worst that can happen? You're going to have to get your seam ripper out, and it's not the end of the world. Yep. Um, and, you know, you can learn so, so many amazing techniques. So when you're cutting out your mesh, something that's really important is it does have a stretch going one way. It's not a two-way stretch. It's one, or it could be, okay, some people say one-way stretch. Some people say two-way yeah, stretch. Yeah, yeah. So only this stretch is going, is one way. Yeah, this is going left to, left to right rather than the two different ways. Hopefully I haven't confused matters saying no, that. No, 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 because it's like when you buy <laughs> lycras and things like that, people go, it's a two-way stretch, you go, no, it's a... It, it's a four-way yeah, stretch, yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. So you want to make sure that you cut this so that the stretch is going across. Yes. If you cut it so that the stretch is going up and down, it's not, uh, it's not going to be as good because you're going to want the give for anything that's inside because yeah. that's one of the reasons to use the mesh. Okay, so iron is ready. I'll go back to that, and then I'll go back to the mesh in a second. Working with professionals, you see, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to just literally place the iron on there and then pull that along, pull the bias tape maker along. And as I'm pulling it along, I'm just making sure it's feeding in as evenly as possible. And you'll see that there is a gap, you'll see in a minute, if not already, that there's a gap between the two folded raw edges. And that is actually going to help us with our sewing because it's going to create less bulk yeah. on that fold. There we go. Just makes life a whole lot easier. And here's, here's a funny little thing that happened to me. Oh, yeah. I posted how to make your own bias tape on TikTok and it went to th 13 million views. 13 million? 13 what did they think they were million. watching? I don't know. I don't know. I had moans about it, me going too fast. I do talk quite fast. Now, I read a thing yesterday that said TikTok is... It's what? No, 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 no. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it, it's gone like that. And now it's on its... It's, it oh. fade. it's not... No, hang on. It's not growing as... F no. It's fall is slower than Facebook, but it's definitely falling. Interesting. And yeah, and no, no, because those people, those companies I know are all investing in TikTok departments and things like that. So who knows? I tried it once and I didn't like it. So. It's a, I tell you what, if you've ever watched any of the lives on there, it's a crazy world. Oh, it's is it? like the Wild West. Yeah, but I haven't got enough time to do <laughs> my Facebook and all that. So let alone sit and watch lives on TikTok. No, I know, I know. And then you get fully into the yeah. hole and it's, yeah. Oh, no, well, I joined, recommend it. I joined on New Year's Eve and all I could get were dogs talking in prams. I, couldn't, I, didn't think, <laughs> I couldn't figure out what it was or anything, so I just deleted it again. <laughs> Maybe I'll give it another go. Right, so go on. Oh, you might get my device tape making. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've done that through the machine and then, or the tool, and then yep. we're going to fold it again yep. so that it is, we've got that nice raw edges all enclosed. And again, we're going to press that. Oh, and all my stripes are matching up. How pleasing. So we're going to press that all the way along. Not that it matters because the other side of the stripe is going to be on the inside, but you know. And we're going to press that all along, and then we've got that ready for our mesh. So we'll grab that again. And there isn't really a wrong side and a right side to the mesh. I don't okay. Think. Um, there probably is, but I don't really think there's too much of difference. So if you don't do it right, don't, you know, it's not the end of the world. Then I'm going to grab fabulous, fabulous double-sided tape. This is sewers, or basting, they've called it. Double oh, we've got that, we've got a picture. Oh, there it is. Tape. And it's an absolute game changer when it comes to anything that can be a little bit fiddly or you don't want to put clips in, that kind of thing. 
You know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop it down a little bit. OK, while you do that, yeah. do you know somebody called Donna Feltwell? I do. She's okay, one of my she's, club I members. think she's looking after you here. Oh. Hello, Emma <laughs> and John. Emma's patterns are brilliant and she's a lovely person too. She's had such a busy week, what with the pouch challenge and getting ready for today and next week's Stitch Festival. Oh, thanks, Donna. Yeah. So you're going to be at just, Stitch Festival? I need to employ her for my um, marketing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, I am, yeah. You got a stall? Yes. Oh. Yes, I'm at J85. If you're coming along, come say hi. Yeah, where that is? It's up on the gallery. Oh, nice. Oh, it's nice is to be it up, there. up there. I've yeah. not actually been. Oh, no, it, it's nice on year. the... It's nice. It gets a, a bit congested because once everyone gets up there because it's a really, really popular show. But you're above... So there's the main hall down here, and then you're, it's like a balustrade all the way around, like being on the sound of music, and you look down onto the, onto the main thing, yeah. but everyone has to come up to go to, go to the toilets past you. Yeah. And, and also, if you're going to a, uh, one of the talks, one of the demos, I think, they all have to come up past you and everything. Brilliant. So yeah. I'd rather be up there than down on the, uh, uh, on, the, on the main floor. Yeah, I am doing a talk as well. Oh, are you? Yeah, I think it's Friday at two on bag making. Oh, yeah. I didn't get asked this year. No. Oh, I had to ask. Hmm? <laughs> I did ask. Oh, OK. No, no, I did, I did the one literally just before COVID when we were all walking around going, oh, what's this COVID thing that's coming then? And like, then a week later, we were like, can't talk to anyone. And we were like, we were all crammed in. I love the business centre, design centre in Islington, and I love where it is and everything, but yeah. it gets absolutely packed. And we were like, oh, I wonder if we should have been in that big room with all those people. <laughs> OK, so I've put double-sided tape down the middle. I've yep. put it down the middle because it is quite wide, but that kind of does, you know, a double yep. job. Which yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to lay this on, and I'm laying it on so that it goes in the middle as much as I can. And then I'm going to fold that over. So you can see what an absolute game changer this double sided mm. tape is. And this one is a particularly good one as well because it's quite... Thick as in, I don't want to say thick, but it, it's stable and it sticks really well. Whereas some of the other ones can be a little bit iffy. Yeah. You know, if you get them off the, a certain website, they can be not as good quality. Okay. Um, also, this is slightly wider than the one we normally do. So this one, I mean, we've got good stock of this one, but it's slightly wider than the normal one we do. So I'm doing that on both straight edges. So there's curved, there's curved edges at the bottom and at the top. OK, so right. I'm doing it on the two straight edges. Again, down the middle. And then I'm going to prep the zipper and I will show you how to put the pulls on because that is a bit that people get worried about. Yeah. So, oh, oh, so sticky, it's sticky. Well, it's very sticky. <laughs> and because we've done the stretch going left to right, this really helps to not stretch it out any more than you yes. want it to. Well, you don't want it to stretch at this point, do you? No. Um, so this helps keep it stable. And also, it's really, when you're, if you don't, didn't have that tape and you're going along with your sewing machine, stitching it in, the amount of times that the, the mesh can slip out without you yeah. realising, whereas this is going to keep it solid the whole time. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to move that iron down there. Yeah. OK, then, because we've got that double-sided there, I'm not going to baste it to my zipper tape, but you could do if right. you didn't use double-sided. And I believe in the instructions, I do tell you to baste it. But you can skip out. That's the other thing that's so good about the double-sided is that you can skip out a step, which... I think it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I need to check how long I need my zipper, but I didn't cut it down because I wanted to show you how to put the um, the pulls on. And da, 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 it is twenty three. The one, the black and white one we've got, and we obviously haven't got that turquoise one. But you do this in the same, exactly the same way. I need it in inches, nine inches. So before I cut the zipper down because it's always good to put the pulls on first. Let me take that one off. So you've got your zipper tape and you've got your separate pulls. And this is a <coughs> sewing street one, isn't it? Yep. So you've got two holes in one side and you've got one hole in the other. Hopefully you're not covering that up with my hand. And you've got the two sides of the zipper tape. So you're going to open them up, open the teeth up. Yep. And this one already has a slight step. 
That is one thing you can do is to take off a little smidge off of one side to, to help you in the next step. You can get um, towel, rail, towel, towel holders that stick on the side. Um, you can get fancy jigs. You don't need any of that. You can just do it like this. Um, and people do use forks as well. Um, but I'm not going to show you any of that because yep. you can do it with your hands. So I've put it on one side. I don't know why. I always do the left. And then I'm feeding in the other side. You won't hear it, but I can, or maybe you did hear it. Um, sometimes it's not audible, but you can feel a little click as the teeth kind of merge together. Mm -hmm. And then you very carefully, because it's easy at this point to make it fall off, put it onto your table, put your fingers either side on your non-dominant hand, and then you're going to pull the zipper on, like so. That's easy as that. And then um, what you can do is, if this other part was open, let's do that. If this was open like that, yeah. you can... Now, one of my um, lovely club members mentioned that if you put two pulls on, if it is closed, you can put this one on, pull it off the end to close the end, yeah. if that makes sense, and then put the other one on. So that's a nice little tip right. um, from Stacey. But we're not doing that today. We're, we're not, not doing that because we've yeah. got it open. Yeah. And, and I haven't got another pull with me at okay. the minute. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to feed in the teeth. So you can bend each side backwards and, and so that it sort of splays the teeth open and you feed them each one. This is a knack and it's a sort of technique that you get used to doing, but it does get easier, I promise. And you cannot do that with metal teeth. No. You only do it with nylon teeth. And then you feed that in, and that is going to make it easier to sew your zip in. Let me just grab my z uh, zipper scissors. You got a spe special, special pair scissors. of zipper scissors? Yeah. Don't want to use regular scissors on zipper tape. Right. But it's all right to cut through. You can cut through the nylon teeth. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. hard to cut through, and the teeth too. But obviously, if you're cutting through plastic with your fabric scissors, then mm -hmm. they're going to get a bit angry at you. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing you want is angry fabric scissors. You don't want angry fabric scissors. Right, I need to cut this down to nine inches. Do we have nine inches on here? Yeah, there we go. Nine inches is there. And we're going to do our zipper tabs on the end. Yeah. Put that there. So, just put this to one side. We've got our little zipper tabs here. And what we're going to do is we're going to place it wrong sides together. So the back of the zipper, the wrong side of the zipper tab. And I'm going to base that in place. Um, we need to do a one centimetre seam allowance, so I'm going to do about half a centimetre from the edge. This just makes it a bit easier. Actually, I'm going to do it, sorry, I'm going to do it one centimetre, ignore me, one centimetre seam mind, allowance. Don't I know. I know, terrible. Actually, I haven't checked oh. this machine because obviously every machine is different where your needle places. And I like to move the needle over. I think it is one centimetre so that it is meeting the edge of the foot. Oh, OK. So that you can get a nice, even, um, you know, stitch. Uh, yeah, I think that is... You all right? Yeah, just checking yeah. my stitch length. Backwards and forwards, of course. We go slowly over those teeth. Backwards and forwards. Then we are going to cut the thread, of course. We're going to fold it around. Mm -hmm. Fold that end in so that it meets, a bit like the bias. I was going to say, it's a bit like the bias binding, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and you can use the bias binding. I was going to say, if you made a little bit extra, you could just... Yeah. Um... yeah, and then you're going to fold it like that. So you're just about covering that stitch line. Yeah. And you can eke it out, you know, I've got a bit... Not quite enough, so I'm going to eke it out so it goes over that stitch line so we don't see that stitch line. Give it a bit of a finger press. And I'm going to pop a clip in, and then I'm going to top stitch that a couple of millimetres or about an eighth of an inch from the edge. Got clips, 100 clips, Millwood clips here for £14.99. Oh. And when you come to doing the, the mesh and the vinyl, you're going to want to use your clips.
going to do the same on the other side. Mm -hmm. Cut off all those hairies, as I like to call them. <laughs> I think I got that from my costume teacher. What, hairy? Hairies. <laughs> Who was hair. your costume teacher? Biddy. Who? Biddy. Briddy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know her? I know who she is. Yeah. yeah. She was so lovely. Okay, so I'm going to do the same. Make sure I've got it the right way around. Matching my stripes. I'm going to do the same on the other end. Okay, so how do you know Day Merch then? Uh, oh, Day completely took me under his wing. And um, when I was a trainee on Harry Potter, the, yeah. the third Harry Potter was my first film. Right. And I was a trainee under Day. And um, I remember that... Um, Oh, it was a nightmare. The interview was a nightmare. First of all, it took me ages to even get the interview. Yeah. I was very tenacious, mm. <laughs> didn't give up. <laughs> Had to, it, they were like, you have to ring back tomorrow, ring back next week, all oh. of this, for, for weeks. Was Dave Crossman on it? I don't Dave think Crossman. he was on that one, I but I do have work. He was at Oscar, just uh, this last batch hey. of Oscars. Yeah, he was at, um, did, uh, was it Napoleon? I can't remember what the film is. He and Janty Yates were for a co, yeah. didn't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. Because um, do you know Mark Coulier? Because he, him, and Josh they won an Oscar for makeup. Oh wow! Yeah, and I was I was with them during COVID. Yeah. And, um, Matilda. Uh, not Matilda. Dulcie. Not Matilda. Sorry, oh, not Matilda. That's before Matilda. It was on um, Tetris film, okay. which I've still not seen. Um, oh, sorry, they were talking about going on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. today. Anyway. Got the interview. Anyway, I got the interview. And I was late. I couldn't find it because, of course, it, it was in Leaveston Studios. Oh, no, nightmare. There was no, no signage. No Nobody no. knew where it was. I yeah. stopped and asked, and everyone was like, no, there's no film studios around here. don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, I got there in the end. They were very kind about me. I guess it must happen a lot. must have happened a lot. And um, got the interview, and um, Day had already looked at my portfolio. I didn't know because he'd looked at it in um, college. Right. And um, yeah, so he looked through it, and um, yeah, and then I got the job as oh. a trainee. Yeah. And what was he that then? Was what was the his job title? He was the head of fabrication within Creature Effects. Yeah. Yeah. Because when I when I worked, he was just in co no, not just, but I was in costume. Yeah. He came on Poirot for small, and then I used him on several films. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't work anymore, does he? Doesn't he? No. He's retired. To, has he gone to Wales? He's gone to I Wales, think, yeah. Know, lives in an that. old school. Hmm? Lives in an old school. Very nice. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to find the middle of this. And I'm going to use... Well, he's older than me. That's why I live retired. <laughs> <laughs> Did Hannah say, why are you not retired? Huh? Did Hannah say, why are you not retired? <laughs> got I can't hear what she's saying. <laughs> she's being cheeky. Yeah, they're always cheeky. No, I... I <laughs> Uh, Charlie was saying that, I, 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 what we say, Charlie, I forgot, no, it's about me retire, about me retiring soon, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to use the double-sided tape again, but it's a bit wider this time than we need, so I'm just going to fold it in half, right. but I have marked the middle points. Yeah. So I'm going to place it all the way along on that edge, and this is a quarter of an inch seam allowance where we're going to place it, as you'll see in a sec. So I'm just going to just eyeballing the tape. And we always tear the tape, A, because often you've got your fabric scissors next to you and you don't want to use those again. Yep. And B, you then find it easier to peel off the backing. Yes. Yeah, because if you cut it with scissors, it's too clean a line to then yes. get your nail under, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I want to make sure, it's so sticky this one, which is great, <laughs> but you get everything else stick to it. Um, so I'm going to just fold it in half. Yeah. So then you've kind of got two widths in one. I'm going to match up that middle line Oh, I want to make sure I've got the right one. Oh, yeah. It doesn't really matter which way you open your zipper, does it? But, you know. Let's try and do it how I would like it to be. Match right, up. the meshes are very popular today. Be careful if you've got it in your basket. Doesn't it look great with the stripes? The stripes and the pink. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to the machine. I'm just going to top stitch, but I like to do two lines. I'm going to do one line at the bottom yep. and one line at the top. The top one is really a structural one. The, the bottom one's going to keep it all together, though, as well. It looks, it looks a bit nicer having yep. the two lines. Uh, if you see behind Emma's head, that bag there has got mesh pockets in it, but it's at a distance. Oh, we're not allowed to go close because it's the daughter's bag and she's less built. Oh, no, 
it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not as not, messy as Emma's not, version. No, no, we're not going to look at that one. It's well used. In fact, because <laughs> I stay over the night before when I come on here, yeah. I was like, what am I going to use? <laughs> the bundle with the stripes in. Gaining popularity, but the, the green floral one's still way in the lead. No, don't come in because I've lost a piece of fabric. OK, you're going to have to not judge my wonky sewing. I've got it, I've got it. Phew. And double-sided tape, I know I've said it a few times, but double-sided tape with zippers, it really does make a difference because zipper tape is woven very differently to how regular fabric is, any, uh -huh. any regular fabric. And it's woven so that it's completely stable. It doesn't have any give, whereas your regular fabric nearly always has some kind of give mm -hmm. movement. So it really does make a difference. If you've ever had issues with zippers, that's going to help. I always used to tack them in, you know, in costume. Mm. I'm sure you did too, with stretch especially. Oh my goodness, you had to. Yeah. Um, but we didn't have double-sided tape then. No. Tape. Well, all the things we did, I didn't have a walking foot when I was training. No. No. Definitely had to tack then. Yes. <laughs> we had to tack everything. Had and to we, tack at Wimbledon, everything. we had to tack. I mean, when I got to work in theatre, you didn't have time to do it, but no. we had to tack absolutely everything. At yeah. Wimbledon. Yeah. It does make for a better finish, to be fair, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but who has time? Well, who yeah, has time? No, no. no um, uh, if you're making it for yourself, then there's plenty of time to do it. But if you've got yeah. working to a deadline in a theatre or on a film, you don't always have time to do the tacking. Sometimes you have to take real shortcuts. Yeah. And then in Creatures, we often just, like, sometimes we'd stitch the zipper tape to Lycra and then glue that whole thing to it so that you've got more purchase. Yeah. Anyway, that's a whole different <laughs> ball game. Right, so I'm going to find the middle again. Although I've lost my mark, having said that, of course, because I've covered it up with my tape now. I can just about see it there. Match that up. There's lots of noise coming from next door, isn't there? and stitch that in place. Pink mesh. Please be careful, limited, limited, limited on the pink lipstick mesh. It's because that whoever's on the early shift will be finishing in 10 minutes. They're getting excited, aren't they? <laughs> they only do shorter shifts next door, you see. Yeah, it's Jess today. No, not from upstairs. Lovely Jess with blonde hair, presenter. She drives from Altrincham every day. Where's that? Near Manchester. Oh, gosh. She used to do traffic and travel with my nephew. Now, I probably should have changed to a zipper fit. This is oh, definitely not. Probably should have done, yeah. I know, making excuses now. It's definitely not my proudest sewing. But I'm sure you won't judge me. No, I would never. <laughs> so, there we go. Okay. There is our inside little pocket that's how we do it and then as you're going to go through and make the rest of the bag you're going to insert that Lovely. now if how much time do we have because i do have another technique or uh you have six minutes six minutes okay well i'll talk it through maybe okay. a bit more than actually do it remember now remember don't panic if you're thinking oh i've not seen everything there's a full video tutorial on emma's youtube which is studio seven letter t seven seven t seven Yes, exactly. I just need to find out where exactly I need to place these on. Though it doesn't matter if I'm just... I uh, just need to tell you there's only three of this, ver this version left. Only three of those left. So you get the vinyl, the green fabric, the pink fabric and the instructions. Remember the instructions on their own have sold out. You can only get the instructions now in the bundles. Bundles. 
Beautiful. Right, what are you going to show Okay, us? I'm going to show you this little technique, which if you have made my shark backpack, it's exactly the same technique. It is a hidden strap connector, okay? So oh, okay. So it makes a little hole in there. It's basically a welt pocket. Right. For bags. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you can either use a rivet to hold it in place, or you can stitch it in place, which is how the sample has been done. We'll do That's rivets in the next hour. This is the stitch version here. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's the stitch version there. So it's the same thing, but instead there's no um, rivet there. This has been stitched in. Yeah, so you can choose how to do it. If you want to add a little bit of bling, then yeah. that's how you do it. So to do that, I'm just going to talk you through it because we don't have quite the time. But you're going to lay on your um, strap connector facing so that they are right sides together. This is the main front panel of your bag. Then on the pattern, you've got a little rectangle there. So um, I haven't seen where the measurement is, but it does tell you exactly where to place yep. this facing. And then you're going to draw through on the back your rectangle. You're going to do this four times, aren't you? For each yes. time where the handle goes in. Yes, exactly. And it just gives it a much nicer fi finish uh -huh. than having the raw edge of your webbing, which you could do as well. But also, if you're using cotton webbing, it means that the end is all enclosed and you don't need to worry about it fraying, which can be annoying. Mm -hmm. So Bill then, says, hello, okay. Emma and John. Just wanted to say that Emma's patterns are brilliant and her videos, all videos to help. Nice um, so then you would stitch around that little rectangle and you're going to use quite a small stitch length. Then you're going to cut through, I'll draw it, how you cut it through. And if you've made um, a kind of faced zipper pocket, then you will have done this. So it's the same technique. You're going to cut through how I've drawn it. So you do a line in the middle and then a fork each end. Uh -huh. I'm going to cut as close to the stitches as you can. Once you've done that, you can actually turn this outside piece all the way through to the back so that they are wrong sides together on the back and then you've got a little rectangular hole. Once you've done that, you can then put your webbing inside. Again, I do talk through this step by step on the video on YouTube. And you can then fold that top piece down. You, that's when you either put a rivet in to secure your webbing inside. So it'll be like this put a, web, a rivet in there, or you can stitch just underneath or all the way around. You can also um, just stitch on the inside just to enclose the sort of webbing sandwich between the facing, and that will keep it strong, but I don't like it as much as if you secure it with a, whip, a rivet even, or the stitching. And that's how, yeah, Perfect. very quick. Uh, somebody's <laughs> asked about the bag next to you. That's the next hour. That's the next, uh, 12 o'clock, not the next hour today, the 12 o'clock today. Right, let's do a re recap of the bundles then. Stripe you on first, so you get the pattern, you get half metre stripe, half metre spear mint, half metre of PVC. Now, uh, the PVC is instead, you get this in your kit, um, it's where Emma's just put the uh, mesh, is this bag has, has the PVC inside. In the video, do you do PVC or do you do mesh? I'm pretty sure I do PVC. There you go. Do you want this one? Show Thank you. There's the one. So that it's the same thing, you see, but this is the mesh that she's, like the mesh she's just done, right? That's what, you, this is what your kit will make. But if you buy the mesh separately, you can make them with mesh ones as well. And the mesh, it does make the mesh one squishier. So if you're wanting to yeah. pack it, then that might be a better one. You know, oh yeah, you're going to pack it in your suitcase, yeah. 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 Brilliant. Right, okay, so that's that, that's that one, the stripey one. Then I've got the black one. The, oh, the other colourway, the green colourway sold out now. Green one sold out. Uh, so this one, you get your black, half metre black, half metre of your Liberty, half metre of PVC, and your instructions there. Instructions on their own have sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Medium weight interfacing is this one here. Three ninety nine, eight six forty. Uh, this is a meter piece. It's the best way of buying it. The most affordable way of buying it, because it's five ninety nine for half a meter. This is nine ninety nine for a whole meter. Oh, the webbings that we played through are all perfect for this. The pink, the white, and the black. Mesh. Which colorway? Lipstick first, single figures on the lipstick.
And then the blast. Oh, so you don't do the blast off blue for us? Yeah, yeah. What about the tape maker? Oh, sold out. Well done, Emma, on that demo. I've got pre-made uh, bias bindings if you want some of that very quickly. I've got a lovely cream, or is it ivory? Now, this is bias. This is bias binding. Remember, you didn't, it doesn't have to be bias binding because you made straight binding, didn't you? Well, yeah. she's packed away already. <laughs> <laughs> she's ready to go, look. Um, so this is bias binding. Uh, this is a two and a half metre piece of polycotton in ivory. If you prefer not to make your binding, but if you want to make it all set, all zhushies together. The, the bias binding, the... the manufactured one is quite good for the inside because we do do binding of the seams okay perfect so and then we've got spotty ones which are slightly narrower which one first oh they go with the, oh no it's the same blue as the mesh not quite 199 that's one meter and they're already cut at a meter and then the pink spot what bag are you doing the next hour the maggie switch, switch. maggie who's maggie my mum. Oh. <laughs> uh, one ninety nine. Right, don't go anywhere. We've got the Liberty Wall hanging coming up next. And oh my goodness, is it busy. Uh, we will see you back here in four minutes from now. Do not miss it. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Eval Makatamne. I'm a patchwork and quilter. And what do I do the rest of the time? The rest of the time, I actually own and try and manage village fabrics in the town of Wallingford. How did I start my sewing and journey? Well, I've been sewing since as long as I can remember. I started out dressmaking with uh, my mum and my big sisters. And since then, I've tried my hand at most things and have finally ended up with patchwork and quilting. And I think that's probably due to one of Elner Burns' Quilt in a Day books. Let me assure you, you don't make a quilt in a day. But it's been a passion of mine for the last 25 years and I'm still at it, so there's hope for us all. So what do I enjoy sewing? Well, I like to do a bit of most things, to be honest, but my favourite thing is anything to do with my Japanese fabrics. So as you can see, we've moved to a different part of the shop and here we are in another of my favourite corners. And I really enjoy combining the lovely Japanese fabrics with some hand stitching and um, hand quilting. So I've moved to the permanent Christmas room at my shop here and as you hopefully can tell this is quite a large shop here so most of my time is uh, involved in keeping this running successfully so i don't really have a lot of time for claims to fame so what i suppose i could say um is that my claim to fame is actually managing to manage john scott um i'm sure he'll take that the way it's meant so um Love you lots, John. My top tip is that children's colouring in books are a really valuable resource whenever you're crafting. You've got nice, clear outlines that can become templates for your applique work, or you can transfer them and use them as quilting patterns. I can't draw, but I can create lots of things using bits and pieces from things like children's colouring in books. Give it a try. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. 
Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Sewing Street is now available on Virgin Media, channel number 754. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m., and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Anna's back. Now, before we do the Liberty Building, we're going to do this because these are flying out of the building. What are in here, Anna Saunders? Saunders. Yeah. Uh, so it's all Liberty Town Lawn. Uh, you get... Do you want to it'll say on the graphics there, can it? 36 pieces. 36 Have I got that right? Pieces, yeah, yeah. 36, yeah, 36 pieces. pieces. So you get in three colourways of the same print. But they're all different. Yours will yeah. vary. It says may vary in the thing. They all, we'll look, they are all random. It's all random. totally random. Yeah. You'll get beautiful prints. You'll be very happy. Yeah. They're a super, super bargain. So, so you it's, basically all, get... it's all Liberty Lawn. Yeah. They've all got this little sticker in because they're all sample pieces. Right. You can get it off with a bit of, uh, with a bit of hot soapy water yeah. if you really want to use that extra piece. Uh, but we don't price it to include that piece. Right, so okay. So do bear that in mind. It is it's quite stuck. You yeah. can get it off. It's a bit so they haven't anything. basically. You haven't paid for the piece of fabric behind the stick. No. Yeah. So you only sort of pay for this piece. And, and yeah. it's super. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, up, everybody up. who knows Tana Lawn will know it's a super exactly. Bargain. Half the stock's gone already. Fourteen ninety nine. So yeah, they're all really, really pretty prints. All Liberty. Uh, now, will some of them might some of them be Alice Caroline coloured in, or will they just be? Liberty? Probably not. They'll probably all just be like the Liberty samples. Yeah. So oh, they, of course. They produce yeah. them for. Yeah, no. So they won't be of our. Expenses. How big is each piece? Each piece is. <laughs> oh, I haven't got it. Written. I'm uh, 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 oh, there you go. Seven and a half by five and a half, I think. Yeah. By seven five and a half by five and a half inches. But the usable space. Is oh yeah, so take yeah, off the six. Yeah, six. So imagine six by five and a so half. So you've been charged for six by five and a half, yeah. but if actually it's seven and a half by the time you take the. Um, so when you get it home, don't get upset about the sticker. Yeah. So yeah, all just lovely. Loads in baskets. Yeah, they're they're just they're just great for like lots of different. Oh, projects. that's nice. Yeah, it's and we can't guarantee what you're going to get. So if you're no, if you're we'll get yours totally home and it doesn't have that in, we can't guarantee that. Totally random, but you, but you know we we try and mix up the colours, uh, you know, so you get a variety of colours and sizes of prints and you know shades. So you'll get a random selection of, of beautiful Liberty Town lawn from over the years. Beautiful, aren't they? Well, like thirty six pieces, thirty six pieces of Town lawn. Oh, Gorgeous, beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. Great for all your Okay, projects. be careful now. Be careful. They're about to go. They're about to go. If you've got any basket, check out. If you haven't got any basket, put it in your basket and check out immediately because it's not yours till you've checked out, but there's way too many people. Right, thank you. <laughs> right. They lost about three seconds, though, didn't they? Right. <clears throat> now, this wall hanging. Right, here's the wall. I'll get the wall hanging now. It's here behind me. So, just tell me, Hannah, the damage to begin with. Okay, when you've all checked out, two thirds of it's gone. Two thirds of them have gone once you've all checked out. So please, please, please check out. Look, we love this. We absolutely love this, right? 
you want to put it flat, Charlie, or is it like that? Okay, don't, don't, don't do it flat then, I'll do it like that, that's fine. So it's a wall hanging that's made up of uh, applique. Yeah. And hand stitching. A little bit. A little bit of embroidery. Want to. There. Not much hand stitching if you don't want to do that. No. And now, do I do I do I get this fabric? Yes, here? you get all. So the, you get all everything. the fabrics. I'm showing you at the back. You get all the fabric to make the whole thing. You don't get the dowling pole, and you don't get the string. You need you need to buy wadding and bondo web as well. Oh, wadding and bondo web is what you need. Beautiful. You might already have it in the stock. Right? It's lovely, isn't it? It's the Liberty Shop, Paula Prake's flower shop there. Um, uh, what's it? The um, uh, what was I trying to say? The Palladium, the London Palladium's just down the road. So if that's there, right? The London Palladium's just here. There's a lovely ice cream shop just here, and I used to have my hair cut just around the corner there. <laughs> and, and Carnaby Street's just here. Yeah. Oh, we see. That's really? why I want to be back in London. Oh. Right. Loads of you there. Loads of you there. Should we open a packet? Should we open a packet? So um, now. I, I want to also say, this isn't me doing a sales technique or anything, but when Anna came in this morning and we were doing our prep and she went, how much you got it on for? And we told 79 99 she went, no, I think you find that's a little bit too affordable. Um, <laughs> it's not the right price, basically. It's not the right price. Well, we think it should be about 90, shouldn't it? About 99? Yeah. 99. But you get everything. You get everything in there, right? Everything in here. So, you get, first let's go, oh, what I did, oh. Right, look at the bottom here, right? So you've got, is it calico? And calico. That's you see the context. Calico, calico, beautiful calico there. Then you've got some quilting cotton. Then you've got some jute. Or what would you call that? Yeah, jute. Jute, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're all, that. They're not, they won't be liberty, those, right? No. Then you've got Wiltshire Shadow for the sky. Then you've got all the, oh, look at all of these. All these beautiful, there's a traditional um, peacock. There you got Strawberry Thief. I don't know the name of that rose one. And I'm not going to test you, don't worry. Uh, Elizabeth. There you go. That's an Alice Caroline exclusive. Uh, it is Alice Caroline exclusive in there. So, oh, how look. So you get all of the fabrics that you need to do the whole thing. Now, let's have a look at the pattern instructions, everything, because I'm intrigued by those. Let me just move the fabric out of the way. So I'm presuming... You've done it the way that you normally do. You've told us which fabric to use where and then put templates in. Yes. Lovely. Right. Oh, look. Oh, look. So all your fabrics are there. This is the actual fabric. And then this is the colour that they've used for the actual uh, coding. Is yeah. that a thing like that? Mm -hmm. Then you've got your finished applique diagram there. Then you've got, what's this one here then? So it, it builds in layers. So you applique in layers. Oh. So this is a really super So clear the flower way. shop is on top of yes. Liberty's door. Yes. So this is, you know, you, you put that layer on first. It yeah. just makes it really easy. And then, you know, you've got to put that on layer two and that on layer three. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's a simple way of showing what order you've got to do. Yes, and of course. Therefore, and do therefore you five. stitch as you go? Yes. So do you do, right. So the fuse mat wouldn't be any good in this occasion because you're going to put it down, stitch it, and then put the next layer on. We're not building the whole of the shop and then moving it across like that. So you're doing, so basically, you'll do those little bits, stitch <coughs> them on. You'll do those little bits, stitch them on. Having said that, we are doing the whole of the shop and then putting it onto the background. So oh, okay. So you're, okay. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, okay, you're okay. putting it onto the back, back of yes, calico, yeah. and then you're going to cut it out carefully and then put it onto the background. Perfect. Okay, then, because look at all the windows there and everything. Beautiful. So maybe if some of them would, your fuse map will be good for some of them then. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look. So I mean, now, means. we're not saying it's a beginner. Uh, it, yeah, it's not a beginner. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's, it, it requires patience and time. It, yes. It will yeah. take, it'll, it's one of those projects that you can do over time. Yeah, exactly. Um, and also, then the Liberty isn't a plique, is it? Then Liberty, the actual writing and mm. stitching. No, it's uh, embroidery. So yeah, embroidery. Yeah, so you would have the piece and then you would embroider yes. it on whether you want to do that by machine or hand is up to you. And uh, then you applique the piece on. Then you're cutting out here. So you've got your chimney. It tells you how to cut it so all out. it's all out grouped. On. Yes. It's all grouped. And then this, this fabric C is this group. Right. So, you, okay, so if you've yeah. got your, your code, what, 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 key, your, your key, key at the beginning there and yeah. tells you what to cut out of everything there. Yeah. And then how you put it all to the whole thing together. Yeah. 
There's going to be pages of this, look. It's not actually, because you've got your technique and then you do page one, page yeah, two. Yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. layer one, layer yeah. two, layer three. Oh. So this is your applique guide. So this is, your, you need to, there's six pages of this, you need to stick it together. Right. This is your building. Okay, so that will that go? Yeah. There, as it were. And that one goes on there. I've got one already done. Yeah, oh, okay, so you don't need to worry about that. So you stick them all together. What the, what's the red? Um... So that's so that you can mark up your, that's the centre point of the... Oh, I see, I see, yeah. I see, I see, perfect. So you'd yeah. mark up that. So the and red cross goes it. on top of the yeah. red cross. Yeah, But you've made one of these for us already. Yes. Lovely. And then what else have we got in here? And then... This is the this is the groupings and the actual size of the fabrics that you need. These are the templates. Oh, okay. So that was how you grouped it at the beginning, but yeah. these are the actual sizes we cut out. Yes. So these so what you do is you cut all of this is all group A I A11. So you cut all of that out and you put it onto the correct fabric. Yes. And the same there, you cut all of that out and that all goes onto the right yeah. fabric. So what you would do is you'd have a big piece of your your big piece of this one for your windows. Yeah. You'd put your bonder web on the back of the whole of it. Yeah. And then that would then you put your template on top and you cut all the bits out. We had a conversation like this the other day, didn't we, about putting bonder web on the back of something? Anyway, doesn't matter. Got, not to do with this. I but can't remember my own name someday. No, okay, fine. Right. I won't ask <laughs> so again, there's all your bits and bobs, everything you need. Now. Beautiful. I mean they're on the they're on that they ascons to fit them on the paper, I'm presuming. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to worry about a bias or anything no, no, like no, that. No, no, no. Uh, wow, look at the amount of work that's gone into this day for £79.99. Somebody's done all the thinking for you. All you've got to do is sit back, cut it out, enjoy. Well done if you've already checked out. There's loads more people coming in now. So let's just get the actual thing out again. The pattern obviously does not come on its own. I'm going to put it down, Charlie, but we can just look at... Oh, there you go. Perfect, perfect. Let me move this out of the way. Now imagine if you went to Liberties thinking, oh, I'm going to make that myself. You're not going to be able to buy tiny pieces like that. No. You'd have to buy half a metre of this or a metre of that or whatever. So it's, oh, one. look, there it is. I hadn't seen where the dupe was. It's lovely. Plus, it's really surprisingly difficult to get the colours right on something yes. like this. Yes. It's taken Laura a long time to yeah. get the colours right. And this you is know, somebody who works with the Liberty the fabrics every day. Oh, all the if time. We wandered into Lib the Liberty store to go, or even into Alice Caroline to go, oh, you'd oh have I to want to buy... pick this one. Pick oh, it would be really difficult yes. to put together. Yeah. Really, really difficult. And I love this, the pavement outside here, our Gile Street yes, outside yes. here and everything. It's just beautiful. And then I've got the binding in there, and this is your calico, that's it. Sorry, your calico that's in the kit as well. The only thing you don't get mm. is wadding to go inside, and the bonder web, obviously, to put it on the stop. And then if you're going to put it on a dowel, it depends how you're going to do it. You could frame it, you could do whatever you want with it. You, you also need some tracing paper. Tracing trace paper. Up. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. So, yeah. Beautiful. So, right, check out, check out. We're going to have a sellout. We're going to have a sellout. That's no doubt about it. Oh, you can see they've done use... You were talking about um, uh, metallic threads, weren't yeah. you, about doing the, the Liberty name. So we used some metallic threads up there. Oh. Yeah. So this whole bit... Yeah. Ignore ignore the chimneys and the weather vane. This bit yeah. is made on the background of calico. Right. Then it's cut out and then it's appliqued onto, onto this. The Wiltshire. Onto this. Oh, onto the calico behind. So the Wiltshire onto shadow this stops is a... here. You don't that, you haven't got Wiltshire shadow going behind it. No, yeah. The, well I'll show you. Okay, let's let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's yep. just do it. Very, very busy on the phone lines, very busy on the web line. Say that again. The swatches have completely sold out. This will sell out. This Liberty will sell out. Um, uh, should we get on with that? Let's do that. And then I'll introduce the... Because the embroidery is completely... Oh, no. I know. Let me just do the bonder web. Because you'll you'll, you won't need this. You'll need this. You'll need this. Yes, you need quite a lot of bonder Yes, web. yeah. Don't yeah. bother buying that one. Buy this one. Five metre roll, 23.99. We met the lady from Visalina this week. She said they can't make bonder web fast enough. She said they ship it out of Germany or wherever they make it, and literally they do one shipment, then they go, oh, sold all that, we need to... <laughs> she said they make so much bonder web, it's incredible. Right, OK. Um, we have also got an embroidery kit to show you this out, but I think we should do this first and do this, because there's so many people waiting to... I'll just show you, while Anna's getting ready, this is the embroidery kit we'll be doing in a little while. But we'll come to that in a second, that's something new for us, right? Yes. So, you've got your... This is your stuck-together... 
six right. pages template. Uh -huh. Really easy to stick together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you trace that onto some tracing paper. You'll see why in a minute. So you're, you've traced it all out onto the tracing paper. Okay. You're wondering why. Yes. It's because it's so many layers. Once you've got so many layers through, you can't see through. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So that, where, is this just, this is basically paper, this is even tracing paper, isn't it? Is that your kitchen? I don't know, Lucy did that. So I'll I just show you that's out of our kitchen. Right? Is yeah. it, it could well be, like yeah. parchment paper. Yeah. Well, there you go. It's going to make him a cake out of it. Nice. Uh, so, we, so we put the whole thing together, then we trace the whole thing off onto tracing paper. Yes. Do we then put that to one side? We don't yes, we then put that to one side. Okay. Don't let me forget it, though. No, I won't, you won't forget it. And then... Right, so it would have looked like a really boring thing had I not done some before. But... Uh, uh, <laughs> So, this is why you need the tracing paper. So, I'm, I'm going to use some pattern weights here. Okay. Uh, so, you can then lift it up and you can put your piece down. So, on this one here, I've put, I've put the piece down. Okay, where do we start then? What do we, what's the first thing we do? The first thing you do is, you do, where are those? Do you want my instructions? No, 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 it's fine. Okay. I've got them here. So, layer one. So, you would put, let me move that to one side. Yeah. So this is layer one, this piece here, this piece of cream so the cream, there. The, cream, the creams, yeah. the sort of background cream, so yeah. that's been done. Layer two is the main building. Yeah. This and this, the cream yeah. behind again. So yeah. layer one and two will be fast. Uh-huh. Layer three is these, bo these bottom windows and, okay. the, and the beams there. Layer four are the stone fronts. Okay. And then layer five is where we've got to here. Right. This is, a, this is a bit of layer five and a bit of layer six. Oh, OK, OK, so just to show it, yes. it's Just to show you, because, yes, uh, because it, actually it takes quite a long time mm -hmm. to place it. It's a, it's a, you'll need to you know, get, get it out on the dining room yeah. table and, and, and oh, really no, no, enjoy it. Oh, no, no, because these are tiny pieces, aren't they? Yes. The so layer five is the windows. Right. You know, you've cut them all out of the same piece with your bundle web on the back. Uh -huh. And then layer six, I've just highlighted for my own pur yeah. purposes, and then layer six are the beams. Right. So I, my, my personal opinion is I wouldn't use a fuser mat for this. I just, you're using the layer <laughs> below to build onto. You're not going to be building. So I would just do it like how Anna's done this. So you start off with your piece of calico and you put your first one layer on. Yeah. Then you, to that you add layer two. Then to that you add layer three. And then when it starts getting intricate here, like four and five and six and everything, this is when you need to yeah, just build onto what you've already made. It's layer five where it starts getting intricate yeah. when you get um, to the windows. Uh, if you can, if you've got an ironing board that's wide enough, I'd just work on the ironing board. Or if yeah. you've got a big, something you can put it on straight onto your table, because you don't want to be placing and walking and placing and walking. You want to be able to... we do that? Yeah. <laughs> you want to be able to work on it Go all do the it. time. Do you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So, this is where it's quite useful to have these paperweights. Look, cute. Yeah, all right. cute we haven't got those on the show, though. No, I know. It's just like, it's just novelty factor, isn't it? They're lovely, though. Uh, right, so... We have had those in the past. Have you? Yeah, we have had those. We had them, like, on a birthday special or something like that. Cool. Right, so you put... There you've got your tracing paper. Oh, I see why you have that. Do you, you see why that. you've yep, got your tracing yep. paper? And then I'm just going to put it down, because actually what you need to, what you need to do is to... What are we doing next? Then, our window up. frame. Yeah, so we're going to get the windows. And I've kept them in little... So did you cut all your pieces out and fault file them away in envelopes? Yes. Yeah. Particularly when you get to the beams. I mean, the windows, they're beams. small. The beams. Oh, beams. Beams. Those there. Oh, no, don't, don't sneeze. sneeze when you've got these. Don't either. sneeze. Right, oh. they've all got their little bit. I nearly fell off the stairs. Yeah, I know. Oh, hang on, we can't see that over there anyway. So let's put them out on there to start with. So look, you've got everything... Has its number on and its label on. That What's label's that? fallen off. That label's fallen off. You dropped all my labels off. Mm, there you go. No, no, no. Right. OK. That's that one. Yep. Right, so your pattern here, excuse my scribbling on it, yep. will show what, what goes where. Oh, sorry. That's right. I don't want to move over so you don't fall off the block. I'll stand this side of the block so we don't fall off the block. Right, okay. there you go. So this shows, so that's window D in fabric B. So we need to find window there. D. Oh, no. They're all fabric B. Window D, did you say? Yeah. There. Window D. Window fabric D. B. Great. Oh, it's got detached. Isn't it already on there? 
Oh, that's six you've got in there. No, I think it's that one. That one's attached to the back of that one. You might want to keep a pin in them. Oh, have, have you lost one? Around. Does that mean you've lost one? Yeah, it's here. Oh, it's okay. in my hand. Oh. Are you going to be pleased that I've lost no, one? No, I was going to get worried. So window D, fabric B. Yeah. So, you, you get your, so this is going in here. Yeah. You need to put it in place. The thing about the trace maker, you could also write on it as well. If, you, if that's window D. You can, you yeah. can, yeah. So you basically... Oh, we haven't got an iron on. Oh, wrong way. No, I'll have to go and get it. Oh! Dan, can we have the iron plate on the ace on it? So that's window D and then E. Let's go to window E. So you want to take off your... Papers. Which is the side on that? That, that side. Can you feel it? That's the sticky side there. That's the sticky side. Yeah. That one. Yeah. So that's going good. So I'm sort of tucking them under. Thank you, Dan. Thank and then we're going to iron them on. You can actually iron through the tracing paper. I was about to say. Oh, yeah. Not I was ironing through the tracing paper. Is it? Yeah, now we could have done with the left handed one here, really. But. Right, it's pulsating. If you just get it as close as you can, and then it moves around, so just do one piece at a time. Once you've got it... What are you doing? Dan's calling me a diva. <laughs> right, I'm going to iron that one on. No. Is it, oh, not ready. It's pulsating. I did say the other day it was throbbing, and they said I couldn't say it was throbbing. I had to say it was pulsating. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, would normally go as quick as oh, here you go. Oh. I'm such an impatient person. No, I am as well. <laughs> Put your iron on before you start. Yeah, sorry. There you go, there you go, there you go. Right, okay, so I'm going to iron that one on. Ooh, oh, almost did that. Right. Keep it there, and then we're going to put this. This one. So you can sort of get it under and then just double check that it's done. And then we're going to put our rest of our windows on. So window A, that's this one. Well, you see, I'd love this. I'd love all this putting it together. I'd get someone else to cut it all out because I'd get bored with the cutting out, but I'd love to do it. Right. I'd love to put it, I'd love to put, I'd, this bit, I'd really enjoy this bit. Yeah, it's like making a puzzle. Yeah. Do you like doing puzzles? Do you like doing puzzles? I worked in Dickinson Jones next door to Liberty in the early 80s. Oh, I'll have seen you there, Julie, because I was in there all the time. Love looking at the windows during my lunch break. Ah, oh, happy memories. Window B, that's that one. That goes in there. Did you know Jackie Marco? She worked in the ladies' department, Julia. She worked in the ladies' department at um, Dickinson Jones for years. Just takes a bit of, as long as you've got it in the bit where the window's supposed to be. Yeah. That doesn't move, that's not quite straight. So it's gonna be a sort of methodical thing. Yeah. So oh, well, no, this is really good for mindfulness, this, because you're really going to forget great. everything that's going on elsewhere, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I don't think I can push across any further. That's oh, sorry, do you want me to, I can do No, 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 it's fine. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay. It's you coming can, up on your plinth. You can move the sewing machine. I'm going to get to do any sewing. We're just going to do sticking. No, exactly. There you go. <laughs> Then if we move you like, oh, well, oh, we've got the iron in your hand. This way. Perfect, there you go, there you go. Great. Oh, that hasn't... Oh, that oh hasn't. is that window too low? Oh, I haven't... Oh, you have to take the paper off, have you? Is the paper off that? Yeah, it is. Have you put any on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cheeky. What's the matter? You're so cheeky. What do you mean? You are. Oh, Julie was in the basement, but I did help out during the fashion shows dressing the models. Oh, Mum Dulcie's watching. Maybe I haven't taken the backing off that one. Maybe you didn't put any backing on it. Did you do the prep for this? No, no some of exactly. it. Oh. 
So I can sit on that. It's not sticky though. Is it still on that? I've ironed it. I've ironed it so well. <laughs> there you go, there you go, look. No wonder it's not sticking. No, because you've still got your papers on. There you go. That's the sticky side. Cheers. Right. Dulcie says morning, everyone. Morning. Only just morning, Dulcie. That's, uh... Well, she's just finished. Well, she's done two years on Wicked. They've just finished now. She finished this week. Aunt Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. She must have finished this week. But she can't get a job because it's finished now, Charlie. Right. There. Now it will stick. So you do, you do all your windows and then you sew all your windows. Yeah. So then what stitch do you use to do it? Uh, like in the last straight hour. Stitch straight, straight stitch. Straight stitch, yeah. yeah. And of course they're all... Dulcie was spending hours in Liberty buying fabrics for films, the same as me. Da -da -da -da, those two, this one, so this F-I. Yeah, you've just got to keep referring back to, yeah, the, yeah. to the pattern. That goes in there. Charlie's just asking. Oh, I'm watching with Jill, who is visiting from Newcastle, says Dulcie. Hello, Jill. All right, Jill. Oh, they're all saying, all right, Jill. All right. She'll have a why I pet accent. She's from the northeast. Why I pet, Jill. Which is the When the boat sign? comes that in. One, that one. What, what? Which do you think is the sticky side? That one's. That one. That one hasn't got any paper on it, I don't think. Maybe. I think that's the sticky side. That there. one. No. I think that's the that's sticky the side. Sticky just, just check. Give me a pin, I can well, see if oh, it can doesn't, you if it sticks. Like um, what was I saying before that? Oh yeah, Charlie's just asking what was the most amount I spent on a piece of fab on any fabric. I think the one that comes to mind straight away is one I got told off for doing. It's because when we were making Angelina Jolie's biking gear for Tomb Raider, we had to make a, a suit for her, or several suits for her, but also her stunt motorbike rider was a man. So we had to make it, we had to make a body padding for him to make him the shape of a woman and then make, a, and he had to have a plait and everything because he had to had long plait. And I went to, <coughs> it was Alma, called Alma Leathers, I don't know if it's still there. And um, I had to buy this leather and it was going to cost, if I'd bought it like officially with a purchase order, it would have been 16,000 pounds. And um, they went, oh, if you give us 8,000 cash, you can have it. So I gave them 8,000 cash. Went back, got so much trouble because I hadn't pre-told the powers that be it. So I was going to spend £8,000. And I was like, I've just saved you £8,000. And they went, I've, I've got a black mark. You get three black marks and you don't work again. Right, are you all right then? Yes, Brilliant. so that's your windows. Lovely. And then we're going to sew those on. Oh, okay. how oh, are you? Do... You can do some sewing. I'm going to do some sewing. Oh, it's already half past. OK, I told well, you well, let's, finish let's, do, let's do a stock update then. Where shall I? You carry on. There? Over 14 baskets, over 14 baskets, you need to check out. I don't know how many I started with, actually. A lot. Okay, lots, lots. Uh, Donna, hi both. My mum wants to know if you can just buy the pattern. No, sorry, can't just buy the pattern. Can't just buy the sorry, pattern. Sorry, no. So we're going to roll, roll it. Yeah, we should ask Ian, who didn't he design this one, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> she's not get, she's not getting drawn into it. Ashley, she won't be watching it Saturday. Ashley Lara L Lara designed this. Lara? Lara. Yeah, she she did the bee cushion as well, Lara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But she's she, known as Ian during the week. <gasps> You're very naughty, John. Right. So we're just going to say around each of the windows. <laughs> she's telling me off. You're telling me off under your breath. They could hear you. <laughs> I couldn't hear you. It's because I've got an earpiece between me and her. I can't hear, I can hear her muttering. <laughs> I'm just so used to her muttering. It doesn't... Uh... Uh, Anna says, uh, love this project. Looking forward to starting it. For the tracing paper you're using, have you just drawn it with pencil and doesn't it come away with the iron? Good question. It is so pencil. Did, just, just, did you do pencil. this or did someone else do this? No, Lucy did this. Lucy, did you use a normal pencil? Just Not Lucy pencil. Pickersley. No, it's pencil. Yeah, um, but it doesn't come away with the iron, no. Iron. Don't use steam. Don't use... Who was that Donna did I just say? Anna, don't use steam, Anna. Just do it dry. You could, of course, use it a different 
You could do non-pencil, couldn't you? you could what, what, non-pencil? Not, not a friction pen. Don't use a friction pen. Don't no. use a friction pen. Oh, do you remember when Emma Bradford did this gorgeous dis tessellating design? She drew the whole thing on her bond web with a friction pen. Because when she came to iron it, it all just disappeared. Ah, uh, yes. I never let her forget that one. Stick it back in the freezer and it comes back again, of course. Yeah, no, it was attached to a huge quilt by then. Uh, oh. <laughs> Got to have a big chest freezer for that. Yeah. <laughs> people still have chest freezers in the garage. I, do, I don't, but you know, I think other people do. My parents do. Yeah, but your parents will be of a gener that generation, won't they? Yes. Or oh, they keep, like, a lot of food in the chest well, freezer. Well, no, no, when I think, when I, I suppose we were a family of six, but, it, but there was always a freezer in the garage, and the right-hand side was sweet, and the left-hand side... And I don't think... I don't know how long you're supposed to leave things in there, but I'm sure beef burgers lived in there for years. <laughs> I'll tell you what, within ours, when I was growing up as a kid, like, gazillion different types of fruit, because mum and dad have got... A, my mum and dad have got quite a big garden. It's got, like, apple trees. Oh, uh, yes, ready for apple pies and you things like that. So they would be like, oh, the yeah. gooseberries. I used to have, like, gooseberries. Oh. When do you think now, though? Like, yeah. I really like gooseberries. I now, love gooseberries. a lot of sugar, to yeah. be fair. <laughs> Um, yes, but gooseberry, gooseberry season Full, was not very goodbye popular. Flan, oh. goodbye tart. Oh, it wasn't very popular as children, though. Like. So once we've done all the windows, I mean, we don't have to sew around all the windows. No. We can put some beams on. We haven't only got an hour. We haven't, not half an hour. Oh, no, we? a total. Yeah, so we've sewn around some of those. Right. And we'll add some beams. And you're just, you're just layering it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along. Just trimming as we're going on so we don't get tangled. Right. Do all of the edges of the jute get covered up? That's the only one I'd be concerned about. Do all the edges of the jute get covered Is up? Is there a beam uh, going on there and a beam going down there? Uh, what, well, look at the original. It? Oh, yeah, there are. They're all covered. They're all covered. It's fine. Just going to move. Okay, fine. Oh, sorry. Am I okay here? Is that all right? Yeah, you can go there. So then we get our pattern back. I mean, it's, this one goes over here. I know, I know that one, but uh, we will. Can you get the pattern back. What happened? Hmm? Oh, it's because she's got. It's my necklace. She's got a great big necklace. I on knew that. you'd tell where's me. She, to take where's the your necklace off. Uh, microphone there. gone? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just, no, no, you can. No, no, you can. I love my necklace. Which is when you lean over like that. That's when it clunks. I'm sorry. Very clear patchery, isn't it, that necklace? Bird-like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Queen of Dragons from Game of Thrones. Thanks. Khaleesi. Right. Bear with me. No, oh, I love Khaleesi. I'd love to be Khaleesi. The beams require... Oh, now these bits is where it gets s slim. They are slim, these so, bits. So, uh, June was thinking of doing it by hand. You could do it by hand, June, but you still need to bond... Would you need to bond the web them down? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I w yeah you've got, you've got to bond the web. says them. yes. <laughs> uh, so you've she went got... out with that Jason Momoa in the... She was married to Jason Momoa, wasn't she, in Game of Thrones? Was he? Yeah, at the beginning. He, le he left up the series one. Yeah. So, on these ones, you've got your long beams. Yeah. And I think they're all the same, but we'll refer back to the pattern, which is... Where I wouldn't be... Yeah, no, don't just guess. No, I'm not just guessing, I'm not just guessing. Right, so you've got your code here, AV, and all of the, all of the pattern pieces. I've got the... So, AX. Yeah. So, that's that third one along. Mm-hmm. AVIII. That's the one on the left. And AIX, second one along. And then this one is that. Uh, AX. I oh, saw so that one. So that's that one. That's that. Okay, so it goes in that order. When you work on your own at home, do you mutter away like this to yourself? Yeah. Oh, this one goes in. This one goes. That literally talk to yourself. Do you? Do I you talk not? to the cats. You talk to the cats. Yeah. I talk to my dog in a really stupid dog voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then what? Right. We're going to put those beams on. So we're going to okay. keep them in the order. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take that off and the paper. Remember which is the side for. Mm -hmm. So this will require 
some patience. Mm -hmm. and get the pattern piece in the right place. Look at that. It's literally in the perfectly right in the right place. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was fluke, wasn't it? So I'm going to do that. You would have all sewn all your windows by this point. Do what? Well. You would have sewn all of your windows by yes, this point. Yes, of course, yeah. Actually, that's pretty firm. That's that. Do these, do these beams, uh, uh, should we have put that one on now? Have you gone one step ahead? No, that was already on. Okay. No, no, all of the windows are on. This is exactly as it would be now. Okay. Yeah. Right. I only went one step ahead. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I was just wondering, because that looked like it went behind there. That was all, but it didn't. No. No? Okay. Uh, fewer than 20 now, but there's how many in baskets? 44 in baskets, only 20, well, less than 20 left now, 19 left now, 18 left now. Because I got it wrong. But someone checked out, that's why. Uh, I said, if I had that screen up that all the other people give me, then I, I, no, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. But they all, whenever we get a producer who comes from another channel, they have all the names, they keep putting, don't show me that, don't show me that. Because then I go, oh, I know that person, oh, I know that person, and it gets right. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. You had to blow your nose, that's fine, <laughs> yeah, that's I had okay. to blow my nose. Right, so we've got this beam going here. That just needs to go over to the left a little bit. It's just to cover up your... Yeah, cover up the raw edges. Well, it covers up the windows, yeah. doesn't it? So it just builds in this way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you'd sew all Did of Did you cut these on. out? Would you have cut these out with a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors? Rotary cutter. Yeah, get a nice sharp. Yeah. Make sure I, I've got time to show you the background and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, because uh, Jan wants to see how to do the back, didn't she? I've got Paris to do yet as well. Yes. I'm not going to get to any Alice in Pal Paris embroidery. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get to any Alice in Paris embroidery. We'll have to get, we'll get some of it, but um, we've, got, we've, got 20, we've got 20 minutes, you're fine. Three beams, and the last one is going on. Oh, I'm glad people like this. It's gorgeous, isn't it? What? It's a gorgeous project, this. Yeah. Check out, check out. People are going to miss out. Loads of people are going to miss out. What do you want to say you want to do? The backing. The background. Background. So that the, the quilt, I'll show yeah, you now actually, yeah, now we've got to that's so quite a good place. So you then do your cross beams yeah. as well. So these bits that Lovely. go across there. I better not lose those because we need to make it into a finish, finished thing. Where did your envelope go? It's down here, so I, it's okay that envelope. Right, so you've got that. Right. And then once you've finished all your layers, so you get to layer nine. Yeah. So, <coughs> oh, that, oh, we've, we've embroidered Liberty by now as well. Yes, we? I'll show you that in a minute. Yeah. All right. Uh, so six is all your beans. Layer seven is your Liberty and your and your roofs mm -hmm. and some of your flowers that will come off the bottom of the building here onto this bit of calico. calico. Then layer eight are your uh, gables. Yeah. And your roof canopy and some more flowers. Yeah. And then layer nine, uh, uh, just a few more flowers. Yeah. A few more polar pranks. Um, that's all you do. Ignore the chimney and the weather vane. Oh, okay. So the chimneys and the weather vane go on, on afterwards. afterwards. Okay. So at that point... So the whole of my frontage of Liberty is done. The whole of your frontage of Liberty is done. Yeah. yeah. And at that point... At I take that, that one away. point, you've got this. 
probably don't need that. Okay. Top. Let's move that to one side. So this is your... Can this go back in there now? Yeah, I'll yeah. Just make sure you don't lose any pieces before you go. That's all. So this is your background. So you get everything in your kit for this. Right. Apart from your wadding. So oh, so the wadding. shadow does go behind the house. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't explain that to you very, no. very well. No. I'm trying, but yeah. I'm, I'm a complete. Well, no, no, because I was just thinking that you could, you could save it by cutting that bit. Because it's like could, the house is going to be plonked on there, isn't it? To be it? fair, if you can be... Only if, if you're, you're being measly be, yes. like me. If you're being measly like me. So I'll show you what I mean when you get... So you've, to your Wiltshire shadow, you've sewn yes, the pavement so, and the road. Yes, you've sewn right. those two, yep. And then you've... And then you'll make you your, your quilt, quilt sandwich. sandwich. So you've got this. You just have yes. to display your own wadding. What yes. wadding do you use? Oh, 80-20. 80-20. Yeah. Calico behind, which comes in the kit, right? Yes. So then you've got that. And yeah. you have then... Oh, sorry. I took the whole thing. No, it's fine. You cut out this. Yes. So you've cut out around your gables, yeah. uh, around your flowers at the bottom. Yeah. I can't... It shows you in very clear yeah, no, 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 instructions. Exactly. Up, so you've got that very clearly, yeah. and then you are appliquing that. You see, what I was saying was, if you if you you could cut out you could. this much Wiltshire shadow, if you absolutely. wanted to save a fat quarter of it, you could do if you wanted absolutely. to. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. You absolutely could. Yeah. And so you're then appliquing that to the front. So you appliquing the whole of that. But you don't put Bonderweb on the back of there, or do you? No, I... No, you don't. And then you can... You can you, I would use a spray. Yeah, a spray or that glue. thing you... Well, what's that stick you the always coin, I can't... I've done, oh, we've run out of that. Oh, have you? Mm. We had them in Manager Special Week, and they sold out in, like, yeah, so 20 some, seconds. Yeah. So some kind of spray. So stick it down, yeah. 505 spray, which we had... Yeah. Oh, actually, 505 spray, which we had in the early bird, right? So you've got some beautiful sky up yeah. there. You've got, you know, imagine that's in the cut around the roof gables in a super neat way. Yeah. Uh, and then you're sewing it to the background. And that point, that's when you put your put chimneys, chimneys on. Put your chimneys in and your weather vane. And I, I, I think you tuck the chimneys slightly underneath yep. the roof before you, before you stay the whole down. thing that on. And then your weather you. vane. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Perfect. So then, and then you bind it and you put your, you've got enough fabric for your um, wall, your hanging sleeve on the Lovely. back. Lovely. Which is just a tube. Yep. And, and are there instructions thing. of how to do the clouds and things like that in the instructions? Or did you, was do that not, your creative? Do you know what? I don't, I don't, let's have a look. I don't, I don't think they are actually. I think that's, the, I think that's creative flair. Oh. But you can. Oh yeah, because they're not on the, they're not no, on the design. they're not on the, yeah, so I think, um. So the clouds, I'll just show you. The clouds are your own <laughs> creative flair. That's Dawn's creative flair, because Dawn, Dawn. Dawn made this. It's beautiful. And when did you do this, then? Uh, you there, do that before, before layer... What's layer? That's layer seven, isn't it? So let me grab that. Where have I got that? Bear with, bear with. Lost that's all right, that's all right. Hmm. Oh. She had it prepped, everyone. I've lost it. Don't worry. Oh, it's here. It's one of those days today, isn't it? Is it a new moon or something? It's quite, it's quite, it's quite a lot of little, there's a lot of little bits today. Yeah, there are. June said hello, everyone. Lovely to tune in. Hello, Ju Jean, so, not June. Jean, 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 Jean. This but, is oh, how you, wow. So this is, this is how you get your Liberty yep. sign. So it's going in here, isn't it? So then you're basically, if you want to hand or machine, embroider it. So you're giving us the shapes, so you've cut it out? Yes. You stitch it through the paper? Yes. Oh. Would you not do that? I don't know, I've never yeah. done anything like so that. Just stitch it oh, the paper. look, that's in how it needs to be. Not in the red or the purple, whatever colour you've done it in. The purple Liberty. <laughs> well, no, no, it's the right colour for Liberty, but it's just that you lose it. I think it's gorgeous when you do it in the white like that. Yeah, so you're just stitching through the paper. How yeah. brilliant. Yeah. You it's don't just have to going do it, up don't. and down. No, so you're just going up and down. Yeah. Through the paper, and you know, obviously that's the that's how it starts. And out. you get that that it's comes the, in. Again. That's the actual font from from from, from Liberty, from the Liberty yeah. stall. So yeah, <gasps> and then you that's you, then you would appliquate that on less. On Gorgeous, less right? It's really, really, really important you check out now because so many people are going to be sitting there. Way it was twice as many people. It's more than twice as many people got <coughs> asking. We've got stock left now, so please, please, please make sure you check out. Check out. Check out. Check out. Just put that there. Put that there. Now. I'm going to move on to the next project while you check out on that because I didn't know that Alice Caroline did things like this. 
We, that, that, it's the first one that we. Oh, that'd be why then. We, we, no, we did the Alice's Country Diary quilt, which was all, which was twenty-five. It was a, one of our bombs, our quilt bomb. So we. Oh, okay, we've done yeah. it here. No, 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 no. no, no. But say. we, that was our first sort of venture into yeah. embroidery, and it was so popular. Everyone went really. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the finished. Uh, this is the finished um, doodah. Doodah. Yeah. So for the doodah. We don't need the same machine. Can we move the touch? Yes, I'll, we can move the same machine. There you go. Right, here we go then. <clears throat> so to make this, uh, you get everything, everything that I'm about to show you, you get in the box, right? So you get the box, you get the hoop, you get the instructions, which you look in a second. This is my one I'm allowed to open, isn't it? Yep. Go on yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd already opened it. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's already been opened. Look. Oh, I did it because I stole some threads. <laughs> Okay, so that's yeah. The demo. yeah, sorry. So if it's looking a bit scruffy, it's not how the production team did exactly. it. Exactly. So look, thread, needles, cotton. In here, is there a transfer in here? Yeah, so you've got all you need in here. There's your transfer. I don't know what's wrong with my... Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. There's your transfer. And then all of your instructions are here. So this is in our in our style. You've got yeah. your, you've got your colour chart there. Yeah. And then it's all. So this it's worth saying that this relates to this. Right. So it and says it, the, exactly the type of stitch you need to do for that. Oh, okay. So V one one one, one, one is a satin stitch two strands. Yes, in a seven v six one. In seven six one, mm. and then a, a V. <clears throat> On its own, is satin stitch, two strands in ecru. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. So it's yeah. all sorted. Yeah, it keeps it it keeps it nice and tidy on here because yes. otherwise it's quite difficult to you know see yes, the detail yes, yes, on yes, that. Yes, exactly, exactly. So that's your pattern around the outside. Right. And then you've got your. There's your. There's your. Um, there's, your there's your Eiffel Tower. On the. Back. And is that the same? Oh no, it says back stitch, back yeah. stitch on that one there. So yeah. this <laughs> is that there. Those there are for the wreath of flowers. Uh, and this and these. They relate to oh, and the butterflies. Well. In butterflies. fact, some of these, if you see. Oh, okay. So. Okay. And then that's the finished thing, but not to scale. These yep. are close ups of flowers and butterflies and the Tour Eiffel. Uh, and then, what is all this then? So, this is how you do your. Oh, how you do it, tracing you, um, your pattern. Oh, your hang on. Is it a tracing? It's not a. It's not a. You draw it. Transfer. Oh, sorry, it's not a transfer. No, it's a drawing. So, you, I would recommend. Uh, using um, uh, a water-soluble pen for this. Okay. Yeah, because we've used... I'll show no, you on my... you can see the back of that one. No, you can see the back of this one. Uh, now, the one we had just there, the Bowen one, yes, from yesterday, would be good for this, because it was very fine. Oh, that's exactly the same colour as the one we had just there. Yeah. So this is... I mean, it, this is a project that you pick up and put down. Yes, because you know, it's, 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 it it's going to take, take quite a few hours. It is going to take quite a few hours to do this, but it's like very mindful. Um, but I've got some stabiliser on the back oh, of that. Oh, Roger, is that, is that Richard? It's just stitch and tear. Yeah, it's just Vlizaline. Stitch and tear. Is that, is that the same thing? Can you take it off afterwards? No, we keep it on. Oh, OK. Just you, you'd, you'd take this bit off. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, it's yeah, not stitch it's, and tear, then. It stabilises it. Is um, it ironed on, or is it just it's loose? It's ironed on. Yeah, it's ironed on. Which is why you don't want to use a friction pen, because yeah. if you drew all that on and then you iron this, yeah. then you'd be sad. But yeah. you can just put it in the freezer again. Yeah. You don't need a chest freezer for that. Okay. And it's very <coughs> intricate. It is very intricate, and you've got... Maybe... Well, actually, not, not difficult stitches. No, no, no. If you're no, new no, to no, embroidery, no, no, it's going to take you a long time. We have put a two and a half... Two and a half difficult. Skip. Yeah, we put a skill level on, but uh, but actually the actual stitches. There's and I'll tell you what, Laura. Straight put forward, in here. June. Maybe if you're looking for a hand stitching project and you're thinking the Liberty wasn't Liberty Shop one wasn't wasn't right right for you, then maybe this. Yeah, and you've got like your practice practice embroidery. Sorry, that's right. No, your no, practice no. embroidery pattern. So these are your French knots. Your different size French knots. So that might be three strands. That will be two, and that will be a one thran, sta, yep. strand thread. I can't say it, French knot. That's and that's then that's this is practising your satin stitch yeah. and your couching um, and your, your split back stitch. Lovely. So, yes. There's no football on today. Karen's just tuned in. She's normally down the arsenal this time of day, isn't she? Down the arsenal. Um, anyway, so you get in your pack, you get all those instructions, loads of instructions, all the thread that you could possibly <clears> need, and because you split it up, don't all you? All DMC and <coughs> thread if people are... And someone's had to sit and wind that onto bits of cardboard. Yeah, that's Ruth and the team, yeah. Who did it? R Ruth and her team, Ruth yeah. and her team have done all of that. Yeah. Uh, plus your fabric, your cotton to embroider onto. <coughs> plus a whole packet of needles. Yep. 
and your hoop. And then what? You need you need a bit of felt or a bit of old something or other to put on the back because actually it's just designed to be. A, this is your picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. it's just against the wall. You don't need to put it on the back, really. No, you don't. You don't have to. But so you would um, draw it around, you know, with a with a gathering stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, put, to draw it in. Gorgeous, thirty-two pounds and ninety-nine pence. Lovely colours because it's not garish. It's it? lovely colours, isn't it? It's nice colourway there. Uh, beautiful. Um, right, thirty-two ninety-nine. I've got some other things to show you now. Okay. Oh, you're not going to do some stitching. No, no. Well, no, I, go. I, have you got I, ten minutes? Just do it in the background while you do. No, no. Things. Show some stitches. Show well, some I was just going to. So this is a, a split back stitch. I'm going right. to this you're light. In exactly the right place there. Don't I'm going to have this light on. Oh, now yeah. I need this. Why this was in? Uh, on. Yeah. Because. Let me, my let eyesight. Me, I'll move it. Don't you come off your block. I'll move. Because it. I've I've meet, I've reached a magical age where I need extra light. <laughs> yes, because I was at your sixtieth, wasn't I? Wasn't I? Fiftieth. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. Okay. So the lamp is a native lighting. It is a, no, a white multitask magnifier. One hundred and ten ninety nine. It's on split pay. It should be on. Uh, Two-way split pay. Yeah, because Claire's not here today. Two-way split pay, 55.49. So it's a magnifying glass plus a light. But let me just have a look at this. Okay, has it got an extra, le has it got an extra leg in it to make it... Oh, yeah, look, to make it I'm not the used floor. to using the magnifying no, look glass. No, look at the picture you can make it from the floor. Whoa. So you can do light, Whoa. light up, light down. I'm just doing this as a... As a oh, my there. word. <laughs> light up, light down. I'll put it right the way up for you. I need and it's this got in modes. my life. Can I have one of these? Oh, look, 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 look. Oh. Oh, John. That, oh, that, hang on, I'll put it back on bright for you. Is that all right? Yes. Up. Oh. So this is a split back stitch. Actually, this is marvellous. I need to take this home. Can I take this home? Okay. <laughs> oh, right, let me show you this. So you get this. Thank you, Dan. It's not a baton twirl. It's to make it floor lamp. Thank you. Um, and now that where the lamp is, we can't see you doing your stitching. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Well, I only wanted Floor. the light. I didn't need the uh, magnifying glass. No, hang on. If we fair. do it like that. Yeah. There you go. So <laughs> this is a two-strand thread. Yeah. And I'm coming up, going down, and then I'm coming back up th in between the two threads. In between the two there. So it gives it some texture. Gorgeous. Back down. And it's actually, once you get into the rhythm of it, it's quite a, a speedy stitch. And a lot of the, um, a lot of the flowers and the butterflies are either, either split back stitch, which is this, or satin stitch, which okay. is, which is a, a, another simple stitch. There's actually not difficult stitches in this project. So there's French knots, a bit of couching. Yeah. Uh, for the Eiffel Tower is couching, and um, yeah, for satin stitch. Eiffel Tower's couching. Yeah. Yeah. It's couching, but then it's got kind of little um, back stitch in between. The, to yes, the main, the, the crosses, main, yeah, those right. bits are the couching bits. Yeah. And so v varying thicknesses of. Or Blackpool, if you want to go to Blackpool for your holidays. <laughs> it's not age, it's just cotton, hundred percent cotton. It's stitched onto. So it's not cross stitch, not counting holes. It's in, you're doing a uh, regular embroidery, which is lovely, isn't it? It's really very mindful. I did the Alice's Country Diary quilt actually, and it, it took me hours. Yeah. Hours. I think it took me about. Um, it's on your bed now, then. It's not because it needs to be photographed. Oh, <laughs> no, it's okay. finished. It's come back from the quilters. Uh, Kits thirty two ninety nine. Right, uh, we're about to run out of time, so while you carry on doing that, I'll just recap what we've had. We've had the um, this one that we're doing now, which is this here. Sorry, I'm just going to shove that under there. <laughs> uh, there you go. That's the uh, 32.99 Alice in Paris embroidery kit. Beautiful. Then we had the Liberty Building applique. Now, I just need to double check on, on how many people got this in their baskets now. Right, way too many people got it in their baskets. Way too many people got it in their baskets now. Well, they always have, they have been a whole hour. Now's the time to check out, basically. Now's your time you've got to check out. 
Uh, we also have in this hour the, uh, you haven't seen this yet, we've got the dogs and the cats applique uh, bundles. So I'll do dog first. Dog. This is something we've made out of the dog. Little doggy bandana. Little doggy bandana. So you have to, to do dog, you have to have the alpha. Oh no, it's, it's, oh that's his cat. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got the dog. Yeah, that wouldn't be a vet though. Bone, bone. Uh, rosette. Rosette. Dog running, dog next door neighbor uh, to Hannah. What's he called? Sausage dog. Reggie. Then you got the letters to make dog, you got heart and you got a paw. 19, 19. In 10 different colours, 10 different colours, or some other. Uh, right. And then cats. So you got cat, the letters spell cat, a walking cat, a sleeping cat, a fish, a heart, a paw, and something else. <coughs> What's that down the corner there? What's that there? Underneath is it the a, Is it a fish? A f no, I've done a fish. It's a rat, a mouse. A mouse. A mouse. All the things cats like. Uh, so that's that one, 1999. Uh, and that's us done. When are you in next then? Oh, I'm, oh, oh, I'm stopping, am I? Yes, uh, now. finish now. I'm in next, 19th of May to finish the quilt. 19th of May? To, yep. oh, we haven't got our May date, so I don't know if that's me yet. And that's it. July. Oh, I've got a date for July, but I can't remember what it is. That'd be Christmas. Oh, and then Alice is coming in on the 27th of Christmas. Oh. Christmas in July. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Alice, Caroline herself is in on the 27th of April. April. And so we're finishing this in mid-May. Mid-May, yeah. Uh, did you send the picture? Oh, I totally forgot. I'm so sorry. Oh, Hang no. On. Can I do it now? Uh, don't forget, next month you can choose whether you choose the green or the pink. It, it doesn't matter now. You don't have to make a decision now. But you'll see it on... Have we got a pink one made up? It's not made. It's a, it's a, it's a generated picture. But it gives you a very good idea about what it's going to look like. Anyway, it's lovely to see you. <laughs> and you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't go anywhere. Uh, we will sit. You want to check out your baskets during the break for that Liberty thing. Slow so you're going to miss out. Um, I'll see you back in four minutes with Emma Brassfield where we're doing a set. Maggie Switch. A Maggie Switch bag. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique, which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you ready for the Maggie switch bag? I should blooming well hope so. Do you know what? I saw Kat, producer Kat, coming in yesterday. She's moved all our stuff off those shelves. She put all her own stuff up. Look. <laughs> she's taken all, it's all hobby maker. She's taken all of our stuff off then. Yeah, no, no, but there was something in the middle of there yesterday. I saw her taking something off there yesterday. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Right, right. Maggie Switchbag. So why is it called the Maggie Switchbag? So Maggie is the name of my mum, yep. and my mum is my tech editor for all my patterns. Oh! So I thought it only right she had a pattern named up. What does a tech editor do then? So she goes through, corrects any grammar, any um, spelling mistakes, obviously, and then just goes through. Uh, she also converts all my centimeters to inches, or the other way round, because when I'm designing my patterns, sometimes I do it in inches, sometimes I flip yeah, yeah, between yeah. the two. Um, so she makes sure that's all like you know organized. And then she does whizzy stuff on Word, because I do it in Word, and she just makes it all look beautiful. Oh, wow, fantastic. Yeah. What kind Very of mum you need her out for your business, yes. really. Hope you pay her well. <laughs> anyway, let's, oh, she's had a name bagged after. She had a bag named after her, <laughs> not a name bagged after A bag named after that's enough, isn't it? She does So really now <laughs> I've got three different bundles. One you've made is this one here. Is that one you're doing for yet? Yeah? That's right. So I've got the, um, Pattern and instructions. We've got some PU and we've got some Liberté, brand new Liberté, uh, 44.99. Uh, you've got two and a half meters in total. So you've got a meter of the uh, PU and a meter and a half 
of your cotton quilting weight Liberté. This is the newer one, isn't it? It's one of our newest ranges, this one. August Meadow. Pale Lilac, it's called. Beautiful. I'll go through everything else that you need. I tell you what, Dan, we'll need the H640s and all of those, don't we, back on the table. Right, OK, so that's that one. Then, which one are you demoing in? Uh, this floor. Oh, this one. one. Gorgeous, this one. <clears throat> so this one here, you get a metre of the cotton canvas. Oh, the metre of the cotton canvas. And then you get your, um, no, I want to say slate. Oh, it is slate, there you go. Uh, plus your instructions. Uh, 39.99 that one, 39.99, that we like that one, you'll see that one coming together in a secondo. Then we've also got, is it a Dan Morris, this one, or a Jason Yenta? Jason Yenta. Oh, oh, it's that one there. Oh, we love that one. So you get your uh, metre and a half of this, your metre of your cotton canvas, and then you've got your um, instructions on that one, 39.99. We do have the instructions on their own. Just fold that one up. Remember the instructions in the last hour, completely sold out like that, so please be careful, 12 pounds. Again, really, really, really precise. Everything you need to know, all the instructions, all the patterns, all the templates, everything. There's even a video. Yep, there's a video. It's not out yet on YouTube, but it'll be coming soon, because this is brand new. Coming soon, as in when? To YouTube. Uh, probably in a couple of weeks. Oh, that soon. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> oh, it's done, it's not edited. Yeah. £12 for your pattern there, £12. So they don't need a QR code to get to that. You can just go to your Studio 77 on YouTube. Yeah, so I always recommend um, you hitting the subscribe button and then the notification, because obviously then you, YouTube will tell you when I have new videos out. So if you're waiting on a video, then you'll get notified. I don't have to pay to subscribe to that, do I? That's no, no. Subscribe. Yeah. No, just no, no. hit the subscribe, yeah. The thing, sad thing is I've, I subscribe to like the Will and Grace channel and the uh, Teresa Caputo channel and things <laughs> like that. That's what I'm on. <laughs> 90 Day Fiance is what she's on. I love that show. Anyway, anyway. Uh, £12 for the pattern, £12 pattern. Now, what... Do I need what interfacings will I need or what inside bits do I need for this? Yeah, so you're going to want to have your um, regular medium to lightweight interface. Yep, yeah, that's this. Is yeah. there enough in that? Is there enough in there? One packet? It's uh, uh, a, a meter square. Meter square. Um, we need. Um, no, you're going to probably want to have. Two of those. Two of these. Yeah. So both. Might, oh, actually, so just feel the weight of that, right? Sorry. Oh, don't come off your block. <laughs> um, is that way to okay? Because that that way, that, I think that way you can buy it. Is the other one off the bolt, Hannah? The other interfacing off the bolt. Yeah. So do this one here, right? For the so lining. Do that for the lining. Oh, is this sewing? This is nine in then. Can I use sewing? No, do it for the lining. Oh, for the what? Do it for the, have that one for the lining and right. the other one for your outer fabric. Oh, okay, so still get one of those. Yeah. Yeah, but then get one of these as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You might need two packs for the outer because I have got it as, oh no, one metre for the outer and 1.25 for the Oh, so, okay, so you need them, uh, one of those, but you'll need two and a half, uh, five, how much of this? One and a half. One and a half. Three <laughs> units of that. Three, but it's only 199. It's only 199, that one. Right, so that's that one and that one. And then what else do I need for the inside? You're also going to want to have some um, of your Decaville, which you've got there, for the top flap. And that's going to give you that structure on the top. You could also, it's not in the instructions, but you could also use that on your the base of your bag if you're using the canvas, because it, you might want to use the fusible fleece or the H640, which is coming next. OK. <laughs> so that, there'd be enough there for the base and the flap, though. Oh, absolutely. If you bought this yeah. for the flap, you might as well put it in the base as well, mightn't you? Yeah, add a bit of structure, yeah. 8 .99, And that one is fusible. That one is fusible. Then we just mentioned 8 640. Oh, that's again, this is a metre piece. This is the best way to buy it. One piece will be enough, I imagine. One metre. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's nodding. Yeah. You're right over there. Yeah, I can't find my needle for some that's reason. It's a needle threader. Anyway, 9 99 Remember, it's 5 99 for half a metre normally. Beautiful. 
Gorgeous. Right, so that's that one, that one, and that one. Uh, now, what other hardware do I need? Do I need D-rings? You're going to need so D-rings, yep. Yeah. You're going to need um, five D-rings. Well, you can buy six. Yeah. But then D-rings are quite good because you can add them onto a little, little pouch and then you can have it as a, a little clip on the end, you know, to make cool. it into a, like a hand strap. Yeah. Wrist, wrist strap. Wrist strap. Wrist strap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you get six times plus a magnetic. They're the gold ones. Six ninety six. They've taken a pound off for some reason. <laughs> pound off. Well, that's the one that you don't want to use, isn't it? Bridgeville. Then we also sell it in Aurora Aurora Borealis. Rainbow. Yeah, you got that. You get that. They've called it rainbow and silver because you get a silver clasp and rainbow um, D rings. £9.36, rainbow silver. Now, we need to talk about the green machine at this point very quickly. Right, right, okay, so this is your uh, green machine here. You get what you get, uh, there's one down and one thingy. Oh, Do you, you got it though? on your machine, you got it on your Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, what you get in your bundle, for your silver bundle, is you get this. This, this, this. So you get, you, you also get the um, the things going here to punch the hole. But Emma's got those on her machine there, right? So you get the things to punch the hole. Plus you get those and the dies to put them in. Those and the dies to put them in. They're not in particularly right order. And those and the dies to put them in. So 149.99 will get you this. Oh, oh, and not to forget the handle. Comfort grip handle. Once you've got it on, don't take it off. Slide it on with a bit of Vaseline. Oh, wash it up liquid. Oh, wash it up liquid. Okay, wash it up liquid. Anyway, one hundred forty-nine ninety-nine. Oh, what? Not margarine. Margarine? Did you just say? Don't do margarine, or the flies will come round the yard if you do margarine. Anyway. That's a silver bundle. Now I've got exactly the same in the gold bundle. So you get the gold ones of those, the gold ones of those. Oh, I'll show you on a picture because I haven't got them all here. Yeah, there you go. So the same thing, you get the three dies, you get the, the one to cut the hole, you get the gold, all the three different things in gold as well. 149 99 and am I going to show anything else at this point, Hannah? Right, okay. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Oh. Do I need a green machine riveting to do this project? Only for the straps, which we'll talk about. But right. everything else you can do just by sewing. So a lot of people have already got the green machine. So if you've got it, you can use it for this. And because it's a bit much for us to say, oh, you have to buy something 149 pounds to do the bag. So you could do the bag, but when you come to the straps, there'll be a decision to make, right? So um, yeah, it's, yeah, oh, yeah, I have to say, if you watch, um, I did a, a green machine show with um, Dave Green on um, it was during the, the um, birthday week, and it was brilliant. And he's, he's very, very thorough about how he describes everything and everything. Uh, you can. Uh, I'll just go and get it. That's right. Right. So this is the bag here. It's called a switch bag because you can turn it in from a, a rucksack into a, a shopper bag or whatever. Would you call it a shopper bag? Tote bag. A what? Tote bag. It's a very posh tote bag. Right. <laughs> now, there's something I've got to point out to you, though. You see at the back here, don't do what Hannah did earlier and put <laughs> something... Well, look, she put something in the back pocket. Watch. Well, it's to go with the coat. It's to go with the coat she's got, isn't it? That, um, that that's got no lining in it. She puts all the things in the pocket. What's that for? What's that for? That is a trolley sleeve. So How brilliant is that? It's a trolley sleeve. So if you've got... Oh, look, 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 look. How fantastic. And it's even got a zip on it. Airport, yeah, that's when you start panicking, thinking, I've got my passport, I've got my passport. Put it in there. Oh, yeah, go to the handle of your bag. <laughs> Do you only use it in the airport then, Han? Huh? Oh, do you not get shopping with it? Anyway, look. So much going on. There's zips, there's pockets, there's all sorts of things in there. Laptop sleeve. Oh, what, what? Laptop sleeve. Laptop sleeve. Mm 
that sleeve there. Where's your laptop? The big, the oh, that's your laptop. Oh. Yeah. See, if I'd put mine in there yesterday, it wouldn't have got covered in coffee on the way home, would it? Oh. I got home, my laptop was soaking wet because the coffee had bleaked out the floor. Has it survived? Yeah, I had to wrap it in toilet paper for hours last night. It may die at any po moment. It's all right now, it's here now, but it's because I have sugar in my coffee, it's sticky. <laughs> and I don't want to put it under the tap and wash it like that. No, don't too. do that. Anyway, anyway, is, and oh, no, 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 no. Nice little elasticated pocket on the side there, because you'll need some elastic for that. I'll do that in a minute. And on that side there. And that's where all your D rings are. There, 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 and there. This one hasn't got the um, other strap on, so we're going to show you that later. Right, before we carry on, we'll just put the elastic on there. And then we can start the demo. One metre of the elastic, 99p. Right, off you go. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the straps because like John mentioned, I am going to be using the green machine to do this. If you don't have a green machine, you can also do it by adding on lobster clasps and doing straps how you would normally with webbing. Um, you, would use, you can use webbing as well for these straps, but you can add a lobster clasp and then you can switch it up. I will show you how we use the straps in a little bit for changing up the bag because you can actually use it five different ways. Oh! Yeah. Oh, we only got shown two in prep this morning. No, I told you. Did you also <laughs> As I walked away by then. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Um, so we're going to take our green machine. I've actually got two prepped up just for speed. Um, but I've, so I've got my cu hole cutter here and then I have got the magnetic die set here. Let me move those across a little bit. So first of all, we want to mark on where we're going to make the holes. So I'll just grab my ruler. And it's going to be half an inch from the edge. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna, just going to use one of these, what do you call these, bone, bone folders? Hair up marker. Hair, Hair up marker. marker. OK, there we go. And I can make a little indent there. It used to be made of whalebone in the, back in the day. That's why they, people think they're bone. But they're, oh, um, they're OK. They're obviously not anymore. plastic now. OK, so I'm going to make that mark there. You probably can't see that, but I can. Yeah. And then I'm just going to put it under the hole. So you punch in the hole, there. first of all. Yeah. Yeah. Push down. And it's not, it, uh, people look at the machine and go, oh, I need a lot of weight behind me yeah. for that. It's, it's actually, it's a nice, satisfying thunk as it goes through. Isn't yeah. It? And also, if I'm not quite at the right angle. Normally, I would have this on like a normal level table, if you know yeah. what I mean. This is obviously um, an elevated table, so you can't get your kind of, well, And also, so you're short. standing on a block. And I am standing on a block. <laughs> no, but I should be on an even higher block, and yeah. then I can get my... Um, Weight behind it a bit more. It wasn't Jimmy. Not weight right. behind it, but the angle. You have to get the angle right. right. Okay, then um, before I'm, I'm going to put that magnetic clasp in, I'm also going to do the corresponding one. Yeah. And I can't remember the measurements. I think it's two and a half inches. Yes, it is. It's in the instructions, is it? It is in the instructions. Yeah. I just don't want to spend time trying to rifle through to no. find that for you. Um, so it's from that central point, that central hole. So I'm just going to make that mark while we're here. So one, two and a half is there. And it's an inch wide strap. So it's going to be in the middle, which is obviously half. Mm -hmm. Little hair marker going through there. Uh, Margaret says, wow, wow, just got an email to say my item is out for delivery. Was reading the email, the doorbell rang, and it's my Alyssa iron just been delivered. I love it. Oh. There you go. Woo. Thank you, Margaret. Happy days. Oh, throwing oh. everything on the floor. That's yeah. good, isn't it? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to put in our magnetic clasp. So it's a little bit kind of different to how you would normally think you would do it because we're going to put them so that they are corresponding. They're both on the same side. The magnets are on the same side. Right. And I'm going to show you why in a short bit. Okay. So I'm going to get the male and the female side. And I'm going to put, I want to make sure I've done it the same as on the other one. So it doesn't really matter, but obviously I want to have them matching. So I'm going to put the female on that end, snap it in place, and I'm just going to move the you don't need two machines. Machine. You can swap no. the dies over at home. This is a bit excessive to buy it, two. It is, yeah. 
yeah. And then you're going to place the magnet. You can either put it on first, like I have, or you can place it in the machine and it will hold there because, of course, it's magnetized. And then again, I've got the right top on, haven't I? You just push it down. You get like all that. of these dies and everything in there. They call them dies, the bit yeah. squish them, yeah. yeah. You get all of these dies in, in your kit. You bought the um, £149, this one here. Yeah, and that's it. It's done. Oh, Quick. okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to do the corresponding one on the other end of that strap. But I need to change over the dies, so I will need to just grab that the other side to that die please what do you need is it that one i think it's that one yeah it's that one just that okay thank you and um, you'll notice you can tell the difference because one has like a, a little out and one has a little in oh an innie and an outie an innie and an outie so um it is obviously the opposite to your dies so we want the innie and then we're going to place the outer one of the rivets down and push it in place that's it. So easy. I mean, if you've so been easy. doing this a lot, then this is just such a brilliant buy. I'm just going to quickly do the other ones because I didn't have that prepped. So quick, as you can see. Look how quick that is. So you can. Is you're set up all the time at home then. Yeah, I'm lucky that I've got two as well. Oh, you've got two. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I have one set up with the the magnet die, and then I have one set up with the rivet die just because those are the ones that I use the most all the time yeah um, I just need to grab another one and then you can see the straps how we use the straps and there is a very common question with this pattern that I just want to show you how that works uh -huh. and we'll get to that uh, yeah. there we go so I've got all my straps prepped up my two straps I'm gonna move right. the green machine out of the way right Give you that back. Okay, thank you. Uh, just quickly while Emma's getting herself sorted, just so you know, with the bundle, what you get is you get your three dies, your three sets. So one's magnet, one's rivet, and one's like the poppers on your on your denim jacket. You also get the die to cut the hole in your fabric in the first place, which Emma's got on her machine. Yeah. Plus, you get the machine itself. Plus, you get the uh, the handle which you have to slide on once it's there. Uh, now we've got it in silver, which you've got there. Or the equivalent, that's the, so they're the graphics for the silver there, right? Or we've got it in gold, which I, I've got one gold here, so you can see the colour of it. But all, these are the same, but these will all be gold. They'll all be gold ones there. Brilliant, right, OK. OK, so there are two options with these handles that are front and back on this bag. So you can either stitch them down like this one has been, or like this one you can see we don't have the handles on there oh that's the back sorry mm. we can also have the straps so that they come off and are changeable so let's grab our straps that we've just made because i want to just show you this connect piece because it's obviously not on that one we have got see here where the flap goes into the bag i've done it um contrasting so you can see it a bit easier as well we have got two holes here so what you can do is let's do it so you can't see the end of the strap do it around that little connector uh-huh like so and then it's going to go around to the other side and this is one of the ways that you can use it as a tote or handbag like so so then you've got the handle on the front and then you can use i've got an extra handle here haven't i which is confusing probably visually so let me take that off real quick and what this is why I have used the magnetic snaps on these because it just has a really nice finish with that rivet cap on the end so then sorry then you're going to do the same on the back let's turn it around so you can see put it side on so you're going to go through that connector yeah like so and around to the other side up and under and through and you can see it just looks like it's riveted in place and then you can use that as your bag so you can have your straps like that or you can take your straps off and are the uh, magnetic clasps strong enough to hold it then yes so that's the question that people asked a lot when i had this in my membership 
that the the magnets are they strong enough when you've got everything inside because obviously you're gonna you're gonna pack this if you can mm. have your laptop etc and they are because i don't know the science of it but when you pull against the clasp as long as you're pulling at the same direction or from the top i guess it would be and not at an angle they will stay intact i'll show you what i mean in a sec by that but I'm just going to go through, and it's really hard to see. In fact, I'll show you on the back one. But there's a little connector. You make a little connector in the bottom, which is hidden by the slip pocket. And then that means that you can have the handles turn into short handles on the bag. <laughs> Looks like you're a vet at the moment. <laughs> You'll see it on the back one. Because you can sort of see. Oh, uh, OK. Yeah. So it's again, it's so you hidden. put them lower down. So the other one was inside the pocket, and this one's been out beneath the um, yeah. strap to put on your trolley. Yes, exactly. So it's hidden. And just snap it around. You could use poppers. If you're going to use poppers, then you're going to want to make a handle like this so that you can enclose, you know, your sewing on the back. Yeah. Um, but this just makes life easier with the green machine. Snaps. There we go. So then you can have it as a bag. Wow. Handles like that. Two. So that's two. The, I will say the last one, you would need to make a different strap. Oh, okay. So, but take that strap out. So see, it's quite quick to change them with this method. Then of course you can have one going side to side. Yeah. Like so. It becomes a messenger bag. Not quite a messenger because it wouldn't be long enough, but it becomes oh, it? like a side, a side, you know. Oh, messenger goes across messenger the chest. Messenger goes yeah, across. Yeah. So that is the fifth way. Oh, okay. Sorry. But you'd need oh, a longer sorry. strap. Maybe I was listening. I'm That's so all right. <laughs> and then. What's four then? Four is a rucksack. So on the back, we have got three D rings. Yeah. So if I quickly take this one out. Don't worry if you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to know how to make this bag. There's a whole, there will be a whole video on yeah. Studio 77's YouTube very soon. Yeah. Because I've got the Stitch Festival next week, I don't want to, you know, schedule it for then. It will be scheduled after that, so it'll probably be the week after. Yeah, no, that's fine. Could you just show me, Hannah, on my, on my screen? Oh, okay. On the pattern, it says option A for stitch down handles easier. Option B for changeable straps less easy. That's your writing, not oh. ours. Oh, <laughs> that's obviously a typo. No, no, no. I thought it's something we'd written. Oh, less easy. Oh, sorry. No, it is right. Yeah, less easy because yeah. it's not. It's harder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I wasn't. I was saying you might have made a mistake. Oh no, no. No, no, no. You looked at me like what? I was what? like, what have I done wrong? No, 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 not at all. <laughs> um, yeah. So then you've got a rucksack. You've got the rucksack straps. Brilliant. So you can wear it on your back, like so. Oh, she's off now. I'm yeah. off. See you later. Yeah, bye. Watch you don't fall <laughs> off the step. Yeah. Shrink. Message on my bottom. What a brilliant bag. Can't wait to make it from June in Oxfordshire. Did you say there was a message from Mr... From the Greens, the Green Machine, Green oh. family. Hi, Emma and John. Glad to see you using the Green Machine. We're watching in the office. Dave and Jordan. Jordan's coming on next time. He's a biker. He's got tattoos. He's got a Harley Davidson. <laughs> and a beard. <laughs> And he's in the market for a sewing machine as well. He was asking me about sewing machines, so. What, Jordan or Dave? Yeah, Jordan. Oh, Jordan's the best place to come. <laughs> Back on my day. Anyway. <laughs> so that's the five different ways that you can switch it up. Um, but you could, like I say, you could also stitch down the handles. You can still make it changeable. You're not going to have the five different ways if you do that. You're only going to be able to have it like left to right or, you know, as a tote bag. You could still have it as a crossbody. So, so, so you still have three ways and a rucksack as well. Lovely. Now, I need to tell you, like the last hour, the uh, pattern's flying out. Over half the stock of the pattern's gone already. We haven't even seen any of it yet. So the pattern is flying out at £12. Everything you need to know, all your templates, your pattern pieces, your instructions, everything is in there. Uh, but you do get that in the bundle. And this is the most popular bundle so far. The Jason Yenta is the most popular bundle. Yeah, it's normally one you see made up that goes first. But there you go. That one's the most popular of the bundles. I'm surprised. I thought this would, I thought this would be the way most popular. You don't need, the, I'm not saying this because the greens are watching, but you don't need the green machine, but it's a brilliant addition to your, to your 
workroom tools. There it is. That's the silver one. That's the silver one. You see, there you go. So you get the machine, you get the dice, cut the holes in, and then you get the magnetic, the rivets, and the, I call them poppers, um, and all the dice to put them in and everything, and 100 of each of those. Yeah, it doesn't mean saying limited silver because you can buy them. In now, because you can buy from our website, we've got all, the, all of the different components in, in yellow gold, rose gold, and bronze as well. So if you think, oh, I only need, I don't need, I'll buy that, I'll buy that with the silver, but then I want some bronze rivets. You can buy bronze rivets from our website. Or if you want yellow gold magnetics, you can do it from the website. Uh, we've also got rose gold, but they haven't made the rose gold. I think it's the rose gold magnetics they haven't made yet, but they will be making them. Anyway, that's really, really good value. That's the silver one, and we've got it in gold as well. Yep, silver's way in the lead of the starters. Right. Sorry, Emma, right, off you go. because it... That's all right. Um, so with this trolley pocket, I thought we'd do the trolley pocket. Yeah. With this pattern piece in particular, um, it, it does have, you do need to say, like you can see, cut to two, okay, because it kind of has the trolley pocket, and it's also your back panel. Okay, so it's the same, exactly the same size, but we fold one in half to make the trolley pocket. Does that make sense? Yeah? Uh, sorry, Dul I'm, I was just reading this. Dulcie's watching. Dulcie's oh, stuff. hi, Dulcie. Um, uh, what are you saying, Hannah? Sorry, my love. Okay, brilliant. Okay, then we're going to grab our zipper pocket. I'm just going to push that trolley pocket piece out of the way for a second. I'm going to grab our zipper pocket lining. And we need to measure down two centimetres from the top, which is in inches, mm -hmm. was thrown by the rulers. I'm just going to double check. Yeah. Half an inch, does that sound right? There's half an inch on one side. What are you looking for? Sorry. Oh, no, it's three quarters of an inch, isn't it? No, I was looking at it again. It's yeah, not half. That, that's it's half an inch from there to there. Yeah. And then you've that's, got to add another quarter inch on there. That's what threw me, because I was going by the white line. Thank yeah. you. And then, you know what? Before we do that, I'm going to find the middle to make my life a bit easier. Because we're going to measure down, and I want to do it on the back. Nearly did it on the front. We're going to measure down two centimetres. I'm going to draw a line. And then we're going to measure down again, three eighths of an inch or one centimetre. What does your brain automatically go to? Inches or centimetres? Centimetres. Okay. Yeah. And you? Oh, I'm old. Of course mine's going to be inches. <laughs> Being dulcy. <laughs> I flip between the two, though, because sometimes, I don't know, it just makes sense to use yeah. inches. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah, I do count, but I still do that. If you buy, oh, a Mars bar, oh, that's seven, that's a, a shilling, that, or something, you know, like, well, Mars bars are a lot more than that now, but, you know, I still think about, <laughs> oh, that's, that would have been sixpence, sixpence. <laughs> so I'm going to measure and mark on my zipper placement, my zipper placement hole, rectangle. And at the end of the last hour that I did, I was talking about doing the invisible strap connectors, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. um, so this is the same technique for the Nyway, but you're doing this with, for a pocket now. And we've got a zipper ready to go. I'm going to pop that out of the way. Now, we're going to get our folded, or one that you've chosen to be your actual pocket piece. Yeah. I quite like to do this in a contrasting fabric, but of course you can choose yeah. how you want to do it. I've done it same for this one. And we're going to place that, I do need my ruler again, so that it is one centimetre or three eighths of an inch down from the edge, from that top edge, just use my ruler. Oh, and I should make sure that is centralised as well. So I give that a quick crease, press. Find the middle. Match that up. And line that up there. Now, as you can see, I've still got it folded. So yeah. I'm making sure that I'm not going to pin through both layers. OK. Put my pin out of the way. I'm just going through one layer. I've only got it folded so that I can see where that top edge. Yeah. And if you've got a directional print, you're going to want to have the print going down, so if that makes sense. Yeah. Rather than with the raw edge and you're measuring it down there. You don't want to put it on there because you want that raw edge to be on the bottom. Right. 
So now I'm going to open it up. You can see what I mean a bit better. And now I'm going to stitch that around. And I'll show you a couple of little tricks as we do that. So I'm going to start in the middle. of one of the long straight edges and I've got a 2.4 stitch length reverse to cast it on kind of thing lock mm -hmm. it and off we go oh, look, I've just seen your nails have got scissors on them they do <laughs> your nail ladies go oh here she is she's going to want the scissors this week <laughs> she didn't like me because this was a stamp and it make, it's quite hard to do the stamps stamp yes a little stamp yeah a little like a like a plate and then you use a stamp oh yeah but my my nail lady tracy hello tracy if you're watching hello, tracy. She does sometimes watch um she can do everything freehand she's amazing oh wow so she was like a bit like mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they are really tiny so it would have been very difficult um so i've gone down i've not gone down quite enough on these corners so i'd recommend you go down to about a one and a half stitch length on those corners, because that's going to help you hit that corner dead on. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you're going to go about an inch or so, doesn't really matter, um, but roughly about an inch, half an inch. And I'm going to go back up to my 2.4 2 mm -hmm. for the rest. Just because you're going to, A, you're going to be there all day if you're doing a one and a half stitch length all the way along. Um, and B, you don't want to kind of punch oh, I've gone very close there mm -hmm. um, you don't want to punch too many holes in the fabric kind of thing so that's 1.5 and that's going to help me there we go I only needed to do two stitches spot on that corner twist the work pivot 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 sorry <laughs> oh it's almost spot on so I'm going to do I'm going to wiggle it around so I get the needle yeah. spot in that corner because the more accurate you do it, in fact, I'm going to do it even more accurately. More accurately you do it, the crisper your turning hole is going to be. Yeah. There we go. Go along a little bit and change it up to 2.4. And reverse to finish. And I always think this technique is quite kind of magical how uh -huh. this, how it goes through. So this is the bit that I think is magical. Uh -uh. I don't know if it is. It's just, I don't know. It feels like it's not possible to do it. So I'm drawing it on, but you don't have to draw it on. Yeah. I'm just drawing it on so you can see where I'm going to cut. Um, because I'm going to cut in the middle of that rectangle that we've stitched. And then I'm going to do two forks. So either it's like end. the thing you did earlier on your hidden strap thing exactly yeah. the same technique yeah yep. put the scissors in oh these might not be the best scissors let's see how we go there we go all the way along and then just before we get to the end i'm going to pivot and i'm going to go as close as i dare yeah these are not the best scissors for this um, but close as I dare to those stitches without yeah. cutting those stitches. If you do cut those stitches, you're going to need to re sew that corner, which yeah, is annoying. <laughs> you actually can do it without sewing the ends. Um, and then when you turn it through, you kind of, when you do your top stitch, you catch it all. Yeah. But I just think this is a bit stronger. Yeah. So we're now. Is this magic? Is this, this magic? I don't know. Is it? Is it just me? Is it? Maybe I'm a bit me. old and cynical now. To no. <laughs> you don't think it's exciting? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to get out more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you pull it all the way through so that it's wrong sides facing. And then I'll need to grab the iron. But before I grab the iron, we're just going to pull those corners. And this is how you get it from being a little bit kind of taut and pulled yeah. to just going to manipulate the fabrics pull it and twist it and prod it so that it goes how you want it to be. Yeah. Then we're going to get a lovely iron and give that a good is press. Is it on? It is. Oh, it, oh, it, it went off. It went off. 
Oh, no, because if you leave it for half an hour, it switches itself off. Oh, never mind. It's okay. It will heat up quickly, though. Yeah, yeah, it'll heat up quickly. By the time I've got the ironing board up. Yeah. What is, uh, yeah, what's the bowl in front of you, Charlie wants to know? It's a little cat. But My what's clips? it made of? Oh, it's 3D printed. It's what? 3D printed. Oh, I don't understand all that. <laughs> No, Dulcie was, uh, the thing was having masks made, all sorts of things, 3D printers. I, I don't understand. And then I went to have that, my teeth capped, and it was like a three, oh, it was, oh, anyway. Oh, they did it with your teeth? Well, what they do with their teeth, it's not a three, it's like a 3D printer, but it's not. What they do is they photograph where it is, and then there's this machine with two diamonds on a, on a stick, and they put a piece of porcelain in, and it goes, <gasps> like that. And within like seven minutes, it's created a perfect crown and they just click it on and there's no pain, no Stop nothing, it. it's just brilliant. Wow. Costs a blooming fortune. Yeah. And I've already I've had the two on this side done, I've still got to have the two on that side done, yeah. Okay, so I'm just rolling the seam with yeah. my fingers and I've got my Teflon sheet here. And again, making sure I'm pulling and prodding I'm doing it from the back, as you can see, from the yeah. lining side. And I'm rolling it slightly so that there's a little bit of that upper, the outer fabric, sorry, showing. Yeah. Because if possible, it would be good to not have the lining showing, mm -hmm. especially because it's on the outside of the bag. And this is where the kind of tips of this technique are, is in these little tiny details, getting the, you know, just spending your time to get this right, that will make all the difference. Teflon sheet, because of the back of the interfacing, your iron will stick to that, and I'm sure you'll all shout at me for ruining your lovely Elisa iron. <laughs> no, they took no. mine off me. Took yours off you? Well, they gave me one to take home to learn all about it and everything. And then Hannah sent me to go and Hayley says, make sure you bring the, ke uh, the kettle, oh. <laughs> the iron back tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> 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 Everyone heard that in here, Dan. <laughs> you have got a left hand, you one. <laughs> Are you left-handed? No. No. Oh. It's not very Dan just doesn't then. want the left-handed one in the studio for some reason. Oh. Oh, Gillian says, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Gillian. Hello. Oh, you've got 15 minutes. Oh. That's all right. There we go. So you're just spending some time to get that really crisp. You can yeah. see you can't see any of the lining now. Yeah. Then we're going to grab our zipper. Have we got that double-sided again? I think I left it no, out. No, I think you've still got it, haven't you? Did you give it back to Dan? I put, left it here. Oh, Dan. Have you got the double-sided tape? Sorry. The open one. He's coming. So I've prepped my zipper so that it's the right length. Yeah. I'm going to lay that underneath. As you can see, I've got the zipper um, pull on, and then I've closed the teeth either side. Right. And I did that in the last hour, didn't I? So I'm not going to repeat myself. But um, I'm going to lay it in the middle, and we're going to use our double-sided basting tape. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. To keep that in place. So I'm going to put that on each side. And we've got a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So this tape is a little bit wide, wide for that. Yeah. So we're just going to fold it in half like I did before in the last hour. Peel that off. Dan says he's so sick of us shouting him, he's going to change his name and not tell anyone his new name. <laughs> so we can't call him anymore. We'd still get you, Dan. <laughs> uh, Steph says, beautiful bag. Read the envelope zip. Uh, I've seen a lady do understitching on the lining. Crikey, that was, must be difficult, doesn't it? Mm. Understitch the lining. Mm. I don't know how you'd get round it, would you? I don't know. Don't know, Steph. Who did it? Who was it? We'll go and find her. I'll have to look that up. There we go. Pl 
place that underneath. Oh, do you know what? I what? prefer it the other way around. I'm going to swing oh. it around while I can. I don't know why. I just always put it closing on the left. I think when you're right-handed, that is preferable. Yeah. Super sticky tape. And you want to make sure you're doing it this way. So you've got the lining sticking out. You can't see. Yeah. Second. Let me move it up so you can see. You've got the lining sticking out the bottom. That's Brilliant. the lining there. Yeah. And yeah. And it's like the way Emma had to move the fabric rather than Charlie move the camera. <laughs> Let me move that iron out of the way as well. It's good that it turns itself off. Yeah. Yeah, it turns itself off after half an hour standing up, 10 minutes sitting down or 30 seconds if you knock it over. Oh, that's clever. And the light flashes. If you knock it over, the light flashes. Mm. That's the iron we're talking about now, not the zip. And not me. Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this is the bit that you want to just, you know, take some time to get that how you want it to be. Uh huh. Especially when it's a contrasting zip like this. Yeah. Then we're going to go over to the machine and make sure, I don't know why I lifted that up, make sure it's on the right stitch length. Let's make it a three because we're top stitching. And if you want to be all fancy, we're not. Oh, yeah. We're not going to do, do you know what, I'm going to change the foot to a zipper foot. But we're not going to do a locking stitch to begin with. Uh, what do you need? What are you looking I for? I need a um, screwdriver. It's right, it's in here. Is it in there? Yeah. Thank you. All the fancy boxes we've got in here, we keep everything in a plastic bag. Because <laughs> a walking foot is absolutely brilliant for bag making, especially if you're using that faux leather. Yeah. Um, but when we want to get this top stitched on nicely, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the zipper foot so that we don't get in the way of the teeth of the zipper. Now, so it's this one, isn't it? The stitch width one you want to move, yeah? Yeah. Make my own music. <laughs> you can set it so the beat comes off if you want to. There we go. Right. That's the way. OK, now lay that on. That's another reason why that double sided is brilliant, because, you know, I haven't got any pins in there and um, I've had to change the foot over to a zipper foot and it's still not going to move. Uh huh. So um, the fancy one that I was talking about is that you leave your tails long. Right. When you start, you don't do your locking stitch. OK, so off we go. Feels a bit weird when you're so used to going, you know, doing that locking stitch to yeah. start and end. Just lift the foot and move the zipper out of the way. The, the pull. And obviously it's really important that you don't catch any of the you know, underneath, You're just yeah, going through the two layers. Go slowly over those teeth. Pivot. And back the other way. Almost don't need to move the pull when you're using a zipper foot, but I will. And you also get a better finish when the zipper is closed so that's why I move it last minute and right. as soon as I can I move it yeah. back pivot the work slowly over those teeth again and then we're going to go back to where we first started right and then we're going to leave the tails long again. We're not going to cast off. I'm going to try and get the needle in that same hole. Have I done it? It's hard to see because it's white on white. I don't think quite. Have I? What are you muttering good about? Enough. I was seeing if I'd hit the same hole. OK. It's good enough uh -uh. Uh, <laughs> for live TV. <laughs> OK, so then what we're going to do is we're going to pull those long tails, the threads, to the back. So. 
Well, it's quite good because it's white on black, so that's nice and easy to see. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull that little loop. So we've got two, and then we need the last one. So I've just pulled, when you can't see the loop, you just pull on the thread that you can see, and it has that little loop there yeah. that you can, you can pull up with any luck, like so. Then you're going to tie those four together in a knot. Like so, cut that off. And then you can't see your locking stitch and it looks really neat on the Very front. Very neat, lovely. So then the last thing to do to finish off your pocket is to fold up your lining so that it is um, right sides together. I'm going to pop a couple of clips in. And then I'm going to stitch from one side all the way up and down to the other side. Okay. And this is quite good to use a zipper foot as well. So it's another reason why I changed it, because you can get in a bit closer. And this is a one centimeter seam allowance. I'm going to go down to 2.4 for my structural seams. Make sure everything's out of the way. up and pivot uh -huh. and this is the bit that it's good to have the zipper fit and pivot again yeah go back down the last side whoops Make sure my foot's down. Don't know what I pressed there. Oh, I think I did the start and stop button. I'm always doing that on my machine at home by accident. What, you pressed the wrong button? Yeah, the, you know, the green start and stop, oh, yeah, so yeah. you can do it without your pedal. So there we go. We've got the pocket finished. So we want to then make that sort of trolley sleeve. Yeah. So we're going to place that right sides together. Have I got time to do it or shall I just talk We've it through? We've got five minutes to finish the whole show. So you tell me what you want to do. Okay, I'll just talk it through yep, and then brilliant. you can do the recap. So then what we could, would do is do that bottom line of stitching, turn it through like a sleeve. Yeah. So we turn it through each short edge and then you imagine that's stitched. Going to give that a press and then we're going to top stitch to finish it. And then that can then be basted to the outside of our back panel, so to make our sleeve, we right. top stitch along the top as well, fold. Before, Perfect. Before we put it on there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, there is a full video YouTube tutorial coming out very soon on Studio 7 T7. And if people have an issue, because I, uh, I think, uh, well, I think a lot of people, I know we've said it's, it's uh, they'll look at the bag and go, oh, that's too advanced yes. for me. It's not. I don't want to, I'm not being rude about your pattern, no. but it, it looks more advanced than it really is, doesn't yes. it? Yes, uh, thank you so much for bringing that up because, um, so all my patterns come out in my membership club first and the one of my members said, and I thought this was brilliant, was that I have labelled it as a confident beginner and she, she said, it looks like it's really difficult, but actually it's a lot easier because it is all straight lines other than this top curved flap but everything else is straight lines so as long as you can sew a straight line and you're getting used to your stabilizer and your interfacing that's all on the video as well and in the pattern it tells you exactly how to do that um, so as long as you can sew a straight line go for it and if anyone has bought it and does get oh, sorry. stuck gets good stuck yes thank you there is a full uh, there's a free sorry facebook group called sew create and craft by studio 77 basically if you search for studio 77 you'll find it on facebook and that's completely free to go in there you can ask any questions you like loads of people in there know my patterns so if i'm not around someone will help you brilliant right let's do a recap then very quickly the three bundles Samples made out of, no, not that one, this one. Liberty and PU. 
So you get a metre and a half the Liberty, a metre of the PU, plus your instructions at 44.99. Uh, we then have the one we were just sampling or demoing, which is this one here, which is a metre of your canvas, a metre and a half of your cotton and your instructions, 39.99. Then we've also got the uh, Dan, I'm um, once Jason Yenta, Jason Yenta, I keep saying Dan Morris, Jason Yenta. Uh, fabric and your canvas, you've got a metre of the canvas, metre and a half of the fancy, and the instructions. Instructions on their own. Oh, only a few left, handful left of these, handful left. Beautiful. And then the green machine, which has been very, very popular this hour. Uh, Eve, well, here we go. So what you get with the green machine, you get the green machine itself and the handle, which you have to slip on with not margarine, washing, washing up liquid or some Vaseline, right? Then, so you get the one that cuts the holes, the die that cuts the holes. And then you also get these three sets of dies and you get these three sets here. So you get the poppers that go on like the front of your denim jacket, you get magnetic ones and you get rivets, plus the green machine, 149.99, three way split pay. Will you not stop dancing in my eye line over there? Three way split pay, talk about professionalism or what? Uh, so that's the silver one. It also comes in gold, which are these. So you'd get the gold uh, magnetic, the gold rivets, and the gold pop ones uh, with all that $149.99. If you want any other extra bits and bobs, go look on our website. We've got lots of different. We've got them in bronze, and we've got them in rose gold and things like that. I've got to go. Here's tomorrow's menu. Uh, simple machine sewing book launch with Angela. It's a full day today, tomorrow. Angela Presley, she's not been in for two years. All set to sew with Nicola Pottinger at nine o'clock. She's changed the name. Oh, it's all set to sew. That's the new name of our company. Sizzix launch at 10 o'clock. And then at 12 o'clock, all set to sew with Nicola Pottinger. It's a very, very busy day tomorrow. And I will slap them all and make them all quiet. Uh, it's Hobby Maker next. It's Craig and uh, a Crafter's Companion straight after Gemini 2 he's got out there. I'm no, no violence, just with my tongue. I, oh, and just as, Chris, <laughs> just as Christopher walks in. Anyway, I'll see you. Can you hear the noise? Can you hear the noise I have to put up with? I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Enjoy Hobby Maker.